This music slaps. Hold on. Um, where's uh game cap? There we go. Ghost trick. Um, game capture. There you go. All right. Um, OBS. I need to change the currently playing. And then. Right. I'm also going to need to check the stream health. Because it is very likely that this game will make my computer smoke. Can OBS please work? Trick, which is a Yu Gi Oh archetype, but you know what? Uh, let me how the audio is because I, uh, I don't know, it seems fine, but. Must have been unconscious for a while. My head feels fuzzy when kind of. I. When I came to, there was a woman standing there. A woman I don't know. At least I don't. I don't think I know her. And there was a man with a gun. I don't know him either. Well, probably not anyway. Now, I'm not the kind of guy who can just stand back and watch a poor woman get shot, but I have just one problem. I'm already dead myself. This has gotta be me, no question about that. After all, do you see any other dead bodies lying around? So long, sister. But I feel bad for her, sure, but what can I do? I'm dead. But just as I was thinking this, it's no time to be rolling around dead. You're the only one who can save her. We have to. What the? The whole world just changed on me. Welcome to the ghost world. The land of the dead. A voice in my head, who are you? No time for introductions. Wait, no time for introductions. <laughs> I should go make coffee. No time for introductions now, you have to save her. I know you can do it. All you have to do is use your powers. Huh? Me? Save her? Uh, how? Take a look at your, corp at your corpse. Do you see that blue flame? That's your soul. And do you see that bright white spot nearby? That's a core. A core? Hmm. Just looks like a railway crossing to me. Or a gateway crossing gate to me. Look, the best way to understand it is to just try it. First of all, try moving your soul with... Like that. Next, move your soul across and connect the... The... Fuck. Congratulations. Your soul has now possessed a crossing gate. So... What? Now I'm a crossing gate? <clears throat> now then. Use the crossing gate to save the woman. What? But how? In a moment in time... Uh... 
In a moment, time will start to flow normally again. That will be your chance. Listen, when the man pulls the trigger, the woman dies, right? So, before that happens, you have to use your powers to stop it. Hey, wait a second. I still don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> you'll see, you'll see. Now then. Time will start to flow again. As your chance, press A. Why didn't she grab the gun? Hold it. Well played. Huh? Just what happened? That was one of your powers at, at work. A ghost trick. They said the thing. Hey, Dakitsu, how you doing? You mean, I made that crossing gate move? That's right. You manipulated that object with the power of dead, uh, with the power of dead, a ghost trick. And all you have to do to perform a trick like that is press A. Now the woman's fate has changed, albeit just a little. Yeah, she still kind of has a gun pointed at her. Yes, hmm. That's not good, is it? But at least now, you're starting to figure out how to use your powers. Let me find out about you. So, kind of know what you're going to say. Yeah. Yeah, I don't think I need to answer that. So I entered the ghost world with ghost. Possessed an object and then performed a trick with it. Eh? Now you're getting it. Let's move on to the next step. Try possessing a different core. Hmm. What is that? I see. A guitar then, is it? Hmm. Hey, what do you want from me? I would have preferred that giant wrecking ball. I would have preferred that giant wrecking ball. That would have solved the problem real quick, I bet. But I guess I can't reach cores that are too far away. Well, I guess we'll see what you can do with that guitar. Just drop it on his head. Let's set time in motion again and find out. Who's there? Hold it. Huh. That's gotta be some of the slowest running away I've ever seen. Hmm. Looks like I'm gonna have to come up with something more. What is this game about? I don't know. Like, I've wanted to play this game for a, for a very long time, but I, I never got the chance to. Um, but yeah, it's... It, it seems to be... It seems to be a little bit of like a like a ghost take on on uh, like Phoenix Wright, a little bit. I assume. Let's see, what core is close enough to be possessed from here? I guess all there is is me. No time to be picky. I've got a woman to save. I like your attitude, admirable truly, but but what? If I can manipulate objects. Then I ought to be able to manipulate my own corpse, right? Well, tell you what, why don't you just try it and see? Go ahead and possess your corpse. Alright, now we'll set time in motion. Go ahead and try A. Doesn't do anything, right? Yeah. Huh? Nothing's happening. Exactly. Sad but true, I'm afraid. You can only manipulate non-living things. Corpses, even if they aren't alive anymore, aren't really just ordinary things. Chad is broken? You're right. Alright, just give us some. Look at a few minutes. Or a few seconds, really. <laughs> Corpses, even if they aren't really alive, they aren't just ordinary things. There you go. That is back. 
You've got to be kidding. Wait, what about the woman? What's happening to her? Let's take a look, shall we? If you want to take a look? If you want to take a look around, you can move. You can move the screen. Move the screen. Easy. Here, give it a try. Well, sister, this is it. Two things are looking pretty dim right now. My eyesight and future. And your future. Oh. Oh, damn, she actually died. Out of my way. You, uh, faster? I don't think the phone should ring. It's done. I'm on my way. In the end, it looks like our fate remain un remains unchanged. So, what good are these ghost tricks of mine? But just as I was thinking this... It's a fucking Pixar lamp. <laughs> Hello there, how are you feeling? Not very well, I imagine. A terrible tragedy will happen tonight. Ah, ignore me, are you? It's a little too early for you to be stiff and cold, I'd say. Ah, so it was you. You heard that voice in my head, right? Well, I wouldn't say voice, exactly. The dead don't have voices, you see. It's more like my thoughts were being beamed directly into your mind. That's another little trick ghosts can do. Looks like my ghost tricks didn't do much good. You still ended up just as dead as before. That's true for now. For now? I still have more to teach you about the powers of the dead. Your ghost tricks. Where exactly are you anyway? Before I answer that... I think we should save this young lady. Isn't it a shame to see such a pretty woman li lying here like a discarded piece of trash? What can I do? She's already dead. Time for more ghost lessons for you, my friend. First of all, I'll have you possess me. Possess you, hey? Once you've done that, I'll tell you about... Another one of your powers. <gasps> Why am I so determined to save this woman? After all, it's not like I know her. But I guess I'll take the desk lamp up on his invitation anyway. My reason is twofold. Number one, I'm not the type to leave women lying around discarded like trash. And number two, I don't have anything else to lose at this point. I thought bubble you just pressed. Those are your thoughts. What you're saying to yourself in your head. My thoughts, hey? So, the dead don't have voices. And what we think is communicated directly to one another. So these thought bubbles are sort of a stand-in. I think I'm starting to get it. I think so too. Just remember to always keep an eye out for thought bubbles. Okay, good idea. I just might get some important clues from them. <sighs> now then, in order to possess me, you first have to enter the ghost world. And that'll be as your ticket in. The best 
thing to do is try it. I'll be, eh? Guess I'll press it. Uh, I can't reach. I can. By the way, have you taken a look at the middle of the screen? What about it? It tells you what trick you can perform with the object you're currently possessing. The information is there for you to check, uh, for you to check out whenever you need it. So, in case of this folding cot, whatever that is, it looks like I can unfold it. And to perform a trick on the object you're possessing, you first have to return to the land of the living. Oh, okay. This time, B is your ticket out of the ghost world. Oh, good luck, we're counting on you. Huh? Who is we? Huh, that's funny. What is? He's still alive. My corpse and her corpse. There's definitely something different about the two. There's something emanating from my corpse. That's because you're special. What's that supposed to mean? Not everybody who dies gets special powers, you know? So those waves are because of my powers of the dead, hey? Anyway. Congratulations, you passed. Well, what do you know? What prize do I get? A new power. What else? Another one? Now let's review. You can possess objects and manipulate them, right? No, what do you suppose will happen if you, because if you possess a corpse? Nothing, because I already tried that, remember? And nothing happened at all. True. You don't have the ability to manipulate a corpse. But we can bring life back into it. However, there is something else you can do. Oh yeah, what is it? Why don't you try it and see? Trick time. Alright. What's this? Can you hear me? Wait a minute, what's going on here? Hmm... It looks like she's unconscious, poor thing. Unconscious? She's dead. Yes, but think back, remember when you died? When you came to your senses, you'd been unconscious too. Unconscious, hey? Come to think of it, the death lamp is right. When I came to, I was already dead. Let's have her loot. Let's leave her like this for now. And while she's resting, we can save her life. Oh, sure. You make it sound so easy. And it is easy. When you use your powers on a corpse, you can go back to the past to uh, a time four minutes before that person's death. Are you serious? Back through time? That's right, but there's a catch. It only works on new corpses. Corpses that have been dead for less than one day. And she's still, well, within that limit. You might want to give it a try before it's too late. This is crazy. None of it makes any sense. We're talking about the powers of the dead here. It doesn't have to make sense. Now then, let's go, shall we? To the time four minutes before this one was murdered. Was that sound effect straight up? I think that sound effect was also used in in Phoenix Wright, wasn't it? Hey, wait a second. I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> you'll see, you'll see. Do one time. And so now I'm going back in time to witness this woman's last four minutes alive. Not as fuzzy, distant memories of the past, but as a very real living present. 
Wake up! Are you okay? What happened to you? Oh no, he's dead. Who are you? Here's my biz- Here's my business card right here, sister. My little golden friend. You did this. You killed him, didn't you? Instead of playing, uh, instead of playing who done it, right now you gotta be more concerned about your own fate. Who are you? Some sort of hitman? What do you want with me? Said, they said we had to rub out all the last traces of Hemsick left in this country. Hemsick. What in the world is that? It's me. I just do what I'm told. All I know is, you've got nowhere else to run to. Time to die, sister. As long as that bad boy wrecking ball stays right up there where it belongs. Look, all I want to know is who are you? You don't know me. And I don't know you. This is just business. So long, sister. Oof. Hold it! Who's there? Hold it. A shotgun? Kind of a flashy weapon for a hitman, don't you think? Not flashy, just thorough. They call me... Nearsighted Jigo. But I never let my prey get away. Ever thought about just buying a pair of glasses? Well, sister, this is it. Two things are looking pretty dim right now. My eyesight and your future. And there you have it. The last four minutes of her life. No. It's kind of ironic when you think about it. I wouldn't toy with by fate, and a man toyed with by a ghost. But she still died. Yes. And you can change that with your ghost tricks. Just like you did four minutes ago. Is that some manipulate, hey? Ghosts, and then trick. And you can rewind these four minutes as many times as you like, too. Now then, are you ready? Yeah, let's do it. So, this is the four. So this is four minutes ago, eh? Fine, I get that. What am I doing here? What, what am I doing way down here? That's just how it works. Her curbs was your gateway into the past, after all. So naturally, your starting point is where her corpse, corpse was. And this is how- and this is where she died? Okay, I get it now. Hop in then. Trick time. There are only 4 minutes left before she dies. But better try and get- you had better try and get to her as fast as you can. There's no time to lose. Who are you? Time is passing. Last seconds of her life are counting down. Looks like I better get up there fast. That's right. Have a look at the right side of the screen. The right side, eh? The sand is the top of that timer. The sand in the top of that timer is how much time she has left. Get to her quickly before all that sand is gone. Up you go then.
Why is there a blender in a fridge? Who are you? Some sort of hitman? What do you want with me? They said we had to rub out all the last traces of Temsik left in the country. Temsik? What in the world is that? Uh oh, her time is running out. Uh, wait, I can't. That was a mistake. Wait, ah oh shit. Wait, I can't get anywhere. So long, sister. Just a few more steps. If I make it in time. Hold it. Who's there? Hold it. Now's your chance to. Now's your chance to change her fate. There's not much time left. This has come down to a battle of seconds. Trick time. Time is almost up. You have to change her fate before the countdown reaches zero. Mm, there isn't much. Uh, time doesn't pass while I'm in the ghost world. I better possess something fast. What's going on here? Your side of Jigo never misses. As long as he's with the target within point blank range. Looks like you made it in time, just barely. Yep, she's still alive. In that split second, hope was born. Just now, her fate was changed, albeit ever so slightly. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. The bridge is up. How did you not notice? You hear something? How did how did you not notice? What is this too? Nothing. Nothing useful. Um didn't do anything. God damn. I don't think he's alive anymore. <laughs> How does it feel to have saved the lady's life? So the danger's gone? Yes, it looks like the danger, Mr. Danger, in fact, rolled away somewhere. You used your powers to avert that woman's fate. So I did all that, huh? You most certainly did. And I knew you could do it. So I lost my life tonight and saved somebody else's life.
When I came back to the present, it was raining. I'd saved the life of the stranger, now sitting for for Lauren for Buckley in the rain. Even as the story of my life on this planet comes to an end. A stranger. That word strikes a chord. And a terrible truth begins to dawn on me. I don't recall a thing. Who am I? What is this place? Most important of all. Why was I killed? Your story isn't over yet. Where exactly are you anyway? Just call me Ray. As in, ray of light in the darkness. Hee hee hee. Ray, huh? So you aren't going to tell me your real name, I take it. You haven't told me your name yet either, actually. I... I can't remember. Yes, I guess the memories of the newly departed tend to get a bit confused. Some of us get our memories back, others never do. But if you ask me, does it really matter? After all, there's only one path left to the dead, and that is to disappear. Disappear? When the sun rises in the morning, I'm afraid you're going to cease to exist. What? Tomorrow morning? Wait a minute. These powers of the dead. Yes. I'd like to use them to save somebody else's life. And whose life might that be? Do you even have to ask? Mine, of course. Aha, I see. But think about it this way. We could use ghost tricks to save ourselves. Wouldn't I have just tried to save myself as well? I mean, look at me, I'm a desk lamp. Why a desk lamp, anyway? I'm not really sure myself, to be honest. In any case, it seems we are unable to use our powers on our own corpses. You're kidding. You'll only exist in this world until tomorrow morning. I'm afraid that fact can't be changed. So there's really no escaping my own death. In the morning, I'm going to see so exist. I'm afraid there's nothing I can do to change that. But just the same, I still want to know. I want to know my story, the lost story of my fate, right up until the time of my death, and until I learned that. You won't be able to rest in peace, right? Very well, I understand how you feel. You want to go and learn the truth of your death as well, uh, as well, you should. I will, but let's see. How should I go about doing that, I wonder? I can't even imagine what the first step would be. The first step? That's easy. You start with her. The person who witnessed your death. She should have some important clues, don't you think? Hey, you're right. And not only that, she might even know who I am. Yes, I'd say there's a very good possibility of that. What was I doing here tonight in a place like this? That woman probably knows the answer. That's right, never forget that. She's the key to everything tonight. The key to everything? What do you mean? You'll know soon enough when you regain your memory. Yeah, I'm like a blank sheet of paper right now. I can probably keep some kind of record of everything I learned tonight. That's a very good idea. Press LT to view a record of what you've learned. And be sure to check it out now and again. Memories aren't always the most reliable things after all. Alright then, I wish you luck.
Me, the mystery. I lost my life at a lonely spot on the outskirts of town. I'm trying to regain my lost memory and find out the truth behind my death. My only lead is the red-headed woman who witnessed that death. Red-headed target. A woman who was at the scene of my death. I don't know why her name or anything else. I don't know her name or anything else about her. She's already been killed once by the hitman. And I saved her with my powers of the dead. Ray of light. He calls himself a Ray. I don't know who he really is. He taught me the secrets of the powers of the dead. Hunter in the dark. He calls himself Nearsighted Jigo. He's a sniper who carries a golden shotgun. Somebody apparently ordered him to kill the redhead woman and me, but he's gone now due to an unfortunate incident. Accident. Let me go make a coffee real quick, I'll be right back. I better not let her out of my sight. And besides, I'm not the kind of guy who can just let a woman sit sneezing in the cold rain. I think I'll try to move closer. Okay, hold on. So, let me go make a coffee.
Alright, I'm back. Okay. Time is frozen here, so... I run no risks. What in the world just happened? The cream moved all by itself. Then that big iron ball fell all by itself. It started raining all by itself, which that's just natural. And then and then an umbrella came down all by itself. Oh my goodness. Don't tell me I have psychokinetic powers. No. No you don't. But seriously, what in the world just happened? What's this? Some kind of note? I want to see that note. I wonder what I wrote in it. Hopefully it's not just a shopping list or something. Yeah, that wouldn't help. Should I check it out? Can't see it from here, right? Oh wait, that I I can just go on the note. Did I write this note? Maybe I should give it a read. So you don't remember writing it, hey? No, I don't remember writing it, but even more importantly. I didn't get the chance to read that note. Not to interrupt your train of thought, but... Wonder if you realized where this telephone call is coming from. Huh? How would I know that? Think back. Before you helped her avert fate, didn't a telephone call come in at, the, at around this time too? Oh yeah. It's done. I'm on my way. That telephone call. Exactly. In other words, at this very moment, on the other end of this phone line, is the culprit who ordered your, your murder. What? I recommend you possess the telephone. Once you've done that, I'll tell you about another one of your ghost tricks. Trick time. And then I saw him, right there, on the other end of the other line. I saw the face of the man who ordered me dead. Is it done? Speak up, man. Did you get her? Who is this? Hmm, yes. A thousand pardons, my dear lady. I must have dialed the wrong number. <laughs> So that's him, eh? The man who stole my life. That's right. So what do you think? Would you like to go see him? You better believe I would. Then you would do well to listen to me. We ghosts exist by possessing inanimate objects, however, there is one way we can move from place to 
from place to place over great distances. And that would be... The dead can jump from point A to point B by moving over phone lines. Say what? I've done all I can to help you. You'll just have to rest yourself. You're not coming with me? I'm afraid not. My powers have grown weak. I've already used most, most of my remaining strength just to get here tonight. But I had come to ask for, for your help. My help? Any mysteries... Wait, many, many mysterious things will happen in this town tonight. I'm entrusting you to get to the bottom of them and find out the truth. You're the only one who can do it. I want you to use your powers of the dead to find this truth. I'm grateful to you for everything you've done, but I can't promise I'll help. Tomorrow morning I cease to exist. That doesn't give me a whole lot of time. I need to pursue my own mystery, find out the truth about myself. That's more than enough. Huh? If you succeed in doing that, you have done what I asked anyway. The two are one and the same. One and the same? Hmm. This death slump knows a whole lot more than he's telling me. Now then. From that call a moment, a moment ago. You now have the culprit's telephone number. The rest is all up to you. Junkyard. Sis. And so the story of the search for myself begins a story that will last one night only. And 15, 20 chapters. Tomorrow morning, I will cease to exist, and I'm surprisingly okay with this fact. I have to find the answers before the sun comes up. Why was I killed? And what exactly is going to happen in this town tonight? <laughs> New illustration. Here, chapter one. Save. Yes. Chapter two. Who am I? Why was I killed? The one who is sure to know the answers to those questions is the man who ordered my murder. At the other end of the at the other end of the telephone line is the very man who had me killed. Our meeting is all so sudden. I'm not sure I'm really prepared for what's to come. Hmm, yes. If what I read in this file is true. This woman could be quite a bedeviling bit of trouble for us. She needs to be erased tonight. Confound that nearsighted Jigo. His skills are feeble as his eyesight. His. Confound that nearsighted Jigo. His skills are as feeble as his eyesight. Not to worry, sir. I have already taken the next step, sir. Hmm, yes, but I say the last thing I ever expected was to talk to the target herself. Even if it was only over the telephone. I must admit, my good man, it put me in the tizzy there for a moment. Ha ha ha. What is this place? These oddly luxurious furnishings. These oddly luxurious furnishings. This oddly refined music. And that odd little machine I've never seen. And that odd little machine. I've never seen a room like this before. But one thing's for sure. These people are assassins. And what's more, that red-headed woman is another of their targets. That file the old man has. 
Maybe it'll give me some information on my red on my redhead. Right, let's see. So, I lost my life at a lonely spot on the outskirts of town. I'm trying to regain my lost memory to find out the truth behind my death. Only it's the redheaded woman who witnessed that death. Okay, these don't say anything new. He calls himself Ray. I don't know who he really is. He taught me the secrets of the powers of the dead. He wants me to find out the truth behind the mysterious things happening in this town tonight. The man who gave nearsighted Jigo the order to kill. He's probably behind my death, and the redheaded woman's death too, but his motives are unknown. Master Muscle Man. He appears to be the old man's servant. He operates the machines in a strange room, apparently. A uh, strange room expertly. Alright, that's going back to the junkyard, but I don't really need to do that, do I? Fuck. Hmm, yes. How much long... How much longer, my good man? You are charging up our uh, backup power now, sir. The process should be complete in about 30 minutes, sir. Hmm, yes. But, confound that Jigo, I say. Every year, his reliable range gets shorter and shorter. He'll get coal in his next pay. Envelope. He'll get coal in his next pay. Uh, pay envelope. Confound it. Or might I suggest glasses in his envelope instead, sir? It seems this file contains information about that redhead, but I can't read it when it's closed. Or oh, there you go. I'm afraid, Scott, did you see that? The file, I say. The file reared up and snapped at me. My good man nearly bit my head off. Not to worry, sir. I've already seen to it that the target Miss Lion is no longer a threat, sir. God, that's not what I'm talking about, man. Hmm, Lion, hey? So that's her name, is it? But this file... It's like it's written in a foreign language. I can't read it at all. I just suggest putting away the file and relaxing, sir. You have a very important job ahead of you tonight, sir. Damn. The pickle. The phone and I got put away neatly. The only thing I've learned is the name Line. This sure is a weird room. I traveled through the phone line to get here. But where exactly is here? And who exactly are these people? Lamp. Projector. Another lamp. Okay. Egad, man! Are you trying to give me a case of the vapors? My apologies, sir, but I did not touch it, sir. It appears the equipment is still malfunctioning, sir. Ah, granted, technology is certainly a convenient thing. But our use of it is just plain off. Confound it. Hmm, yes, in any case. I don't wish to see the face of our current target, my good man. As you wish, sir. In that case, might I suggest this, sir? Hey, that's... Hmm... Yes... Cecil... If all goes well with our deal tonight... We will have the power to change the world, sir. 
Hmm, yes. It's a very important night indeed, my good man. We can't afford to make mistakes. And that is why we can't afford to trust that Sissel. No, we must be very careful. Sissel. That must be my name. Now that I hear it, it does sound familiar. A deal, eh? What could that be all about? Just what exactly was I up to, I wonder? Imagine we're act we're we're technically the main villain here. We learn we end up being the main villain of the game. But we're dead. And we've done everything to stop ourselves. We are completely prepared for tonight, sir. Hmm, yes. Now all we have to do is pluck the fruit of success. Fa ha ha. I just realized, did that grape just regrow? Like, look, 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 look. Yeah, see, it regrows. <laughs> One thing's clear. These villains seem to know me. And another thing. There seemed to be some kind of connection between me and this line. Why else would our names both come up here like this? Where's your head, man? I told you that I do not wish to see this face. My apologies, sir. It appears to be another malfunction, sir. Well, get it fixed, man. Unless you want to see me malfunctioning. Certainly, sir. These guys murdered me. And now they're targeting the redhead. What kind of connection do we have with each other? Spinning this painting around makes the old man's head spin. But that's about it. I've got to find the right timing to get beyond this projector. What I need tonight is a way to flip the situation around. the mystery I lost my life at a lonely spot uh, a lonely spot on the outskirts of town my name is Sissel I think there's a connection between me and line who witnessed my death I was apparently trying to make a deal with a mysterious old man tonight a woman who was at the scene of my death her name is line she's already been killed once by the hitman I saved her with my powers of the dead he calls himself Nearsighted Jigo. He's a sniper who carries a golden shotgun. Somebody apparently ordered him to kill the ordered him to kill the detective line and me. But he's gone now due to an unfortunate accident that you cause. Eyebrowed villain. He is probably the culprit behind my death and line's death too. But his motives are unknown. Apparently he's planning to carry out a deal with me tonight, but I don't know the details. I guess I have to... Where's your head, man? I told you I don't wish to see the space. supposed to go. No way, I've already seen this.
What do I wait? Am I just waiting for something to happen? But can you... get to anything. I can only operate this. supposed to do spinning is painting around makes the old man's head spin but that's about it got to find the right timing and get beyond this projector wait tonight is a way to flip this situation around that I don't get it because this is literally... So the right timing for what? Unless... I... Uh... There we go. Because I thought it like started a cutscene. I didn't think I still had control when I click on when I clicked on trick. I say this room is giving me the heebie-jeebies, my good man. With painting spinning around and and the like, it's enough to give a man the jitters. My apologies, sir. The room was just completed recently, sir. There's there we're still trying to iron out the kinks, sir. Mm, yes. I just hope that's all it is. I mean, Egat, man. How am I supposed to relax and enjoy my grapes? Wait, isn't fruit technically a live thing? Oh no, the fruit. It's a miserable state of affairs when I can even be startled by a telephone. That doesn't even ring. Egad. Even more pathetic to be startled by the same telephone twice. Bah! Problem must be solved, sir. The Miss Line problem, sir. What? Line? Hmm, yes. You did mention taking the next step a moment ago, didn't you, my good man? Yes, sir. I sent one step ahead Tango to her apartment, sir. That telephone call must be him reporting in, sir. Very good, very good. Mine is in danger again. He looks exactly the same as the last guy. This is one step ahead, Tango. I'm at the target's apartment now. And? Out with it, man. Have you taken care of her? No, she isn't back yet. What? It only stands to reason. If the target got here first, they wouldn't call me one step ten, uh, one step ahead now, would they? I don't get it, but in any case, man, once you've taken care of her, then you'll promote me to the head of the Hitman division. Bah, no, man. Now you're even getting one step ahead of me. We can discuss my new salary later. Great, Scott. 
Now you're even getting one step ahead of your last one step ahead. I'll get back to my job now, sir. Confound it. You're even hanging up one step ahead. Alright. What did he say, sir? He asked me to raise his salary. What will you do, sir? Maybe I'll give him some of Nearsighted Jago's pay. Line. I can't lose her. She's my only lead if I ever hope to solve the mystery of me. The telephone line guided me to Lion's apartment. Unfortunately, Lion isn't here yet. Wait, fortunately, Lion isn't here yet, but unfortunately, the hitman is. And there are a couple of other unfortunate little developments waiting for me, it seems. Oh. Hmm? It looks like there's an unlucky little lady here tonight. And an even unluckier little doggy. Poor brave little warrior. He must have been trying to defend his mistress. If Lion came here now, I have to do something about the situation and fast. Save the doggy. First and foremost, save the doggy. Huh? Where am I? I'm more to... I'm more to the point. Who am I? Who am I? Uh, are you talking to me? Of course. Do you see anybody else around here? If I remember right, the dead don't have voices. Their thoughts reach the other person directly. I guess that explains why this dog is talking to me right now. This is your mistress apartment, and you are... Presumably the, the little doggy who died here? Died? So I'm dead, huh? Let's see... The dead lose their memories even... Uh, the dead lose their memories. They even forget what they look like. So that's what this blue flame shape is all about. Oh. There's no time to lose. Miss Camilla... Miss Camilla. My Miss Camilla's in trouble. You mean you remember who you are? That's right. I'm Missile. Nice to meet you. I'm a Pomeranian. Aw, he's so cute! Well, I guess now I know it's possible for the dead to regain their memories. Thanks, this little doggy. Miss Camilla! Miss Camilla! My Miss Camilla's in trouble, and I vowed to devote my life to, to protecting her. But I died before I could rescue her. How could, how could I let her down like this? So you're more worried about your mistress' safety than your own death, hey? I like your moxie, little doggy. Looks like it's about time to go back to four minutes before this little guy's death. Time to save... Uh... Time to save... This his life. Okay, um... I'm pretty sure that's a typo. Updated the phone book. Rewind time. Let's see, first of all, I'd better see what I can find out about your death, little guy. Excuse me, but... Where exactly are we? Huh? You followed me? I followed... I followed you. You brought me with you. What? Uh, you follow I followed you, you brought me with you, one or the other. Hmm. It looks like the dead can move around together. This is the land of four minutes before your death. Really? We're in here? So that means you're going to save Miss Camilla, doesn't it? Aren't you even surprised? I mean we just traveled through time and not especially. 
I mean, Miss Camilla can walk around on two legs, but I can't do that. So if she can do that, then it's not so strange that you can walk backwards through time. So that's the way your mind works, hey? I guess that's reasonable enough. Come on, come on, let's get started. Okay, first we watch your last four minutes unfold. Then we use what we learned to save Camilla. Just like when I saved Line at the junkyard. If we watch closely, we ought to be able to get a few leads. Keep your eyes open. Of course. Leave it to me to sniff out a few clues. Oh, I don't want to watch... I don't want to watch the dog getting shot. Does it have four tails? Wait. Yeah, it has like four or five tails. Shut that mutt up! That bitch. No missile. No missile. You're not supposed to bark. The lady next door is crabbier than ever tonight. Why can't she die? If it barks again. I'll knock this wall down. You don't want her to knock the wall down, do you, boy? <sighs> Why do you like to bark so much anyway? You sure are cute. We but just don't get us killed, okay? Damn. I really wanted to watch TV too. Hey, I don't know. I'll listen to music. Oh, oops. Phew, that was close. Why did you hang your headphones on top of a water tank? I'm in the mood for donuts tonight. Okay, this game is unrealistic. You wanna know why? Because the dog would be begging for those donuts. <laughs> I know all too well. I'll knock this wall down. No, I don't... I don't want to see this. I don't want to see this. Mm, I really... I don't really like it when jobs outside the original scope crop up. But I have to put it down as a separate charge. And accounting never likes that. But I guess it can be helped. Sorry, kid. Don't show me that. Okay. So that's the whole dramatic story of what happened four minutes before you die. Wow, look at that, I'm dead. I'm kind of shocked to, to, shock to tell the truth. Okay, let's get started on saving her. But let's see, how are we going to do this? It seems to me the easiest way should be for you to take a big bite out of the man's leg. Oh, I don't think I could do that. Whenever somebody I don't know comes around, all I want to say to them is, Welcome! I can't help it. Aww. Okay, I guess the only thing we can do is get the little lady to help herself somehow. I don't think she could do that. Did you notice her putting on those red things on her head? Red things? Oh, you mean that her... You mean the headphones. Whenever she puts uh, those red things on, that's it. I can call her name until my throat is sore. She never hears me. To be perfectly honest, I hate those red things. Hmm, you're right. With those headphones on, your little lady doesn't hear the sound of the intruder's gun. Which is... Like, how fucking powerful are they? So maybe that's her first lead. Now we know we have to do something about that. Um, wait, uh, game? Oh no. Wait, the game is frozen. Okay, there we go. Yay, 
TP Thunder Mode. Um, okay. Uh, this won't do anything. Holding Umbrella, Extend. Retract. Wait, oh no, no, no. Extend. Shut that mud up. I was so close. You almost knocked those red things down. Hey, I think you're onto something there. If you drop them in the fish tank, Camilla won't be able to use them anymore. But if we drop them in the fish tank, Miss Camilla will, will get a scolding from Miss Line. All you have to do is pretend it was your fault. That's the way of the honorable warrior. Okay, but you obviously never see Miss Line when she gets mad. No, Missa, you're not supposed to bark. The lady next door is crabbier than ever tonight. Um... I don't think I can dial anything. That's funny. What's wrong? This telephone doesn't seem to be working right now. Usually the telephone line glows red, but this... Uh, but it's dark right now. Hmm. Looks like I can't use the telephone lines in the four minutes before death world. Oh, maybe... Oh, hold on. I'm stupid. There, there we... Wait, no. Wait, no. That doesn't help anything. You don't want her to knock the wall down, do you, boy? <sighs> Why do you like to bark so much, anyway? You sure are cute, but just don't get us killed, okay? Damn, I really wanted to watch TV too. Hey, I know, I'll listen to music. Oh, wait, I... Right, right, I let this play out. And then... I miss passing, yeah. Okay, I... oops. Dude, that was close. Wait, no. That was a mistake. Um, I think I, I think I lost it. I think I lost the. I'm in the mood for donuts tonight. I don't think I can make it. Oh no, Miss Camilla put those red things on her head. This is bad. Now she's really off in her own world. Hmm. I think I missed a really critical chance to stop her. I did. RB, I think I. RB, I think. I need to use it and rethink my strategies here. Okay, yeah. Uh, RB? Uh, okay. I guess I better rewind the clock again and see if I can pick up any other clues. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I was right. I need to let time play out, but it had to be... It has to be, like, right when she's about to... Well, I can't really change the little lady's fate by just standing around and watching. That intruder in black will be entering this room in just four short minutes. And my ghost tricks can only get me so far. If I want to save the little lady, I'm going to have to get her cooperation. And the first step to do is to get rid of anything that might get in the way. Okay, so I need I have to wait. I have to wait for her to get her headphones and then I need to extend the umbrella making her drop the headphones. There we go. Uh oh, this isn't good. Miss Camilla is going to put on those red things on her head. Yeah, I know. And once you guess them on, it's all over. She won't be able to hear a thing. What can I do? It's easy. Hold on. 
Wait, no. Oh no, damn. How did I manage to do that? Line just bought those headphones for just bought those headphones too. How about if we tell her you How about if we tell her you did it, missile? Damn. Now I can never now I can't even listen to music either. I think the gods are playing tricks on me tonight. Forgive me, Miss Camilla. I'm only doing it to save you. So what? Now you think you're one of the good... So now you think you're one of the gods, hey? Huh? No, never mind that. The important thing is we managed to change the situation. That's true. At least now we can put on... At least now we can use the little lady's ears to help us. Fate change. Okay. I'm in the mood for donuts tonight. Wait. The question is, what do we do now? Unless we do something more, the outcome will still be the same. Oh, if only I had a big, strong... I had big, strong teeth and an aggressive spirit. Hmm, doesn't seem like we can stop the hitman from coming in, so... Th in that case... Oh, I have an idea. Why don't we hide, Miss Camilla? Hide? Huh. That sounds like the kind of idea a little doggy would come up with. Are you making fun of me? But where could this little... Where could a little lady, like... Uh... Where could a little, little lady hide in this room? Under the... Under the couch where she was earlier? I think I might... I, m I might have just a place. But there's just one little problem. How do we get Miss Camilla in there, right? Exactly. If only... If I could possess Camilla herself... The answer would be e The answer would be easy. But I can't do that, so I guess... The only way is to do is to lead her there. Now what can I do using the objects in the room? In this room? I think I'll have... I'll try out various... Things to see what I can come up with. And I'll be here watching, cheering you on. Hmm. There we go. There we go. I had a feet. No, 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 no. I pressed the wrong. The wrong left button. Uh. Wait, no. Missile, if you bark like that, you'll make the lead next door start howling. If you keep this up, that wall is going to come down on our heads before we know it. But you'll protect me if anything bad happens, right, Missile? No. <laughs> no, you won't. Of course I will. That's quite a big promise for a little fellow. Poor little guy is up again is up against some formidable opponents. The man in black and the woman in purple. Why do you always give your mistress so much trouble? Yes, I'm truly emba embarrassed by my own behavior. But that little guy starts. But when that little guy starts squeaking, it gets me all in an uproar. And when I bark, Miss Camilla always comes over and gives me a nice hug. Hmm. We might be able to take advantage of that piece of information. Huh? How? Wherever the donut falls, the rat shows up. To check it out. And then you go to bark at the rat. And then our little lady comes to you to quiet you down. Yes. That's just the way things work, I'm afraid. So in other words, the donut can be the bait that will lead the little lady to where we want her. Uh, she didn't even notice. Where'd the donuts go?
Huh? I can't make another donut fall. Hmm, what do we do now? Without that donut, the squeaky guy won't come won't come and I won't bark. Hmm. It looks like only one donut will fall. But the don't uh but the donut's the only bait that will lead the little lady to where we want her. Maybe I should rethink my plan of attack. Shut that mutt up. Um, is that it? Is that? What exactly are you barking about anyway? Well, just look at it. It's all sparkly and glittery and it turns around. It turns around and around. Besides, it plays music. It, it plays that exciting music. What else can I do but bark? Tell me this then. Exactly what are you thinking when you bark like that? Well, let's see. That time there, if I had to put my feelings into words, I'd say they were... Welcome! I guess that about sums it up. I guess the kind of feeling I'll never quite understand. I can't get up there. Uh, did you see the donuts? Where'd the donuts go? For her to no. We'll wait for her to. Oh, I apparently could do that. Apparently, you could just go here, and I didn't even notice. Something just fell, and quite dramatically too. It was a wooden box, kind of heavy. I wonder what was what it was doing there. I'm just, I'm just glad it didn't fall on Miss Camilla's head. Me too. We don't need to add to the number of ghosts around here. can't do anything with it. Yes. Door lamp. Door. Open. Wow, you sent that thing flying. I like to tidy up by shoving eyesores under the sofa. <laughs> Hey, how come you're looking at me when you say that? Hey, wait a minute. Under the sofa, hey? Might be a spot the hitman wouldn't look. Come to think of it. Miss Camilla climbs under the sofa all, all the time, trying to catch me. You're a naughty little doggy, aren't you? So my new plan 
is to hide the little lady under the sofa. The only problem now is how do I lead her under there? This? No, it just goes through the ball. Oh shit. Um Wait, she didn't see the Wait. How do I get, um, hold on, so, I can't possess the ball. Oh shit, wait, this is the time of death. How did she not notice? Um... Wait, did I just... Oh shit. Ah fuck. Listen up little girl, I'll make you a deal. You promise to keep quiet, I'll let you live. For now anyway. What a shame. But I guess this brave little fellow refuses to accept our deal. Missile, no! Shit. Um... Time's up. Hmm, doesn't seem like I can... I can stop the intruder from coming in. And I guess... This little doggy must have... Must have had much fighting power. People often tell me my name doesn't suit me. I guess the only thing to do is hide our little lady some uh, someplace where the hitman can't see her. Hmm, I'd better rewind time and think about this one. After fate change, yeah. Okay. In the mood for donuts tonight. Okay, okay, so now. Where'd the donuts go? There we go. Oh, another mouse.
to bark like that? How can anybody enjoy the pretty melody? And your poor mistress has to get up and quiet down every time. And quiet you down every time. Yes, I'm truly embarrassed by my own behavior. Hey, look at that. One of the ornaments fell off the tree. I'm not interested in things like that. I graduated from playing with balls long a, a long time ago. At least you should try graduating from needless barking too. Sorry, that's the one thing I just could never give up. Ah. Okay. Um, all right, it needs to be. How did I do it again? All right, just uh, it's rotate faster, literally, just rotate the slower. I don't think there's much I can do here. Where'd the donuts go? <laughs> there they are. Can't do much here. Wait, unless... No. No, I can't stop time while the door is open for some reason. So... so what exactly do I need? I can't do anything with the latch. This blind ass bitch. What do I do? Because I can't possess the. I can't possess the the box that fell. It's... Do anything with that. The lamp is literally just a bridge. But how do I do? Unless I missed something with the with the latch, which I don't think I did. No, nothing I can do with that. Damn. Looks like I'm done to only a few more seconds. Miss Camilla, we have to do something. We just have to. Now, now. Getting worked up isn't going to help. We're down to the wire here. Do we have enough time to change her fate? To do something to change her fate? Or is it just... Or is it time to use another one of my ghost tricks? Another ghost trick? What is it? We could use rewind time and start all over again from four minutes ago. 
Whatever we do, we better hurry. Oops. I don't know. Um. No, I made a mistake. I'm just gonna. I'm just gonna ch uh, change fate. It's gonna go back again. Okay, sure. Wait, what if maybe it's like, I doubt it, but let's try. Okay, I yeah, know. Doesn't she notice the goddamn box? That's far I tried everything. Why well, haven't I tried? This girl, I swear, she needs glasses. Like, she is blind, and that's coming from me. Ah, uh, hold on. How will she see the ball? Do I maybe need to hit the ball at at a 
at a different time. Let me let me see if maybe she needs to see the ball getting hit under the under the thingy. So now, oh, there we go. What are you doing under here, you silly boy? Oh, my little missile. You're always doing the cutest things. He's not supposed to be coming in so soon, but okay. Nobody's here, hey? Prey is bound to come home sometime. I just want well to make myself comfortable in the meantime. Oh, damn. He's got aim. There. Our little lady's fate has been averted. It has? The poor thing is still curled up in the ball and shaking with fear. Well, yeah, that's true. That's not so bad in the scheme of things. I'd say she's just fine. And look, you're not dead. Oh, you're right, we did it, didn't- Oh, you're right, we did it, we did it, didn't we? We did it! Well, to be precise, you're the one who did it. Huh? Me? I saved Miss Camilla? Yep. You're the one who led her under the sofa, right? You protected your mistress. I can attest to that. Oh. Oh, thank you. Can I ask a question? Sure, what is it? What exactly are those strange powers of yours? Oh, you mean my ghost tricks? Apparently they're powers to manipulate inanimate objects. If they're ghost... tricks, then can I do them too? I'm dead too, after all. I, I guess. That's how it goes, right? I've been staring at those donuts uh, as hard as I could for a long time now. But they won't budge for me. Why do you suppose that is? I don't really know. I guess you just don't have that power. Well, I have one thing to say to that. That's not fair! Sorry, but I guess not everybody who dies gets the power of the dead. So, what's going to happen to me now? Nothing, really. Your death has been erased. You'll just go back to being a happy little doggy living your everyday life. I guess this means goodbye. But... We'll meet again sometime, right? Yeah, maybe, if you die again. What you did for me tonight, I'll never forget it! <laughs> well, I guess we'd better get back to the present. Time to see what happens next in our story. And now, a new present is born. The little lady is still curled up in the ball and shaking with fear. And the little doggy is wagging his tail happily. So, what am I going to do now? I think I'll watch for a while and see what happens. What? Still at the junkyard? Alright, got it. I'm on my way. 
Hmm. I guess my prey likes to play hide and seek. She hasn't had enough of that junkyard yet, apparently. I can't let nearsighted Jigo beat me out on this one. I'd better hurry. What was that all about? You saved me, didn't you, Missile? I just know you did. Maybe I shouldn't answer it. Line! A call from Line, hey? It sounds serious, I wonder what they're saying. Um, I don't know what happened, but I don't want to know. I better go possess that phone and listen in. There's a little doggy all curled up, on the, curled up on the floor, giving away the life we worked so hard to get back from him. That's fine. What's up with that core? The dead can't possess living creatures. That's one of the rules Mr. Deathslime taught me. What would a living and breathing doggy be doing with the core? Better try possessing him and see. Oh, it's you, it's you! It's... Um, come to think of it, I never did ask your name. I guess it's good we ran into each other again then. This is a good chance for us to reintroduce ourselves to, uh, to each other. You mean you forgot my name already? After everything we shared together? The drama? That tearful goodbye? I'm Messel! But, you know, it's strange. I wonder why you remember me. Not that you're alive- now that you're alive again. Do you remember your time being dead? Of course, all of it. Okay, let me get this straight. The memory of being dead doesn't disappear. And the dead I meet in the ghost world develop a core when they return to the land of the living. And if I then possess that core, I can talk to that person. It looks that way, yes. <laughs> that Camilla, it never fails. What never fails? Every time she gets in that black hello, she talks and talks and forgets all about me. No matter how much I run around and show off, she never even glances at me. So that was you showing off, eh? Well, I would like to hear about the ladies or- I would like to hear what the- uh, what the ladies are talking about. Oh, so would I. Oh yeah, same. Alright. Camilla, oh thank goodness you're okay. Well, I don't know if I'm okay exactly. You won't believe what just ha- Listen to me, you've got to get out of there right now. What about dinner? I was thinking about spaghetti tonight. I won't be going back there for a while, and you might be in danger if you, if you stay there too. But I already was in danger just a little while ago. Meet me at, the, at that restaurant, the chicken kitchen. Uh, on Dead End Drive. Dead End Drive? I don't know, that's pretty far. Just hurry, okay? Oh, and one more thing. Bring the music box with you, okay? The music box? I love those music boxes. Is it a present for me? I'm sorry, it doesn't... I'm sorry, but it doesn't play. I can't even get the lid open. Then you... Then you can't very well call it a music box thing, can you? More... More like just box. Just bring it, okay? It's kind of big and it's made out of wood. Okay, I will. Where is it? I kind of hid it in that room you're in. Excuse me. Eek. 
Line. Oh no. Not again. Damn. Now I've dropped the phone in there too. How about we tell her you did it, Vessel? <laughs> but I sure hope Line's alright. I better get going. I know right where Dead End Drive is. I never saw any music box around here. Why the hell am I supposed to find it? Do you know where it is, Missile? Help me look, okay? It's literally on the tree. You just need to look up. Well, I guess the phone's dead now, too. Where are the odds that would happen? Looks like our little lady is a bit of a klutz. Next thing I... Next thing you know, she'll be dropping that poor little doggy in a tank. Anyway, something is happening to Line. I bet I helped Camilla find th her treasure. Hmm, I don't know if it's because I lost my memory or what. But I don't seem to remember what a music box is exactly. Are you stupid? Looks like this is your chance to shine. Me? What do you mean? You can really help her... Uh, you can really help her out right now. With that great nose of yours. Oh, you're right. I didn't think of that. So what kind of smell should I be looking for? Oh, uh, I don't really know. Oh. Hey, come on. You can't expect me to do everything for you. That's okay. I don't, don't feel too bad about it. I'm being consoled by a dog. Can I please? Okay, there we go. Okay, now it's the same dialogue. All right. Wait, it isn't there anymore. Wait, didn't I drop it earlier? I dropped it in... That wooden box just... That wooden box I just fell. That might... Uh, that just might be the music box we're looking for. Bet the little lady will know when she sees it. We're really close now. This bit, she is blind as fuck. Wait. Oh, okay, there you go. This is it, the music box. Yippee. I'll leave the remote here. But don't touch it, missile. If the TV comes on, you'll start barking. I'd hate to find you flattened underneath that wall when I came home. Bring missile along. Okay, I'm leaving now, missile. I have to go help Line. She's like a sister to me, you know? You be good while I'm away, and no barking. He literally just broke his promise. Uh, still no peace for the little lady. And the redhead line is facing a new crisis right now as well. Meanwhile, I'm in a bit of a pickle of my own. With the receiver at the bottom of the fish tank, I find myself still trapped in this apartment. Too bad. I can't just curl up and go to sleep with my tail wagging too. Because there is something I must do. The question is, how do I go about getting out of here? Nice. Go chapter 2. Save it? Yes. Continue playing it? Yes. Once again, Lion's in danger, and I think she knows it too. I sincerely doubt she'll be coming back to this apartment tonight. She and I are connected to each other somehow. She's my only lead and I can't lose her. 
to get to her and fast. Oh, hello, what's up? I was wondering if you could help me. I'll certainly try. But the only thing I'm... But the only thing I'm really good at, though, is barking. There really isn't much anything else. I think there might be... I think he might be right there. But I'm really, really good at barking. Miss Lang comes chasing after me with a broom. The lady next door kicks the wall. Well, quite a bit of influence around these parts. Oh, hello, what's up? Okay. Oh, you can skip the dialogue. Nice. Okay, okay. remote control. I'll knock this wall down. I want her to die. You keep that racket up. I'll bring this whole dilapidated building down on you. Did you hear what I just heard? You mean the lady next door and you mean the lady next door's angry howl? No, forget that. It was the sound of a telephone ringing coming from the apartment next door. Oh, I get it. You're thinking about borrowing her telephone, aren't you? But how are you going to do that without breaking the wall down? Well, the lady next door is kindly offering to do it for us. Yes, but she's mostly hoping to crush me underneath it. Ah. Come on now, you can't bark any louder than that. Louder? But then that lady will knock the wall down on top of me. We'll worry about that when it happens. Mm, anyway, I'm barking as loud as I I'm barking as loud as I can already. I need to have this little doggy put some more energy into it. Let's see. Wasn't there something else around here that gets a reaction out of him? The this. I'll pound this wall open. <laughs> I told you, didn't I? I told you I would knock the wall down on you. How did that... Wine bottle not break. So this is what it feels like to have a wall knocked down on you, huh? It's more like she knocked you out through the wall, really. I'm still alive, aren't I? You are... You are, but the TV and the star ornament aren't. I'll never bark again. Not as long as I live. Wait a minute. It looks like all that commotion wasn't for naught. Huh? Your barking made her create a path for me. It did? But the wall is still standing just like before. But there are paths only the dead can see. Oh, those kinds of paths. Trick time. Wait, wasn't that... Wasn't that crane thing already there? So you're leaving, huh? I guess so. You're going to go save Miss Camilla and Miss Lime? I have to follow my own mystery first. I'm f uh, my own mystery first and foremost. That means everything to me. But you will save them, right? If it helps me along my way, then yes. Ugh. I don't have any powers of the dead. I'm not even dead, actually. 
But I'm going to find a way to go help Miss Camilla too. We create our own paths, right Missile? That's right. Okay, I'm leaving now. Guess this is our second goodbye. It is, isn't it? My name is Sissel. If you ever meet again, that's what you call me. Sissel, huh? Got it. You know what, Sissel? I'm going to create my own path, just like you said. <laughs> oh, that's adorable. No, don't do that. Wait. Wait, don't do that. No, missile. Wait. Tonight is the holiest of all nights. My deadline. All I need to get some inspiration from the muses is this bottle and some cheese. Here is to the boorish people next door. What did they cling on? Like, it made the clinging noise, but that's... Like, it literally was just in midair. Are you alright, my darling angel? Have you taken your medicine like a good girl? Wait. Well, here I am, in yet another strange room. What's with the oddly tense air of this place anyway? Now, where is that little treasure I'm looking for? There it is. There it is, the telephone. Now, if I can just borrow it... I see. Wait, is that a, a dictionary? This thing is too heavy, I can't manipulate it. Hey Daya, how you doing? Are you holding up? Uh, I'm living. Maybe that woman built up her destructive power by uh, hefting his, this puppy. 44 parts, parts is amazing. Yeah. 44 parts and I'm still not dead. I am surprised. It's more like a weapon than a book. Oh, Mr. Prime Minister. You mustn't. I'm a married woman. And I'm a married man, but we cannot resist this any longer. Is she writing fan fiction? What the fuck? I'm ready to abdicate it all for you. Even if if even if it means my ultimate ruination. Hmm. Ruination? Is that even a word? Don't actually die trying. I I won't promise anything. I already passed out a couple of times. And I'm hungry too. Oh well. And that abdicate just doesn't look right somehow. This is going to nag me until I'm sure. Uh. Okay. Those too heavy. This thing is too heavy. I can't manipulate it. How did the right go back up there? He went under the table earlier. Wait, wait, wait. Where is that dictionary? Uh, that uh, sucks. Eat. Take care of yourself and enjoying super hard streaming challenges. Uh, but that, like... Like, eating requires money and I have nothing in... I, I finished everything to eat. Oh, there it is. How did she not see the rat? But this is... But it's strange. I know I left this dictionary on the shelf. It's as if some little angel uh, were playing tricks on me. Uh, 
Oh no. Yeah. Food is for the rich, and I and I um, I'm unfortunately poor. Perhaps, my darling angel. Mama. Okay. What's this? Food is getting outrageously expensive lately. Yeah, it is. Uh, I can't... Huh? I can't turn the knob anymore. Alright, sure. If you bought this dictionary all, all the way over here to look something up. Regardless, here it sits, all alone. Either she forgot what she wanted to look up, or she forgot she even wanted to look anything up in the first place. Hmm. Is irregardless really a word? I don't know. Help me, university physics is gonna make me go crazy? Um... Uh, I, I failed literally everything, so I can't help. <laughs> I don't know how I'm... Oh, I guess I just needed to... What is it, my darling angel? Oh, my head hurts, mama. You, you poor dear. And no wonder with a fever of 102. Damn. Here is to a night of... Here is to a night of fever. Fever. Oh my god, I can't even talk anymore. Hotter than the love of my prime minister. It's almost time to go out of my le to go out for my lesson. Can I take the night off? Yes, I suppose that would be best. But wait a minute. Bet you're happy to have an excuse to get out of it, aren't you? Not especially. If I ever don't want to go, I just don't go and pretend I did. I go play with Camilla next door or something. Here is to the blunt honesty of my darling angel. Hey, today is Papa's birthday. Oh, is it? Are we going to celebrate together? Let's not talk about your father, dear. Now Mama has to go back to work. I have a deadline tonight, after all. Mama, wait. I have just one thing to say. Don't try and put me in the middle of you two, okay? Whatever could you be talking about? I know what's going on, you know. You write novels and Papa wants you to stop. But it was very selfish of you to take me and leave the house. I want to go home. Now, now. It's time for good little girls to go to sleep. Especially sick little girls. I hate you, Mama. I should read that thing more often. Hold on, let me do that. A woman who was at the scene of my death. Her name is Line. After she phoned the little girl in her apartment, I lost track of her. A hitman is after her again. The other hitman. He's a hitman who... On the old man's orders is targeting Line. His name is One Step Ahead Tango. Uh, he's nearsighted Jigo's rival. Upon hearing that Lime was still at the junkyard, he headed there at once. The little lady. Her name is Camilla. Over the phone, Lime asked her to find the music box hidden in the apartment and to bring it to the restaurant. Valiant Pet. A friendly little Pomeranian. His name is Missile. His mission is to protect the little girl who is... Who is his mistress? He's doing his best right now to create a path to do just that. Perfume lady. Lion's neighbor. She lives in an apartment decorated in red with her daughter. Apparently, she's a novelist who moved here due to a disagreement with her husband. Feverish firecracker. 
The daughter of the woman in purple, she has a fever of 102 and is resting in bed. Apparently, she is Camilla. Uh, she and Camilla are friends. She isn't going out for her lesson tonight. Okay. These two are quite a pair. The father would have to be a pretty strong man to hold his own against them. It sounds like their family circumstances are pretty complicated. I wonder if I had a family. Oh my, the lamp is out. What the f- I have so many questions. What is her ass made of? Wait, wait, wait. Ah, wait, I wanna read that. Fuck. Eek, what's going on? Oh, I made a typo. Ooh, wait. Give me that. Uh, I... Hello? Is that you? How many times are you going to make me tell you? Tonight is that holiest of all nights, my deadline. Please, I'm begging you. Change your mind and come home to me. I think you're the one who used to change his mind. Please, put, your, put yourself in my position. You can write your novel just as well from home. Until you change your mind, your daughter and I won't be coming home. Even if it means forever. Let me talk to Emily, then... Alright, let me talk to Emily then, at least. You can't talk to her, she's sick with a fever right now. And I won't have you giving her nightmares. I want to talk to Papa. Now, I don't want to hear your voice anymore tonight. Please, wait a minute. Don't try to call again, I won't answer. I refuse to answer. I want her to die. Wait. Now I finally have the telephone lines I need. I'm curious about this woman's husband. But I should go find my only lead first. That hitman who's after line is sure to be heading to the junkyard right now. I'd better hurry. Can I go up here? Yes, I can. Wait, is he like royalty or something? Are you alright, sir? I ordered all of you not to come near me. I, I beg your pardon, sir. Uh, I'm sorry, I shouldn't have yelled at you like that. But I'd like to be left alone right now, you may go. Yes, sir. Oh boy. Another strange room and another strange person. I wish these telephones line came with nameplates or something. Sheesh. Trick time. No? Not much I can do here. So let's go to the junkyard. Not much time has passed since I was here last, but the situation has changed. Is that- No way. No way. Hold on. It's not exactly him. But that- 
That looks like Phoenix. That actually, you cannot tell me that is Phoenix's suit. Looks like they're examining my body. I wonder who they are. Like, look at that. And besides them, a certain somebody else wiggles uh, and bounces happily. I wonder who that person really is, too. Welcome back. You weren't gone for very long. What's going on here? The police are here to start the criminal investigation. You know, into your murder. My murder case, hey? Where's Line? Is she alright? So, you found her name already, did you? I'm impressed. Excuse me. Line. It sounded like she was in some kind of immediate danger. Not to mention the fact that Hitman is after her again. Well, you don't have to worry about that kind of thing. She was just taken into custody a few minutes ago. Custody? You mean she was arrested? But why? I don't know, I'm just a desk lamp. Hmm, I better see what I can find out. Um, game? Game? Uh... Oh, there we go. Quite a thing, huh, this case? Yeah. One of... One of our own. A murderer? Heads will roll over this. And she's a rookie, too. And she was carrying out some crazy investigation. Rookies aren't given crazy assignments like that. Not even rookies like Line. Yeah, but I heard she was special. She's got strong ties to Inspector uh, Cabanella, one of the special investigation unit. Hmm. I plan on moving up the ladder on my own merits myself. Well, we detectives shouldn't be standing around gossiping. Never know who might be listening. Like me. Like me. <laughs> I think we can safely assume the cause of death was the bullet he took in the chest. Bring the stretcher. I'll look into the rest back at the lab. Would you mind waiting here for a bit, Doctor? Inspector Cabanella, head of Special Investigation Unit, is on his way now. Special Investigation Unit? What do they want in a case like this? I don't know, but... Cabanella's our top investigator. We don't want to get him all bent out of... Uh, all bent out of shape. Or there'll be hell to pay. Hmm. Let's see what that has to do with me. I don't really get what Cabanella wants to come for either. It's probably just a big lark for him. But it makes things tougher on us. Hey, watch what you say behind his back. You never know who might be listening. Like me. Like me. Like me? This is one funky dude. Ah, the tension of a crime scene. Yeah, nothing like it, baby. Evening, boys. How's it looking? Inspector Cabanella, thank you for coming. Hi, how are you? Hey, Zitra, how you doing? I'm doing alright. I'm living, I think. Allow me to report, sir. Fine, fine. Just hold that thought. I'm gonna make a little phone call first. Oh, this guy. 
So this is the head of the Special Investigation Unit. Seems, uh, unique. Updated the phone book. Trick time. Well, here he is for his big lark. Aren't you going to confront him about it? I'm going to make my report. Yeah, that's what I figured. Do me the deal. How's it going over there, baby? Going? How's it going, you ask? You'd like to know how it's going? I would say it's going well enough. About fair to average. If I had to say, yes, it's going alright. Not the man I was hoping to talk to there, baby. Do me a favor and put that other nice man on the horn. Now, would you? That's nice fellow. If it has anything to do with this park, I'm the one to talk to. I'm the guardian of this park, yes. Ah, uh, sorry about that, Inspector. I just got here. Well, glad to hear you made it. That other fellow is just, a just about threw me for a loop. Started blattering something about being guardian of the park or some such. Yes, him. <laughs> Sorry about that. Well, start doing your, uh, staking out, your staking out thing, baby. And buzz me, uh, and buzz me if anything comes up. Yes, sir. This dude got the moves. Park. Now then, sir. If I make my report, sir. Duck. You who? Oh, duck. Talking to me. I need to handle this case with your finest care and attention. Would you do that for me, Doc? Don't need you to tell me how to do my job. Any hoot. I'd like to see the suspect now, if I may. Line, sir? I asked her to let herself be taken into custody voluntarily, sir. She'd been detained in the junkyard's super in, uh, in the junkyard superintendent's office right now. Super's office, eh? Super. And where's that? It's just beyond where you parked your bicycle, Inspector. I'll go interview the suspect then. Yeah, nothing like a baby. Carry on, boys. Good luck, sir. Fucking love this guy. I go to the park. It appears to be... It appears to be the entrance to a nearly deserted, dimly lit park. The voices of two young people drifting over... Uh, over to me on the breeze. Stop the park from being turned into a housing site. Protect the park. The rock of the gods. Uh, sorry, but could you do that somewhere else? I'm a little busy right now. I don't have time to talk. I suppose you think I'm a man of dubious character. A questionable person. No, I, uh... But if an objective person were asked... They might think you were a little suspicious yourself. As two suspicious characters, shouldn't we take the time to converse with each other? 
Oh boy. Alright. But just for a minute. There. I like your attitude. I like it very much. Let's relax and talk a while then. The night is young, and so are we. Oh man. Doesn't seem to be anything I can do here. Alright. Um I think I just have to go back to the junkyard. And see what else. That Inspector Calabella, he sure was a strange air. He sure has a strange air about him. You can say that again. I've never seen anybody use stairs the way he does. I hear he's dancing his way up the stairs of promotion, this, that same airy way. And I hear Line is his personal favorite. What's the deal between those two? And hey, how should I know? I think we can pretty safely assume this was the murder weapon. Oh no, that pistol. Yep. Same model, uh, same model as the pistols you detectives carry around. You don't think it's lines, do you? It's not good. If it is hers, it's all over. So line is a detective. And the murder weapon might be her pistol. What did it all mean? So this is the so this is the weapon that took my life. A pistol, eh? My memory seems to be hazy on pistols. But I have seen them before. That's for sure. Let's see this part right way. I need to read that again. Uh, but I have seen them before, that's for sure. Let's see. This part right here is... Fool! If you want to fire the thing, aim it in your own direction. I didn't fire it, I'm the victim here. This is an act of somebody who's jealous of my abilities as a detective. Well, what are you glaring at me for? I'm hardly jealous of you. Well, I guess that proves it's a real gun. Bang. What was that? Is that what I think it was? The sound of a gun. I've got a bad feeling about this. Every time that phone rings, it's bad news. It's like that old riddle. Which came first, the ringing of the phone or the crime case? Um, if you say so. I mean, in that case it depends, right? Because it's... A bag. It's like... It depends. Is the ringing of the phone what caused the crime case? Or is the ringing of the phone what called the police? Ah, there you are. Do me a favor and have the doc come to the super's office, would you? Um, he seems pretty busy at the moment, sir. Which one are you, the green one or the blue one? Uh, uh, I'm the green one, sir. Listen, Greeny, get the good doc over here this instant. Or I'll see you, or I'll see to it you never wear a green suit again. Yes, sir, I'll send him right up again, uh, right up, sir. Super's office. 
Please, doctor. Go to the superintendent's office immediately. <sighs> if I must. Trick time. What's going on? Don't ask me, but something seems really, really wrong. That shot sounded like it was coming from somewhere around the maintenance room. Yet another gunshot rings out the lonely junkyard on the edge of town. It, the sound gives me the feeling a new death will be awaiting on the other side of the line. Apparently, I'm not the only one the Reaper is interested in tonight. But as long as there's anything I can do about it, I don't plan on letting anybody else die. Mm -hmm. Oh, that was chapter 3. Oh. Uh, hold on. I said I can change the background of the game. Those are the challenges. Oh shit. A really cool illustration. Oh, that's even better. Damn. Looking like me by the end of the stream. Same thing. Uh. Oh, that's the, the entire map. That's cool. I don't know why he's so important to have his own illustration, but okay. And that's the whole map of the... Of Camilla's house. And that's the bitch's house. And that's the lamp. Okay. Is there a good uh oh I don't think we're supposed to listen to this just yet, but here we are. Hmm, okay. Um said Ah? Uh, no, wait. Options. Display. Background. Wave pattern. Sissel spirit. Line, plain blue, plain red, plain green, plain orange, silhouette, missile, that's adorable, I think I might go for that one, 
Sissel and Nine, but it, I am only seeing the Sissel. Camilla and Missile. Ray and Black Cat. I don't know who Ray and Black Cat is, but I should probably. Oh wait, Ray and Black Cat, the the lamp and the and the Black Cat. So is yeah okay I see. I have this for now. Light changes, yes. Chapter select. Go back. Go to chapter four. Start. Yes. Go. Let's see. Changing a person's fate is no easy task, especially when their fate is death. The scene at the other end of the line is pretty much what I expected, all except for one thing. Yeah, okay, I, I had a feeling it would be. No, line, hang in there, baby. It looks like some piece. Some piece of trash shot her in the top of the pile of garbage outside. Here, let me take a look at her. Maybe there's something I... Sorry, I can't allow that pigeon, man. I can't allow that pigeon, man. I investigate and you super in superintend. You have your job and I have mine. Let's leave each... Uh, let's leave each to his own profession, shall we? Yeah... Well, here's what I think. How much of a pro can you be if you uh, let her get shot right in front of you? I... Anyway, have it your own way. I'll stay out of your hair. Man, it's kind of a boss. Doc, what took you so long? Quit dragging your feet. Who are you to shadow me? Now let me have a look at the victim. I haven't even looked yet, but I can't. But I can already tell you she's dead. Her second death of the night, actually. This blinding pink notebook. Somebody stuck it behind the bookcase at a haphazard angle. Maybe that's the superintendent's way of tidying up? Is there anything different if it's turned on? No. Can't get to that. Wait, what's this? Motor. Wait. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Fine. First, let's uh, let's see this. Or not. Never mind. Might as well check down here then. Oh, I can't. Never mind. Well, that was a waste of a dialogue. Cool. I can't. His, his dialogue is gone. I can't uh, trigger his dialogue anymore. Ball. Oh. This must be a basement. There's an old man from before. Can't see very well, but I can't see very well in this darkness. But it looks like a pretty strange room. And never mind this. Better go see about line. 
Um, there we go. I'm conscious at this time as well. Eh? Where am I? She's coming too. What happened to me? Excuse me. Are you ignoring me? Huh? Oh, sorry. I'm still not used to uh, talking with dead people, you see. Dead? So I'm dead, huh? Hmm. Try as I might, I can't seem to remember who I am. She's trying to remind me of me. Who am I? Everybody seems to call you Line, if that's any help. Line, huh? Pretty cute name. And apparently you're a detective too. Detective? You mean that super cool kind of cop that solves crime and crimes and upholds justice? Sounds like a pretty subjective description, but yes, that's kind of detective. Hey, wait a minute. Are you starting to remember something? There's no time to lose. Something really unusual is going down in this town tonight. Yeah, I certainly wouldn't argue with the really unusual part. That's not your face, you know. Take another look. You're the dead one. Oh, right, of course. It'd be pretty... It'd be pretty heinous if I look like this, I guess, wouldn't it? I don't know if heinous is the right word. There. Now this is more like it. Something really unusual is going on in this town tonight. Could it have anything to do with my death, I wonder? Tell me, what is going on in this town tonight? Don't ask me. Huh? I can't remember a thing. I think it's probably because I'm dead. Grr. Everything is so confusing. Can't you do any- Can't you do something? Hey, you're ask- Hey, you're asking the wrong guy. Uh, I've got something to ask you about. About me. I'm looking for answers to the question who am I and why I was killed. Do you know anything that might help me? The only thing I know right now is that my name is Sissel. Your name is Sissel, huh? I think so. It rings some kind of bell anyway. I think I was killed tonight while I was meeting with you. So, you must at least know me, I think. I was meeting with you? Yes, in the junkyard outside. Yeah, it's coming back to me. I remember now. I knew it. I knew you were the lead I needed. But I'm so sorry. I don't think I can help you. Why not? Because I don't know you. What do you mean? I thought you said you remembered me. No, I said I remembered something I remembered. No, wait. No, I said I remembered something. I remembered the fact that I don't know you. <laughs> no way. Oh, two strangers? Alright, uh, line's there. So I died, huh? Yes, apparently. I'm very sorry. How could this have happened? And after I just passed my test, finally this year. My exciting career of catching the bad guys had just begun. And now look at me. Why did I have to, why did I have to go and die in an old junkyard like this? Poor kid, the shock is setting in. And so I told her everything that happened tonight, about ghost tricks, possessing and manipulating objects, and about going back four minutes before a person's death. This actually isn't the first time you died tonight, you know. You were already shot and killed once before tonight. And you saved me? That's right, you don't remember? Yes, I think I do remember something like that happening, vaguely. Yes, I did get shot by a blue man dressed in all black. I guess this means that even in even if a death is erased, the memory of it remains. So I died twice already tonight. Wish I knew what to say to her. Guess I'll just have to wait until she recovers a little. Hey. I bet that's some kind of... I bet that's some kind of record, don't you think? 
Uh, yeah, you're probably right. Looks like she's pretty much recovered already. Two strangers. So you don't know me, huh? Nope, wish I did. So you suppose we're just two strangers who happened to meet tonight? No way. I don't think it was an accident. Why in the world would I be way out here in the middle of nowhere for no reason? I was asked to come here tonight. Asked to come? By who? Can't you kind of guess where it is go where this is going? You're kidding. You mean... Bingo, by you. I asked you to come here, but why? That's what I was going to ask you. Why did you ask me to come here tonight? Way out here in the middle of nowhere. You gotta be kidding me. It goes without saying that I don't remember. Uh, everything is so confusing. Can't you do something? Mmm... Line. I'm not saying you owe me or anything, but I have a favor to ask. What is it? In the next four minutes, you'll probably come back to life. When you do, do you think you could try to find out about me before tomorrow morning? Who I am and why I was killed? I'm really sorry. But I can't make any promises. Why not? I don't remember very clearly right now. But I think I was investigating a case tonight. A case that is very, very important to me. So even if I come back to life, I don't think I'll have time to find out anything about you. I know that's a ter I know that's a terrible thing to say to the person who saved my life once already. I'm really, really sorry. I see. That's too bad. But I'm afraid I'm still going to ask you. Ask me what? Ask you to save me. Even though I probably won't be able to help you. I know it's selfish of me, but I really apologize. But I just can't die. Not yet. Not like this. I'm investigating something important tonight. I think maybe that might be the reason I was killed. But I still want to solve the case in spite of all that. Am I out of line? Didn't I tell you a minute ago I don't you don't owe me? Huh? Okay. I'm certainly not gonna treat your life like some kind of bargaining chip. I'll save you. What you do after that is up to you. Thank you. So, you ready to go back? Back to four minutes before you got shot? Rewind time. Line's second death. I'm heading back in time now to rewrite her fate. Faced with those circumstances, she could have just lied and promised to help me, but she didn't. That's when I knew I could trust her. I have a bad feeling about this. Yes, sir. Detective, is everything okay? Oh, uh... I was hungry, so I was trying to get something delivered. What? Don't do that. Oh, I'm sorry. You should leave jobs like that to me. Is chicken alright? One chicken dinner. Oh, that's okay. <laughs> I'm not feeling very hungry anymore. I'd like to go back to the station for a minute, though. You would? Oh, uh, I'm afraid I can't let you do that. Inspector Cabanella is on his way. He'll be here any minute. Evening, patrolman. Good evening, Inspector. 
Uh, good evening, Inspector Calambella, sir. Nice work. Now, do me a favor and take a little patrol around outside, would you? That's a nice fellow. Hello, Delia, how you doing? Yes, sir. Yo, how's it going, baby? Inspector Cavanella, what are you doing here? I thought the Special Investigation Unit had an important top secret assignment tonight. What does that matter at a time like this? When my line's in crisis. I appreciate it, sir. Wait a minute. Did you just say crisis? Hello, Dahlia. How you doing? I already said hello. Don't tell me I'm being suspected. Suspected of shooting that pointy-haired man in the red suit. I mean... Nice YouTube channel, thank you. I mean, I've never even met the guy before. Hmm, never, baby? Oh, well, uh... Before tonight, I mean. He asked me to meet him here. He said he had important information about the big case I'm working on. He's the one who contacted me. I see, I see. But it's funny, isn't it? I took a look at the list of cases your station is handling right now. And I didn't see you listed as involved on any big cases. You know, I don't suspect you, baby. I'm trying to clear things up. You're not the type to ever shoot anybody. Hey. Who, kn who knows it better than me, baby? You know, if anything ever happened to you... I'd never be able to look him in the eye again. Inspector Cabanella, I'm going to ask you a question. Yeah? And what's that? And I want you to answer honestly. Is it tonight? Is that when it's happening? I have no idea what you're talking about, baby. Get down! Wait... How did... It seems that... It seems to me that baby is indeed under a suspicion. Wait, how did she get shot? She was... She was not... Near the window. By Inspector Cabanella? No, he's not like that. Just for the record, did you shoot me? Me? I would never do anything like that. Anyway, it looks like the hitman fired from outside. It'd be hard to prevent the bullet from coming in, though. In any case, let's just give it a try. Our four-minute game. Time. You know what? I have an idea. Um, the guy who shot me is outside, right? Looks that way, yeah. Instead of trying to stop the bullet uh, once it gets in here, wouldn't it be more fun to go out and stop the guy who's shooting the bullet? Fun? Fun, she says, with the eyes gleaming. Oh boy. You can use the telephone to move around, right? That's right. I know the telephone number to the junkyard payphone, too. I don't want to get shot again. You know what they say about three strikes and you're out. As long as you don't become a ball player, you'll be... You'll be probably be safe. But the telephone thing is a good idea. Maybe I'll give it a try. No, it doesn't work, right? I have a bad feeling about this. Yes, sir. Detective, is everything okay? Oh, uh... I was hungry, so I was trying to get something delivered. 
What? Don't do that. Oh, I'm sorry. You should leave, so you should leave jobs like that to me. Is chicken alright? Now I'm hungry. I already was hungry, but now I'm even more hungry. What's up with this blinding pink notebook? Oh, that's mine. Isn't it adorable? Hee <laughs> hee. Why isn't your adorable pink... Uh, why isn't your adorable notebook in your pocket? I panicked, okay? Don't... Don't you shove things in the bookcase when you... When you panic? Who are you calling, anyway? It was personal business. Hello. The chicken kitchen. You want chicken? We got you. We got your chicken. One chicken dinner, please. Would you like an order of fried... Oh, would you like an order of fried chicken with that? Oh, that's okay. Go there. Because why not? Hello? Where would you like that? Where would you like that delivered? They hung up. A chicken kitchen. La, la, la. What does it matter? A kitchen order or two lost. If it were three orders, that would be a different story though. La la la. Trick time. Bring it. We just popped over here while we had the chance without too much thought. But this isn't where the hitman who's trying to kill me is. Clearly. We probably ought to go. Uh, we probably ought to hurry back. Hmm, that's funny. What's the matter? This telephone doesn't seem to be working right now. Usually the telephone line goes red, but I don't see it now. We came here by telephone line. Apparently, in this four minutes before death world, we can only use the lines while the telephone is being used to make a call. You're kidding, right? As long as the lines are closed, uh, closed like this, it looks like we can't go anywhere. I guess we'll have to start over. Uh, I'm hungry. Wait, no, I'm stupid. Stay here. No sense in going over to the restaurant now. Right, I can't eat chicken if I'm dead. That's not what I was talking about. The place we need to be now is outside the junkyard where the hitman lurks. And the only way to get there is to use the telephone lines. I'd like to go back to the station for a minute though. You would? 
Oh, uh, I'm afraid I can't let you do that. So we can't use the phone, right? No, no. That's funny. What's the matter? This telephone doesn't seem to be working right now. Usually the telephone line glows red, but it's dark right now. What? Apparently, in this four minutes before death world, this four minutes before death world, we can use the phone lines whenever we want. You're kidding, right? As long as the lines are closed like this, it looks like we can't go anywhere. But I want to stop that criminal. You don't need to stand guard over this rookie detective line. Now that I'm really look now that I'm really looking at her, she sure is cute. She told me to call the detective outside if she did anything suspicious, so here I stand. Hey, maybe I need to call the detective outside after all. She's so beautiful, it's criminal. Oh. A curious soul. Um... Hey Tonk, how you doing? I exist again? Yep. Can I use this? Yes, I can. Microscope. What could this be? It looks like a giant nail clipper. You think so? Do you know what it is? <sighs> Why'd you have to ask me? I couldn't... Couldn't you see I was looking away, evasively? Huh? It's one of those sciencey things that scientists use. Ordinary people like us don't have to know what it is. I don't remember what science is. In fight, just irritated by mosquitoes? Oh god. Yeah, that... <laughs> that's the worst. But it's apparently something Line doesn't like very much. I remember when I went, la uh, yeah, last year when I went to Italy in the summer. Uh, when I go to Italy, uh, yeah, no way I'm wearing a shirt, right? It's way too fucking hot there. So like, I just go out completely shirtless. But like, I remember I went to this one place, uh, this this one person's house, and and there was just a bunch of mosquitoes there, and like that that was that was awful. Already killed millions of them by in my lifetime. Oh god. Oh, I'm in Indonesia. Oh god, yeah. I can imagine how hot it is there. I feel like most like bugs in general are just like are just always pretty decent mosquitoes here. Yeah, I feel like the hotter the place is, the more like the more mosquitoes there are I feel like which is why I don't see them all that all that much uh, here in England it was usually pretty cold usually or at least decently cold Spectre Cannabella is on his way he'll be here any minute some days are real hot some are decent yeah Evening, patrol man. Good evening, Inspector Cannabella, sir. Nice work. Now do me a favor and take a little patrol out around outside, would you? That's a nice fellow. Yes, sir. Yo, how's it going, baby? Inspector Cabanella, what are you doing here? I thought the special investigation unit had an important top secret assignment tonight. What does that matter at a time like this when my line's in crisis? I appreciate it, sir. These pictures are old. What are they of? Little fragments of rock? And the fragments are glowing. Do you know what these are? 
sorry, I've lost my memory. Probably not the best person to ask. What is that? Huh? Uh, I can't tell what that is. Uh, I'm so broken in my skills. I killed three of my bare hands yesterday. Wait, you don't kill? Huh? Okay. Uh, that's okay. I was only being polite. I don't really think you'd know. Ouch. This lady's tongue can be sharp. Uh, I can hear what you're thinking, remember? I know. Good one. Don't tell me I'm being suspected. Suspected of shooting that pointy-haired man in the red suit? I mean, I've never even met the guy before. Hmm, never, baby? Uh, well, uh... Before tonight, I mean. He asked me to meet him. Meet him here. He said he had important information about the case I'm working on. He's the one who contacted me. You know, I don't suspect you, baby. Just trying to clear things up. You're not the type to ever shoot anybody. Hey, who knows you better than me, baby? No, if anything ever happened to you. I'd never be able to look at him in the eye again. Okay, something's... Please tell me. Shit. No, 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 get, get back. What's that? Ah, I can't reach. Um, what am I supposed to do? Did I miss the timing, maybe? Um, maybe I missed the timing. What are you talking about? I think I'm dead. I, I don't think I can make it. Get down. Yeah. Yeah, okay. Apparently the hitman fired from outside in the junkyard. Probably the best thing to do is go out there and stop him directly. But in the past, I can't just use the telephone lines whenever I want. Hmm. I'm guessing the only way is to get somebody to call the junkyard. Call the junkyard? Wait. How can I do that? Oops. Uh...
How would I possibly get anyone to call a junkyard? Huh? That's Line's notebook. Hey, wait a minute. I thought she was practicing a dance move when I came in. Nope. That's definitely suspicious, no question. I better report this. Wonder if I can make the call without no her noticing. So I did miss the timing, okay. What's up? I've been watching the line just like you told me to, and I noticed something suspicious. You did? So Inspector Cabanella was right. She was hiding her notebook when I came in. Her notebook, eh? Yes, sir. In a very suspicious manner, and in a very suspicious place. Anything else? Um, let's see. It's pink, and it's a notebook. Anything else? Um, let's see. I kind of think of it, she was using the phone when I came in too, and referring to our notebook. Okay, someone will be over later. Uh... Don't let on you notice anything. Hey, look at that! The phone line is glowing red. I bet it would work if we tried it now. I bet you're right. The detective... He's... Uh, he's... The detective he's talking to is in the... The detective he's talking to is in the junkyard. Oh. And that's where the horrible hitman who's after me is too. Go there. I've been waiting for you. Eek, what are you? A desk lamp? That sounds like an old grandpa. Just call me Ray. Grandpa Ray. You just have to get the grandpa part in there, don't... In there somewhere, don't you? We're souls. We can choose any appearance we like. Which means you have no intention of showing us what you really look like, right? Now then. About that gunshot that took your life. I heard it from the upper levels. I heard it up on the upper levels. A scant few minutes from now. Hitman is probably getting his rifle ready right now. Alright, I'm going in. I'll get him with those ghost trick thingies. I'm very sorry, young lady. But you don't have those powers. What? Why not? I'm afraid I don't know the reason. But only a special few have the powers of the dead. What? Are you saying I'm not special? That's not fair. Anyway, we don't have much time. Come on and hop in. Love that guy. Carry on, boys! Fate changed. A horrible hitman. It's after me is upstairs, isn't he? Yes, apparently. In other words, we can't stop him if we stay down here. Let's go then. I'm not really big on the idea of getting shot again. Right, I remember this. Like this, yes. Well, we made it. Now, it's time to hunt down that horrible hitman. 
He must be around here somewhere, preparing to take a shot. There isn't a lot of time. Let's try to find him fast. I'm going to make good and sure... I'm going to make good and sure he understands what happens to people who point, gun at, point guns at others. There's a gleam in her eye. That's absolutely blinding. I can't... Oh. Um... I can't... Time is passing. Yeah, no shit, Sherlock. I need to... There he is, that fucker. Oh, there he is. I see my target. Time to go to work. I'll be head of the Hitman division by next month now for sure. There he is, the horrible Hitman. I think his name is actually Tango, but that doesn't matter now. I have to stop him from shooting fast. It's been 10 hours, I need to... Um, oh, rear door, open. There's light. There, we put a stop to that shot at least. We did it, so I'm safe now, right? Well, that changed your fate a little, but it didn't avert it completely. We're not done yet. The Hitman is a professional. And he really, really wants to be head of the vision, apparently. I doubt blocking a shot here and there is gonna stop him. If you want to rough him up a little bit, I promise I won't put... I promise... If you want to rough him up a little bit, I promise I won't put him in... I won't put it in my report. Let's think of something else before he gets a shot in. Maybe this? No. No. Can't use this for anything. So, wait, how am I gonna... It doesn't do anything. Oh, wait! I'm stupid, just close this. I'm retarded. Oh, wait! There we go. Oh! Wait. Ah, I see. I should not have done that. Or maybe... Lever. Huh? Nothing happens. That's funny. I thought this level was for swinging that crane... That crane arm around. I like to swing that horrible hitman around. Hmm, this crane. I wonder if there's some other way we can use it. Blind ass police officer. Oh, look at that. One of the lights went out. There are three lights here all together. Apparently, we can't have all three of them on at once. Our station is crazy cheap when it comes to, uh, to electricity. Just so another detective could see what he was doing the other day, I had to pedal my bicycle in place to uh, work in the headlamp. A very sad tale indeed. Sounds like they're taking things way too far. Fuck. Guess I need to use this guy. 
There he is. I see him. I want that position. I have to be careful uh, of even the least bit of light. The vision head is my ambition for this year. Next year, my motto will be I want to be director. I have to be careful of even the least bit of scandal. So it sounds like he won't show up in spots where a light is on. And next year, I'm going to spread some nasty scandalous rumors about him. If... No, wait, I want to... Wait, no, go back! You fucking... This moron. You. Go that way. There you go. See? Fucking finally. Stupid ass motherfucker. This blind ass cunt! Wait, flashing light. Hey, did you turn that flashing light on? Was it me? Well, I fought by it itself. It scared the heck out of me. Well, uh, just make sure you lay off it. Don't want to waste any electricity. Have things gotten that tight? That's pretty sad. They're really putting the squeeze on us lately about using too much power at sites. It won't even let us use all of our searchlights at once. Oh boy. You gotta be free to do at least that much. Especially on a dark night like tonight. Look, one of the lights went out. There are three lights here all together. Apparently we can't have all three of them at once. Um, maybe you have to alert the guards. Yeah, 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 that's what I was thinking. Alert the guards right here. Uh, well, alert the- like, make the other guy go to the other spot, and then... Yeah. My question is, how the hell he is... There we go. Yo. Uh, oh wait, there was supposed to be a... Hey, I told you to lay off that thing. And I told you it wasn't me. Uh oh. I think I might know what's going on here. This is the work of, you know... But, hey, shut up. You're creeping me out. But, you know as well as I do, the only explanation for mischief like this is... Inspector Cabanella. So they tell tales about him as though he's a ghost, eh? But Inspector Cabanella is a really is really a very nice person. So wait, where is she gone now? I can, I, can I please thank you. Let me see. Where's he gone? Where'd he go? There he is. Are you fucking kidding me? Why does it start a cutscene? <sighs> FN3. Oh shit. Wait. Get over here, you cunt. Get over here. I can't get there in time. I see what I have to do, but it, like I don't have time for it anymore. Ah, fuck it! I'll just restart after the fate change. Okay. Um. Okay. Get over here. Let 
No. Wait. Maybe I need to turn this off. Hold on, let me see. Okay, no. I'm just passing. I'm aware. I'm aware. No offense will do much for me. Nope. That was not right. Wait, no. I'm stuck. I'm stuck. I, I can't, I can't, why did I do that? The dialogue was different the second time if you hit the alarm. Wait, was it? Oh, the umbrella got knocked way over here. Now I can't go anywhere. Guess that's what you get for touching a spider coming button's umbrella. He's always setting up traps for people. Damn, now what? It's like three times. Hmm, yeah, yeah, actually, yeah, I, that could be true, actually. Oh, let me try that. I mean, I need to reset anyway, so... Or you should have saved this umbrella for when we really needed it. Now, we should start over. Yeah. Can't think of much else. Yeah, I think you're right, actually. That overheat, fucker. There he is. Anya, wait for him to reappear. There we go. Wait for him to reappear. These blind ass motherfuckers. Oh, wait. Nope. Nope. It's the same. Alright. Okay, I think it might be like this. So. Okay, so, he make him appear, and now, the, these fucking, these blind ass cunts, are they, I, this is, this is quite literally, like, this is literally tell, telling them, like, hey, there's a fucking criminal here, look, like, how did they not notice a light turning on? They were literally looking at it. I mean, at least this is a good way to get them back over here. But I can't do the same for that alarm up on that truck for some reason. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. I gotta. I gotta. I know exactly what it is. No, 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 not that, not that. Wait, no. Come on, move!
Now wait a minute. Ah, shit. Oh, no. I, I can't go back. I mean, I can, but... Uh, and now, wait, no, 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 wait, turn this on, and then, I don't have time, I don't think, can I, please, yep, yep, oh, I was so right, too, I was so right, sorry if I've asked you, I just want to help, no, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine, it's not a problem for me, um, the block is shot, All right, I, I, I've, I've got it, I've got it. I know exactly what it is. One. this guy come on move 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 you fuckers wait there he is I found him still on okay I see I see there you go hmm this is quite a distance from the target but I can't work under a spotlight after all never mind a shot like this is nothing for a man of my skill mr. division head seems to like dark gloomy places I'd be happy to throw him in the dark gloomy cell come on Cecil get him Hold up, when did I become her assistant? Alright, move. There we go. And now we go like... This. Uh -huh. There we go. Did you hear a scream just now? I'm telling you, it wasn't me. Nobody said it was. There. We found a nice dark spot for our gloom-loving hitman. Murder, yes. I think your death's that I think your death has just been erased again. 
No, I'm hungry. Why not, I wonder? Huh? Why don't I have powers like yours? If I could do things like you do, it could really help me pursue my case. Why only the special few, huh? It's not fair. That's the same thing as the li- That's the same thing the little doggy said, too. Well, I'm jealous of you, actually. You are? Why? Because your life can be saved, even if you die again tonight. I can save you my ghost tricks. Nobody can save my life, though. Oh. These powers of the dead. Why have they chosen me? Will I find the answer to that question tonight? Sissel, I'm so sorry. Well, if you do as you please now. This is the... I guess this is goodbye, detective. Will we ever see each other again? If you ever want to see me again, all you have to do is die. Okay, got it. I was kidding! Well, I guess we better be getting back to the present. <sighs> Lion has escaped death. For a second time. That doesn't mean she's out of the water yet. Better go see how she's doing. Um. Um. I can't. Uh. Maybe I need to open the umbrella. There we go. Um. Oh, so have you played my friend Pedro? I don't know if you can run it with the CNS state. Um, I don't think I've ever played it. Might not even be a game I have. Um... I don't know. I can look it up. Wait, no, I can't... Wait, I can't do anything. Never mind. Do anything. Ah. Wait, how am I supposed to get back? Ah. There we go. Well, it looks like congratulations are in order. You raised yet another death. But I haven't gotten any further in solving my own mystery though. But that woman holds the key, don't forget that. Line, huh? Now that she's alive again, she's probably still being detained in the super's office. She won't be able to pursue her case without the freedom to move around. I'd better go back to the super's office to the super's office and see her. That sounds like a good idea. I said to go back to the office where Lion was being detained. With her changed fate, her story was sure to change too. And maybe that would lead us to, in some new direction. Now that Lion's alive again, I wonder what she's doing. Said she was investigating an important case tonight. Could that case be connected to me in any way? Illustration. Alright, I'm actually going to... Uh, stop 
here for a little bit. Uh, I will. I, I need to end the stream because uh, we're reaching 11 hours. So, um, yeah. Building the page. Fine. Um, okay. Why? Okay, there we go. Uh, and the game cap. Oh, there we go. All oh, right, the um, borders. When Lynn lost her life for a second time, she was being detained on suspicions of on suspicion of mur of my murder. But I saved her, hoping to solve my own mystery. Living tree, uh, living creatures can choose to live their lives in one of two ways. They can either submit to their fate. Or they can try to change it. Line is definitely in the second camp. As soon as I got back to my to the junkyard, um, as soon as I got back to the junkyard superintendent's office, this fact was really brought home to me. Cool. You told you not to let the suspect out of your sight. My apologies, sir. But I never thought she would run away. Line is our angel. I mean, friend. I mean, she's like family to us. Angel, friend, or family, they all run when they have the chance. Do you have any idea how many years it has been since my wife ran away? <laughs> I'm very sorry. I have no idea, sir. Hm. You'll never make detective at that rate. Now find line. Yes, sir. If Inspector Cabanella gets word of this, it's all over. So a red-headed detective escaped, did she? But I just barely saved her a few minutes ago. Phew, she's fast. No? Well, guess I'll look around for leads. Check time. Mine's notebook, sad and forgotten, sits behind the bookshelf. Who could she have been calling on the phone before she hid there? I wish I could find out. I didn't think I know who it is. Wait. That wasn't there before. Oh, wait. Can't hear from here. Better get closer. Okay, not a problem. That old pigeon man. Do you suppose he's carrying out some sort of research here? Look at all these uh, precision instruments and complicated devices. What are you doing? Sir, I think maybe this is how line... This is how line escaped through here. She couldn't possibly fit in that tiny little elevator. Oh, I don't know, sir. Mine's pretty slim. Cool. Don't you know that women can make themselves appear slim through fashion? To this day, I still don't know how much my wife really weighs. I'm very sorry. I had no idea, sir. Hm. You'll never make... You'll never make detective at that rate. Anyway, where is that old pigeon man? Oh, him, sir? He went through the door behind me, sir. It won't open. Apparently that door leads to the basement, but it's currently locked, sir. These instruments, they're all very suspicious. You'd better keep that eye on that old man too. Yes, sir. Trick time. I 
I think I know what I'm supposed to do. I go... Wait. Oh. I could swear I just saw this thing move. Don't tell me. Could it be? It sensed the tension between me and the detective and moved to get away from it? That was an unexpected tangent. I'll never make detective at this rate. What I need is some sort of achievement. It's some sort of achievement. A feather in my cap. If only I could find a helpful lead that might do that might do the trick. A helpful and blindingly obvious lead is staring at you in the face right now. Oh, I can't. Okay, never mind. Huh? This is Line's notebook. If I give this back to her, it might spark something between us. Hmm, what to do, what to do. This is a very complicated matter. What have you got there? What, this? Oh, uh, this is, um... Wait a minute, is that... Yes, sir, it's Lion's notebook. Notebook, hey? Come to think of it, there was something about that in the report. Something about her looking at her notebook and making a phone call. This must be it. This telephone number with the big circle around it. That's convenient. Aren't you curious to know who she was calling? I am. I really am, sir. I'd like to know. Oh. But I don't have any ulterior motive for wanting to know, though. No, sir. No, sir. This number might be an important lead. i better check it out. Check time. Alright. Hello? To whom am I speaking, please? Yes? Hello? This is a criminal investigation. We need your cooperation. Hey, I know that voice. Is that you, Detective McCall? Oh, is that Officer Bailey? What's up, sir? You don't usually call this late. Oh, uh... Did you get a call from one of our detectives, Line, earlier? From line? Yes, I did. She calls every night. Is she sensed uh, it's about to happen? Did she say anything special? No, not really. Is something wrong? Yes, well, <clears throat> I might be contacting you again if I have any other questions. I'm going to follow a report down at the station. I need you to be vigilant here. Excuse me, detective, but... What is it? That notebook. Do you mind if I gave... Uh, never mind, sir. Hm. Just down your toes. Okay. Might as well. What was that call all about? I heard you say line. I don't really know. If I had to take a guess though, I would probably say something's going on with her. <laughs> the only place in the world where nothing is going on is inside your brain, Bailey. Ah. What is that supposed to mean? I mean, I know what the words mean, that's not what I'm asking. 
That was my way of expressing in graduation. It no. That was my way of expressing indignation. Putting it in the form of a question. No shit, Sherlock. I just hope Line's not doing anything crazy. I'm a pilot of hers, you know? According to my log, Line has been calling from nearly every night as of late. So let's see. This is the place Line took all that race to call, eh? But what is exact but what exactly is this place? It's a police station. Ah! Just barely. <laughs> Wait. Oh. There you go. Hey, what's this? Oh, that? I wrote down my duties for the night, so I wouldn't forget any of them. Can't keep them in your head? It's not like you have a ton of duties after all. Use a little brain power. Ah! What are you talking about? Were you the one who just said nothing was going on inside my brain? Hmm. I don't think you take it quite in that direction. So, let's see, this important to-do list of yours, uh, nine, take prisoners to, take prisoners C-38 to the telephone room. Yes, you just made a request to, uh, to use the phone a little while ago. Nine, eh? Then, that's when Line usually calls. Well, we can't let her talk to him tonight. Rules are rules. Ah, poor line. Sure wish I could comfort her. Ah! What do you think you're doing? That's my important duties memo. That's okay. I've got it all memorized for you. Well, it's your duty to guard the telephone room, you know. Just make sure you do your job when the time comes. Hello? L line I'm sorry, I don't have much time. Please let me talk to him. I'm sorry, Detective, I can't do that tonight. You can't? But you always let me talk to him before. Well, uh, the telephone room is already reserved, that's why. Oh. By the way, is something going on with you tonight? What? Why do you ask? I got a call from one of the other detectives a minute ago asking about you. Oh, really? Well, I don't think it's anything important. Officer Bailey? Do you think we could keep this call just between us? Even if only for tonight? Well, I, uh... Oh. Well, I gotta go. I'll call, I'll call again tomorrow. Oh boy, well, I guess I'd better call the detective division. Hold on there, Bailey. What? Don't tell me you're gonna report that call from line. What else can I do? It's my duty. Just write it down on one of your important to-do lists. And then I can wet it up for you and throw it away. You mean, you want me to keep quiet about it? Well, isn't that what she asked you to do? Well, yes, but... Tonight is kind of a special case for us. Can't you make a special except exception for my line, too? <sighs> special case, huh? Alright, you win. I forgot to check the phone, but let me do that real quick. Okay, I lost my lap at a lonely spot. 
on the outskirts of town. My name is Cecil. I apparently asked Line to meet me at the junkyard tonight. And I was trying to make a deal with him, a serious old man. A woman who's at the scene of my death, her name is Line. She's a detective who was looking into a case tonight. She was arrested on suspicion of my murder. She says she doesn't know me. He's a hitman who, on the old man's orders, is targeting Line. His name is One Step Ahead Tango. He's nearsighted Jigo's rival. He followed Line to the junkyard, but met with an unfortunate accident. Line's neighbor. She lives in an apartment decorated in red with her daughter. Apparently, she's a novelist who moved here due to a disagreement with her husband. She refuses to answer the phone anymore tonight. The daughter of the woman in purple. Her name is Emily. Because of her fever of 102, she isn't going out for her lesson tonight. Apparently, she and Camilla are friends. She's worried about her father's birthday. He sits alone in his... Wait. A uh, careworn gentleman. He sits alone in his stately office, tearing out his hair. He is frantic about his wife, the woman in purple who has left him. Green detective. A member of the police who who's investigating my murder. His partner is the blue detective. He works under Inspector Cabanella. Apparently his name is Detective McCaw. The blue detective. A member of the investigation, uh, a member of the police who's investigating my, my murder. His partner is the green detective. He works under Inspector Cabanella and he doesn't have a name. Odd blue doctor. Why? What is up with these blue characters? He's apparently a colleague of the detectives. He's examining my corpse. There's something off about him. Lanky and Loose Lawman, the head of the Special Investigation Unit. His name is Cabanella. Apparently, he's uh, ground. He's the ground. He's the group's top investigator, looked up to by his men. He seems to dance through life. He has some kind of special tie to Line. Detective with the cap. He works under Inspector Cabanella. He's performing a stakeout from the park. An odd man seems to be bothering him. Guardian of the park. There's no other way to describe him except the man who is bothering the detective with the cap. His mission is apparently to protect the park. The Pigeon Man. The superintendent of the junkyard. He, he apparently also lives in the maintenance building. A man who loves and is loved by his pet pigeon. Or at least that's how it appears to be. Jovial Tanner, most likely the chef of the restaurant, the chicken kitchen. Typical cop. I guess he's one of the policemen investigating my murder. There are so many of them, I can't tell them apart. Navy Blue Square. He sits at his desk in some office and appears to be working. These guys all wear the same uniform, I can't tell them apart. I don't know what they think is the special is special about tonight, but for me, it's my only night. Lion is on the other end of that telephone line. I'd better hurry. Did she fucking die again. Oh. Line. Line. Oh, why couldn't why couldn't it have been me? Why couldn't it have been me instead? I'm no use as a police officer. It should have been me. It looks like she's dead. We better not touch her. Again? Who did this? Who shot Line? Hey. Excuse me, mister. Talking to me? 
this room, there aren't any other exits besides this one. Besides this one, are there? Do you see one? Huh. Then how did... We must have one of those mysterious locked rooms. We must have one of those mysterious locked room murder cases in our, on our hands. One of those cases where the murderer vanishes into a thin air in a vacuum. Just go find a real detective. I'll keep watch here. Yes, sir. <sighs> what a terrible turn of events. So now a locked room murder, huh? Things never get dull for for our head for our redhead. I know of a certain inspector who might dance around at the thought of a mystery. But no mysteries for me. Now when I can rewind time and talk to the victim itself talk to the victim herself. Guess it's time to go back and see the truth behind this murder with my own eyes. Um. <laughs> I died again. I thought you'd be a little more grave under the circumstances. Yeah, well, this is the third time after all. It's scary, but it's scary what a girl can get used to, don't you think? Frankly, the way her mind works is a whole hell of a lot scarier to me. So, what happened this time? Who shot you? I don't know. What? I'd like to know myself who could have done it. Who shot me? What are you asking me for? Oh boy. I guess I have to go find out for myself. Okay. You just go and do that. Hurry along now. I get the distinct impression I'm being used here. Okay. Looks like it's time to go back. Back to four minutes before your death. How long has it been since I locked this room up in darkness? I once thought the truth could be discovered in darkness. Maybe it was just that time wasn't ripe. He hung up. It was that guy. The pigeon guy. I think he did it. Or not. Or yes, I think that might be exactly it. Oh, yep. That's the truth behind our locked room murder. So the murderer was a mechanical murder machine. Murder machine? When I came into the room, it was pitch dark so I turned on the light that must have been what set it off the murder machine I mean Can you please stop repeating the words murder machine that old pigeon guy must have made it but why what could be the meaning behind this weird room anyway you'll have to find some way to stop that creepy machine 
Once Cupid fires Harrow, it's all over. Quick time. Ah. You know what, Sissel? I think this death might be easier to prevent than the others. Why is that? You know, because the murder is... The murderer is mechanical. That's a point. I can't manipulate living creatures. But I can manipulate this machine. Now I just gotta figure out how to stop it. When the four minutes ago me turns on the light, that's when the murder machine is set in motion apparently. It looks like the key to solving this one is understanding this device. Um, okay, please. How long has it been since I locked this room up in darkness? I once thought the truth could be discovered in darkness. Maybe it was just that the time wasn't ripe. Actually, let me go on the phone. How did you manage to cram yourself in that tiny elevator? I've always liked small cramped space, uh, small cramped places. Whenever I see a little hole or device, I always feel like crawling in it. The place I feel most at home is that space between my bed and the wall. Yeah. I guess I can understand that. Ah, uh, we're birds of a feather. We should get together and talk about it sometime. I miss passing. Okay, let's see this. Oh, um, is this the superintendent? I'm so glad I thought I'm so glad I thought I was alone. Uh stay here. There's no reason to go there. Trick time. So, about telephones, in the four minutes before world, you can't just use them at any old time, right? That's right, only when it's being used to make a call. So maybe that call just now was a good opportunity. Hmm, it seems to be. There's a fine line between good opportunity and our only hope. So, which one was that phone call? Hmm, it seems to me... I have no idea. I don't think that was good. I don't think that was really neat. Oh wait, it might have been. There it goes. The murder machine has started. I, I can see that. I have to do something. But what can you do? There's nowhere to move from here. You might as well just throw up your hands. And don't give me that a ghost doesn't have hands bit. Just the figure of speech. Hmm. Looks like I messed up somewhere. Ah. No, not that. Um, I guess I might as well restart. I didn't, I didn't mean to. Well, 
Ah. I guess, um... I guess it has to be... Yeah, the phone call. Go there. It's all over. It's all over for me. Line. Sweet, cute line. Who shines as bright as the sun. Ran away on me. And then there's detective. Matching bookends, blue and green, yelled at me. And then the old man with the d with dirty blue dove in his head completely ignored me. Only somebody would give me a kind word right now. Can I give him a kind word, Miss Bright as the Sun? Mm, let me let's see. Hang in there. So you got it. I'd see you do better. Uh wait. Is there a is that a book up there? Line ran away. The detectives yelled at me. The old pigeon man ignored me. And then the kettle nearly scared me to death. My life is in complete shambles. That's gratitude for you. We're just trying to warn him with the kettle whistle. Would he have preferred getting scalded by the steam? Well. At least his fate was changed a bit. That's good anyway. Fate changed. Uh, not for, not for lime. Oh, there we, there, there we not go. That's shit. There it goes. The murder machine has started. If the whole thing plays out, that gun of. That one, that gun on the wall will go off. But before that happens, it's up, it's up to me to make use. It's up to me to use my ghost tricks. There must be some way to disrupt the, this domino effect. You have to find it. Here it goes. Toolbox. Voice. That didn't do anything. Um... Can't say that was helpful. Okay. Oh, wait, it was supposed to... Oh... I, I see, I see. No. Um, I think I have to restart. I, I see how it is.
that. Oh, it did. Hey, that was pretty good just now. Hey, side two. Nice. How you doing? Um, why is the chat not appearing on my phone? Why is the chat not appearing on my phone? Uh, got any name ideas for my channel? Uh, I don't know. It's up to you. Maybe if I were... Maybe if we were on a pudding green. Well, with a swing like that, maybe you could put it to some use here. Good thinking. I just might be able to use this trick somehow. If I could change the path the ball takes. That's great and all, but it looks like we're all out of time this round. Well, that happened. The key to this murder machine. Is that cheeky little Cupid who fires... Is that cheeky little Cupid, Cupid who fires the arrow? If we could get that ball to fly over and hit him... Yes. Maybe that Cupid... Uh, maybe that would stop our little Mr. Cupid. Okay. So... I think I have... I think I have the right idea, but it's, um... Yeah, I think I, w I was right, but the timing needs to be different. Uh... No! Okay. That sucks. It's not like that, hold on. I don't know, what's this used for? Are you fucking kidding me right now? Wasn't helpful. Um... 
I do not get this puzzle at all. Um, uh, maybe, maybe I need to possess the ball and be hit by the shovel to possess something else. Maybe. Uh, hey, Ever, how you doing? Everybody, good morning. Good morning to you. Um, No, but that doesn't do anything then. Uh, did you get a one-way ticket or no? A uh, one-way ticket? For what? Oh! The game! Right! Um, I haven't gotten, uh, I didn't buy it yet, but I will, I will. Don't worry about it. In fact, you know what? Buy it right now. Won't be so uh, uh, oh no. Um, how's the stream? How's the stream? Oi. Oi. Um, is this, is the stream okay? Um, it's a, it's a fast game. Alright, um, is the stream okay? Uh... All right, one way ticket, right? It's four pounds, might as well. Yeah, it's okay. All right. been bought and you know what i'll download it too uh wherever it is i'll install it right now there you go install cool 
There you go. Uh, cool. Um, now here's my dilemma. How do I? Let's see. There goes the murder machine has started. Again, the wall will go off. What will this do? Is that just completely useless? I can't stop time when... Nothing I can do here, alright. God damn it. I could change the path the ball takes. I could change the path the ball takes. How does that work? That didn't do anything. Wait a minute. I'm an idiot. I'm completely retarded. Oh, I know this toy. The wheel spins uh, and moves down the pole. Hey, look, there's a thread attached to it. It loops around the clock and is tied to the frame the gun is in. And it seems to be connected to our fiery Mr. Cupid as well. This toy seems to be the heart of the entire mechanism. But uh, inertia is in, in inertia and in, in, in that. Uh, it's surprisingly powerful. I can't stop it once it's set into motion. What is this? Ah! You could have told me. You've got to be fucking kidding me. Um. What show is called when they say Me uh Meg Oh uh Meg Chan uh that's uh that's a Yu-Gi-Oh show. That's Yu-Gi-Oh Go Rush. <laughs> the the no context clip. Oh my god, I love that. I love that part.
Okay. Oh. Happy birthday. What just happened? It looks like your future just got a whole lot rosier. Your death has been erased. Again. I, uh, thank you. You kept your promise, didn't you, Sissel? My promise? You said I'd see you again if I died. I don't remember making any promises. It's all for my own benefit, anyway. <laughs> what? This music is so good. What could this room be all about? Uh, check if the game is downloaded. Yes, it is. It has it has finished downloading. Hmm, I can't imagine. Those things that went off at the end... Those were party poppers, weren't they? Party poppers? I have no recollection of what they are. But that's no surprise. The party poppers, the gun going off. It seems familiar somehow. I'll leave that part of the puzzle to you. I have my own puzzle to figure out. Well, shall we go back now? Back to your new present? Cecil, are you there? Line is talking to me? If you're there, could you say something? If you're not there, I guess I'm just a weird girl talking... Uh, I'm just a weird girl who talks to herself. Well, you are kind of a weird girl, whether you talk to yourself or not. Check time. Okay. You are here. I knew it. I just had the feeling. Shame on you for stepping foot into a girl's head uninvited. Wait a minute. Don't give me that a ghost doesn't have beat bit. It's just a figure of speech. Hey, did I say anything? There, that tone. It's that tone of yours that makes me mad. So, do you have something particular you wanted to say to me? I just thought I'd share some information with you. I'm investigating a case right now. A murder case. And I'm, and I'm doing it alone. A murder case all by yourself? Yes, well, that's because the case was closed a long time ago. The culprit is already behind bars, forgotten by the world. So, why are you looking into it then? Because I think the person is innocent, that's why. There's something strange behind the case, some big, some big mystery, I firmly believe that. So anyway, I finally have my memory back. I'm not at liberty to tell you about the case, but if there's anything you want to know, I'll try to answer what I can. Line is my only lead. I would like to ask her a few things. About the one who shot me. You have your life and your memory back now. So let me ask you again. Who shot me tonight? Yeah, I thought that might be your, the first thing on your mind. What else would it be? There's a good chance I was shot while I was with you after all. I'm afraid my memory just isn't clear on that part. Not clear? I met with you tonight and then you fell down right in front of me. I think I remember seeing that part. I'm pretty sure you were shot maybe from somewhere far away. So you didn't see the culprit. I'm sorry, I wish I could be of more help. But, I know I wasn't the one who shot you. Your colleagues seems... Uh, your colleagues seem to think you're a suspect, though. I wanted the information you had for me. So, why would I shoot you before I got it? Information? Huh? I wonder what info I had for her. Wait, wasn't I the one who called her? But the girl with the bow. By the way, I see you have a little roommate. Camilla? How would you know about her? There was a tiny incident at your apartment a little while ago. An incident? What kind of incident? 
What happened? Is Camilla alright? She's fine, thanks to her loyal little friend Missile. Although, I did have a little trouble bringing him back to life. Oh my. What in the world is going on? Why would anyone want... Why would anybody want to hurt Camilla and Missile? You're being targeted by a certain organization. What? I saw them. The people who were calling you their target. So I'm a suspect and a target? Could this night possibly get any worse? It does sound pretty rough. Are you sure you'll be okay on your own? Huh? You know what they say, when it rains it pours. Isn't it time you admitted you need me? Need my powers? I'm sorry. I can't cooperate with you. Yes, you saved my life tonight. I'm completely grateful for that. But as a detective, I still can't trust you. That's too bad. How about the information? So, I had some important information that you wanted, huh? That's right. You called the station yesterday. And you asked to talk to me. You told me you had an important lead on the case I was working on. Important lead, hey? You said you wanted to meet me, to talk to me directly. Tonight at the junkyard. And you fell for it? Even given how fishy that sounds? You're the last person I want to hear that from, you know? But I just couldn't let it go, no matter how shady it seemed. That's because I'm running out of time. Hey, that's right, you said something was going down tonight. Does that something have to do with the case you're working on? I'm sorry, but I can't talk about it. Oh boy, but I guess I understand. What are you gonna do now? Run, I guess. They'll catch me again if I don't get out of here. And I have to get to the restaurant. I'm worried about Camilla. Oh yeah. What was it? The chicken kitchen on Dead End Drive, right? What about you, Cecil? What are you, what are you going to do? I don't know to tell you the truth. You're my only lead if you leave. I just realized, you and I are in the same boat. We're both looking for answers tonight and neither of us has anybody to help us. That about sums it up. Hey, if you can't cooperate with me, how about we just agree to use each other? That's not a bad idea, Yoran. But can I ask you to do me a favor first? What's that? I need you to sneak into a certain place for me. A prison to be exact. A prison? That's the place I was calling from the upstairs from the office upstairs. I need to find out a certain prisoner's work schedule for tomorrow. Work schedule? For a prisoner? Yes, the prisoners are given different job details every day. Each prisoner's schedule for the next day is written on a small blackboard in his cell. So, just go check out a certain prisoner's blackboard, huh? Okay. His prison number is D99. If you do that for me, I'll cooperate with you. Okay, you're on. Okay, see you later. See you. But don't die again if you can't help it. Oh, it's the lamp. It looks like I hold the key to the case Line is investigating. And she holds the key to solving the mystery of me. So, we've started up a, a strange relationship of cooperation. Line gave me an assignment. My task is to go check out tomorrow's work schedule for prisoner D99. I better get to the prison. Nice. To complete... Uh, no. Alright, you know what? I'll play that, uh... 
that game I just downloaded just to get it out of the way. I don't know why the um, window size gets kind of messed up sometimes. Cool. Anyway. Oh my back. Oh. Okay, it, the stream is lagging. I just know it. Why is the stream lagging? Why is the stream lagging? <laughs> yeah, no, hold on. That... Do I just restart my computer? Is that what I do? Hmm. Anyway. Anyway, chapter 6. Lost Memories of Self. A forgotten murder case. A dead guy and detective joined forces to find out the truth behind them both. The detectives assigned the dead guy a task. Sneak into the prison and find a certain prisoner's schedule to for tomorrow. What should I care? I don't have a schedule for tomorrow. That's how I'm feeling about it at the moment. Okay. Wonder how that detective who keeps dying is. Uh, is. I wonder how that detective who keeps dying is doing. I hope she's still alive. I bet she's pretty pleased with herself. Keeping so much of the Reaper's attention focused on her. That little lady is waiting for her at the uh, chicken kitchen. After I take care of this assignment, I'd better head there too. So I gotta go here. It's all over. It's all over for me. Line, sweet, cute line who shines as bright as the sun ran away from me. And then those detectives, matching bookends, blue and green, yelled at me. Huh. Forget about all that. Now you listen to me, kid. Yes, sir? Your bright as the sun line probably doesn't even know you exist. God damn, but it's true. And those detectives will probably yell at you your whole life. Never mind fretting about every little setback. Enjoy your life. Get what you can out of it. Mister. Would you mind just leaving me alone? I think I gotta go here. So, how are the preparations coming along? I think they're taking care of them right now. Yeah? Man, I'm not looking forward to this. That kind of surprises me coming from you. I don't know how you thought about such things. By the way, that was me being sarcastic, just in case you didn't catch that. Two more hours, then it's time. Guess you should just get back to work. Yeah, I guess you're right. The atmosphere sure seems tense. I guess I'll just get back to my work as well. We need to go find out uh, a certain prisoner's work schedule for tomorrow. Yes, the prisoners are given different job details every day. Each prisoner's schedule for the next day is written on a small blackboard in his cell. His prisoner number is D99. Alrighty then. How do I get to these cells? I'd better try to get some information here first. Let's 
screen shows rows of tiny rooms. These rooms are really, really small and you can see right into them from the outside on my back. I suppose the open bars keep the rooms airy, but I wouldn't want to live in one myself. I don't know where these little rooms are. Uh, I can't get to that. Hey Bailey. Try pinning up your memos a little better ne next time. Let me see this thing. Inspection, Prisoner C74. Oh, it's almost time for the... I better prepare. Prisoner C74, hey? What did that big will do anyway? You don't know? About the Metro Police Department siege case? Metro who what? C-74 barricaded himself into the Metro Police Department and took siege of that of the place. He even pointed a huge flamethrower at the Chief Commissioner. How the heck did he do that? That's what the detectives who surrounded him asked too. What are your demands? They asked. And? The guy looked confused. So about it, uh, thought about it for a while and said, "Bring me five servings of curry and rice, on the double." Curry and rice? That's it? Unfortunately, no. After he was done eating, he torched the commissioner's office with the flamethrower. Tor torched it good. Important documents and the commissioner's mustache were destroyed by the flames. What the heck, dude? What the heck did he do all that for? Because the curry was too spicy, he said. Huh? It was too spicy and just lost it, he said. Seriously? The case sent shockwaves through the country. But it doesn't make any sense in the first place. How did a huge armed guy make it all the way into the commissioner's office alone? It's a complete mystery. What? Why don't they just ask... Ask C-74 himself. Maybe they did, but they haven't released anything about it. Apparently, it's all a matter of national secrecy. Hmm. Ah! Would you quit throwing my important duty memos away? Wait, there's a lever there. I didn't even notice. How the hell is he even- how the hell is he even notice? Hey Bailey. What's the matter? Can't even pin up a memo properly? Let me see this thing. Take prisoner C-38 to the telephone room. Yes, he just made a request to use the phone a little while ago. You already told me that earlier, C- you already told me that earlier. C-38, huh? What did that punk do anyway? <gasps> you never heard the story about the secret, uh... Rendezvous case? Secret who what? C-38 was a singer in a band. His group was playing a concert that was being broadcast all over the country live. And right in the middle of... The, of their encore, there was a huge incident. A huge incident? What was it? A murder or something? In a way, it was even worse than a murder because it had to do with a national with national secrets. Huh? National secrets? A rock band? I'm lost. The song they were doing was called "Secret Rendezvous," but the lyrics C38 was singing were completely different from usual. So how is that a huge incident? Because they were, because the new lyrics exposed all of the nation's dark, seamy secrets. Budget mis, okay, mud, budget misappropriations, foreign economic strategies, illicit dealings, everything. He was caught red-handed in the act of leaking national secrets. Seriously? The case sent shockwaves through the country. 
but it doesn't make any sense in the first place. How would how would a rock singer know any top secret information? It's a complete mystery. What? Why don't they just ask C-38 himself? Maybe they did, but they haven't re released anything about it. Apparently, it's all a matter of national secrecy. Hmm. Ah. Did you quit throwing my important duty memos away? Ah. There you go again, fooling around with that thing. Um, it wasn't me. Don't lie. You know you love to see me jump and prepare for emergency. Oh yeah, sure. Way back when I first got this job. But I've had enough of that now. Besides, you always react exactly the same way. Yarr. The emergency switch is probably just loose. Probably because I fooled around with it too much. Well, it's for emergencies. Don't play with it. Anyway, it wasn't me. Maybe you ought to get it repaired, huh? Or close it back up. It's making me feel on edge. Nah, too much of a pain. A pain? Proper emergency procedures are a pain to you? What a sad, sad state of affairs. Goblet. What is this? My vision goggles. Oh, shit. Bazooka. Shoot it. I want to shoot it. Oh, that's... Yeah. 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 I can't get to it. Come on. You're right there. You're right there. Come on. Um, how did they not know this? Come on. Just the kind of excitement I need to wake, I need to wake me up. Well, I told you it's only for emergencies. Don't play with it. Hello, Wampel. I can't read that. I'm sorry. And I told you it wasn't me. You know, I thought this work would be a lot more exciting. Sometimes I don't know which is my real job. Going on rounds or building houses out of cards. Well, you better know. And you ought to know that I'm just kidding. Ugh. I gotta get over here somehow. Uh, I know how to, I know, but, uh, so you know what that means? If you could translate, that'd be a big help. Can I skip? Yes, I can. Okay. Is there anything here? Oh. Ah, welcome back. How's it going? Have you solved all of your mysteries? Can you tell by my face? I did see your face, but I asked anyway. Smart alecky light fixture. The lady detective and I decided to join forces. Hmm. <sighs> she and I are connected somehow. I just know it. Oh, that's fine news. Look at him wriggle, wriggle happily. 
Tonight, you and she both uh, suffered misfortune. But if you combine her bad luck and yours, it makes great f good fortune. Remember that. I don't know. By my maps, bad luck plus bad luck equals a whole lot of bad luck. You should check your figures. Trick time. What do I do here? Is there anything? This doesn't seem to be working. I guess I can't go there right now. This sign doesn't seem to be working. I guess I can't, can't go there right now. Passionate typing continues on. She wears her fingers away as she spins her tale of love. Good luck, Mama. She's a sharp-tongued little girl. She still supports her mother's dream. And please get out of that business as quickly as possible. Hmm, I guess not. Even as I sit here, time is ticking away. I wonder what he's feeling right now. I bet he hates me. Ah! You no, know, if only I could blow up and scatter into a million pieces. Maybe he ought to think of more peaceful images. Can't do much here. Park. Let's see what's at, what's at the park. The entrance to a nearly deserted, dimly lit park. The sad voice of a young man drifts over to me on the breeze. Oh, there he is. I have to use the restroom. But if I leave my post, I just know I'll miss something. Come to think of it, that annoying leaflet guy disappeared when I used the restroom earlier. Darn it, it's almost time. Which will show up first? My mark or the end of my ability to hold out. Uh, not much I can do here. Um, um, please don't do that. Nope, I can't check this, so... Dial. Super's office. Which, actually, no, I don't think that there's anything here I can do. Because I've been here already. Or... Never mind. You know, sometimes I get the feeling. I just want to crawl into a hole. And just maybe... This is the entrance to my true destiny. Go ahead. Here, I'll even push the close button for you. It doesn't look like I need to come back here for a while. But what if... Wait, so if I go back to, like, one of the other places, let's... Can you stop? No, okay. No scenes. Alright. Chicken kitchen. I don't see any customers declaring their love for kitchen for chicken tonight. I hear singing coming from the kitchen. La la, I love you right down to the marrow of your bones. But your marrow is nothing compared to your glorious meat. La la la. 
He's not a bad singer. I guess Lion isn't here yet. I have a job to do. I'd better get to that first. Guard room and... I don't think there's anything in the basement, right? Just... Yeah, I don't hear anything. I guess nobody's here. Darkness and and quiet are relaxing, but there's no sense in staying here. Mechanical murder machine is in this room. It must have been set up by that old pigeon guy. What in the what in the world for? Let's go to red singing. Uh, sorry for your ears bleeding. I guess. How am I supposed to get there? Can't do anything with this. Ugh. Come on, man. It's right there. Just reach a little further, damn it. Nope, I can't. supposed to do just run attended lit rooms the rooms are really really small you can see right into them from the outside oh what's that supposed to open bars keep the rooms airy but I wouldn't want to live in one myself I wonder where these little rooms are uh know if you could reach a little further wait unless wait uh lift it up please please lift it up you fucker How do I get there?
can help in the slightest. How do I? Uh, how do I get there? Hmm. Anything new here? I lost my life at a lonely spot on the outskirts of town. My name is Sissel. I apparently asked Light to meet me at the junkyard tonight. And I told her uh, I had information about the case she was investigating. A detective who was at the scene of my death, her name is Line. She's looking into a certain murder case. She was arrested on suspicion of my murder, but then she escaped and sh she and I are now helping each other. Uh, this guy. Pigeon Man. Uh, the superintendent of the junkyard. He apparently also lives in a maintenance building. A mysterious murder machine in the building basement shot and killed a lion. A guard at a prison. He sits at his desk and appears to be working. He seems to be on edge and is carefully watching the clock. Carefully watching the clock. I don't see a clock. Let's do this. Um, where do I go? The goblet does nothing. The lever will just close. That, which will not be helpful in the slightest. There's a phone right there. to go reach further there's nothing I can interact with Except for the switch and the phone. This guy still hasn't completed his his house of cards. He's literally put look, look at that, he's literally putting cards on like he in the exact same spot. He's overriding a card with another card. Like he's not even... What the hell do you do here? They can't stop time while this is closing. 
And then I'm stuck here. Chapter is this chapter six, I think. <laughs> uh, you need to reach a phone, yeah, yeah. Bailey's just gonna remove the other memo. Oh! It's... Hey Bailey. I don't know why, this guy just kinda gives me like he has a, like, like a Joe voice. Let me see this thing. Bring member. Uh, bring dinner to prisoner D99. The chef is preparing it for him right now. Oh, how fancy. D99, hey? Even I know about this one. Yeah? Such a sad case. Hard for us, too. He shot his wife, didn't he? Right in front of a family member. Just awful. Why in the world did he do it? Why would he do something like that of all people? The motive. Everything. All the complete mystery. It's just ridiculous. It doesn't make sense. It doesn't make sense that he would do anything like that. I don't know the details, but apparently... This case of... <sighs> this case is a matter of national secrecy as well. I don't get it. None of it makes sense. You do know what kind of guy, uh, what kind of prison this is, don't you? It's a special prison built just for these kinds of special cases. That D99. Who knows what he's thinking or hiding behind that beard of his? I don't like any of it. I knew I couldn't take my job seriously without getting it, without it getting to me. So the prisoner I'm looking for, D99, was convicted of murder, hey? And he apparently has a beard. Ah! Would you quit throwing my important duty memos away? It's time. You know, I'm not an expert, but I don't think you're allowed to have a guitar in a prison. I, I'm pretty sure. There, it's done. Love that guy. Rock Jailbird, a rock and roller who sang National Secrets during a live nationwide broadcast. Uh, during a live nationwide broadcast, he's now creating a horrible cacophony in his prison cell. Oh, I. Oh. 
I let this loose just to see. Hey, Bailey. Did you quit saying these memos over here? No. Huh? Not until I figure out how you always know the exact instance a memo starts falling. Not until I solve that mystery. Ah. Next time I will find the answer. Next time. I guess it's time to try and, and find a new path. Alright. I'm guessing that's the kid they were talking about. The one who sang the National Secrets. If he's a prisoner, he must come from the cells. Ah, it was too late, I see. Thank you. Appreciate it. So this is the thing that was making that horrible noise a second ago. I guess it's a way for the spiky-haired youth to express himself. Sentiments like, I'm hungry or I'm thirsty maybe. Something primitive like that I bet. Peace out. I'm done. <laughs> Alright, C38, back to your cell. Hey, guard man. How about giving me a little space? That crazy walk of yours is dangerous, man. A proper walk for a properly led life. Now, let's go. Yo, no lectures, man. I walk my own path, my own way, to my own music. Oh, I think it's that guy. So, I finally made it to the cells. Now to find prisoner D99 and check out his work schedule for tomorrow. What could Lion possibly want with that information? <laughs> Damn! Don't think I can take another second in this stinking pit. Looks like Guardman is gone. And all this waiting is wiping me out. Hope this one will finally do it. Come on, sausage head. This prisoner obviously isn't the one I'm looking for. Prisoner D99 has a beard. There's one of those little blackbirds uh, Lion said would be in, his, in the cells. Maybe I should check out Spikey's schedule for tomorrow. Phone. This telephone looks like it's an internal line only. Doesn't call outside the prison. So the only places I can go with this telephone are other phones within the building that I've already pet that I've already possessed.
There's a pad of note wall, uh, there's a pad of note papers hanging on the wall. There's a red X drawn on each one. I think it's some kind of letter or symbol, but I don't recall what it means. There's a pad of note papers on the wall. There's a red O drawn on each one. I think it's some kind of letter or symbol, but I don't recall what that what it means. Are you playing tic tac toe? So, so this is one of those little blackboards line mentioned. Let me just give it a little read. Tonight. I lost a lot of things. My life, my memory. There's a certain skill I've apparently lost too. I can't read. I can't see that there's some kind of writing on the blackboard. But I have absolutely no idea what it means. I can read Prisoner 99's work schedule for tomorrow. What do I do now? Guard room. I need that. Hmm, an emergency button. An emergency in a prison. That's gotta be a pretty bad situation. I'll just give it a little try. Go, go, go. I caused quite an uproar, I guess. I bet each prisoner reacts differently to the alarm. It might be fun to watch. Let's see, if I want to change the view, I can use to move the screen. Maybe their behavior will give me a clue about my next step. Uh oh. Oh. So this guy is trying to escape. I see. And this guy's trying to paint. He's D99. Uh, well, I'm fucked here. Nothing I can do, really. All clear. Trick time. So, if I sound the alarm, it gets people moving, hey? Maybe I can use their movements to get around myself. That way, I can get an idea of what's going on in each cell. Hmm. Uh. Wait, I can't. I can't press the alarm anymore. Yeah, so they are trying to escape. What's up with you all of a sudden? What do you think... What do you think of my quirky behavior? Surprised? Ah. Huh? Seemed bored, so I thought I'd wake you up. You can call that my gotcha move. What do you think? If a normal person pulled a move like that, sure, I might be startled. 
But this is you we're talking about. Oh, okay. Ah. How can you be so insensitive? I was only trying to open up communication between us. Your work, Bailey. What a team. Let's go to an external line. I want to see real quick. If there's anything new. Nope. Not here. Something here. I don't see any customers who uh, dream of chicken tonight. It's thing coming from the kitchen. Is it the same? God damn it. Lola, if I, if I were a plump, juicy chicken, I'd hop into a, the pan myself and lean onto a, the customer's plate. La la la. He's not a bad singer. I guess the line isn't here yet. I have a job to do. I'd better get to that first. to the park. No one says anything new. Let me just go to junkyard because I'm guessing it's the last place that will that might have dialogue. No, nope. all right. Never mind. Go back to the guard room. Cells. <laughs> there we go, there it is. Okay, actually, what if I go to the guard room? Just curious. Nope. They don't hear it. Upper room cells. Can you stop? Oh. Oh, that just stops the thing entirely. Amazing. Oh no. Wait. Wait. Come on. Come on. Come on, call. Call someone. Pick up the damn phone. All clear. Are you fucking kidding me? I used the phone below. You're fucking with me right now.
Um, There's nothing here I can do. Okay, let me press this. Wait. There we go. Go, go, go. Updated the film book. God, this is slow. An odd fellow. Oh, wait. Uh, Curry loving Jobbird. Oh, this is the guy. An odd fellow who laid siege to the Metro Police Department and demanded curry and rice. He now appears to be digging a tunnel out of his prison cell. By the looks of him, this must be the curry lover from the police department siege case. But never mind that, where did he just come from? What's going on in his uh, in this cell? Anyway, there's a little blackboard here too, just to be safe. Maybe I'd better check the curry lover schedule for tomorrow too. Still can't read, but I'd better check out prisoner D99 cell as well. Anyway, maybe I can find some kind of information that might help line out. Besides, I want to see what this prisoner uh, line is investigating looks like. Ah. Oh, thank you. Same thing here. Looks like this is just an internal uh, phone too. It doesn't call outside. The only place I can go with this telephone are other phones within the building that I've already possessed. Uh -huh. What if I... Upper of the cells. Wait. Wait, go to the guard room. And then internal extension. Upper row of the cells. And then come on. Can't. Oh, there we go. Lower row of the cells. But. Right.
All clear. Oh, wait, we can't. Well, that was disappointing. Hmm. What a strange cell. And the prisoner inside it. He seems to be enjoying himself. Yeah, by the way, yeah, I know for a fact, uh, prisons don't usually look like this. Like, they're not... <laughs> like, this is basically just, like, a home. <laughs> just, like, your own, you get your own room in an apartment. Like, <laughs> like, I want to go to this prison. <laughs> this is the last cell in this area. That means that this man humming to himself must be prisoner D-99. According to what the Guardian said... D-99, eh? Even I, about the, even I know about this one. Yeah? He shot his wife, didn't he? Right in front of a family member. What in the world really happened? And why is Lion so concerned about this prisoner? I don't know the answers, and I guess there's no need for me to know. I have only one objective. And that's to find out what this painter's work schedule is for tomorrow. Prisoner, uh, wait, faded jailbird. Prisoner D99. Also, spoiler for his, for what he looks like. Tim with this guy. Prisoner D99. Line asked me to check out his work schedule for tomorrow. He apparently shot and killed his wife. He now appears to be enjoying himself as he paints a picture in his prison cell. Wait, actually. Oh, there's the phone book. Okay, junkyard. The place where I lost my life. It appears to be a junkyard on the outskirts of town. The detectives who are investigating my case are gone, leaving behind only a quiet, a quietly ringling desk lamp. Pigeon man's office. The office of the junkyard's maintenance building. It's filled with equipment I've never seen before. The junkyard, the junkyard super lives here too. Line apparently escaped to the basement through a small cargo elevator. Pigeon Man's basement. The basement of the junkyard's maintenance building. A mysterious mechanical murder machine. Shot and killed Line here. Did the junkyard super build? Did the junkyard super build that device? Uniform Men's office. The place where the uniform men work. It's called a prison. Uh, I promised Line I would check out tomorrow's work schedule for Prisoner D99. The Chicken Kitchen. A restaurant that specializes in chicken. It's called Chicken Kitchen. Lion and the little lady are supposed to meet each other here. Ladies Red Apartment. An apartment with a strangely thick atmosphere. The woman in purple lives here. It's a world apart from uh it's a world apart from Lion's apartment next door. Lion's apartment. Lion's home. A little girl and a small dog apparently live with her as well. Because the little girl dropped the receiver in the fish tank, the phone line doesn't work. The music box was hidden from the ceiling. Office of the Troubled Man. A strange, a strange, a stately office that gives off a cold, heavy air. A man sits alone, tearing out his hair in anguish. Park stakeout point. The part where the detective with the cap is performing a stakeout. An odd fellow who claims to be the guardian of the park is here too. Luxurious parlor. A mysterious room. The mysterious old man who stole my life and his equally mysterious underling are hanging out here. Uh, the room appears to be equipped with many mysterious devices. Picture frame open. 
photos, eh? I wonder if these are of his family. This one looks like a young woman holding a baby. Their faces have been blotted out with black paint. Did he do it out of hatred or, or some other emotion? Thankfully, that's not something I need to know right now. Oh. So the work schedule for tomorrow tomorrow for for tomorrow, prisoner D99. The information lines looking for should be written on this blackboard. Unfortunately I lost my the ability to read. But here I am anyway. The least I can do is take a look. Huh? What could this mean? There's nothing written on the board at all. I think something was written on the blackboards of the other prisoners. But this board is as clean and blank as the day it was hung there. So, I have the answer Lime was looking for. Tomorrow's work schedule for Prisoner D99 is nothing. Would this information mean anything to her? It's not up to me to know or care. That's how I feel at the moment anyway. Ooh. Newspaper article. Let's see. A newspaper article has been cut out and framed. Unfortunately, I can't read it. It's probably about D99's case. Man murders wife or something like that. There's a picture of the alleged culprit in the article. Yep. It's this prisoner, alright? Not being able to read. I was wondering how this was going to turn out. Some, some things in this world can be read, even if it can't, even if one can't read. Prisoner D99's work schedule for tomorrow is blank. Better get this important information to line as fast as I can. Yeah. Yeah. I can't. Oh, I can. I can close this. D99 dinner. Okay, that is not prison dinner. That that is a five. Th that is better than a restaurant. Like fucking, I want to go to this prison. So someone bring me to. So, I I'm. I want to commit a crime right now. I want to commit a crime. I want to go to this prison specifically. Like, is this a prison or is this a five-star restaurant? Fuck. Quite a feast tonight, I see. Ah, and I'm absolutely crazy about this chicken. It's too bad it's all cold and hard, though. I'd say it's been about two hours since it was cooked, judging from the way it feels. D99? I know it's kind of pointless to ask now, but just the same. I still want to know, why did you do it? I agree, it's pointless to ask now. My case is colder than this chicken, and has been forgotten by everybody, myself included. Detective Jowd. Now then. Let me eat in peace before it gets too cold to cut. There's one more thing I've been wondering for a long time. What's that? Who's the man in that painting? Oh, this? Well, being in prison like this, you start to forget faces, you know? So I paint the faces that I don't want to forget. And this is the last of those faces. Oh. Well, hi. Now, could you leave me a bit... Could you leave me alone for a bit? Let a man eat in peace. Okay, sure. Sorry to bother you. I think... I think I was right. I think we are the main villain, aren't we? What in the world? What in the world could this mean? Why is there a painting of me on this man's cell? Who exactly is this prisoner? The man whose, whose case Lion is investigating is painting a picture of me in his cell. 
have to see Line fast. And not for her sake, for mine to solve this mystery of me. Check time. Okay, I can't. This telephone doesn't connect to the outside. I've got a question on what questions I want to ask line. I've got to get to a place that has an external line and fast. It it's in um, the guard room. This is the headquarters. What's the status over there? Oh, chief, it's you. They're making preparations now. No problem, sir. How much longer then? One more hour, sir. I see. Carry on then. Oh, one more thing. Inspector Cabanella wishes to speak to you. Evening! Cabanella here. How are you boys doing? Inspector Cabanella. Fine, sir. You got another little call tonight, didn't you, from my baby? From line? Uh, well, yes. Did my girl have anything interesting to say? Um, not especially. She hung up almost immediately. I see. Next time she gives you a buzz, be sure to let me know right away. That's a good fellow. Yes, sir. You try to cover it up, and I'm sure you regret it very much. Very much. Yes, sir. I'll call you right away, sir, immediately. Don't forget, she's a fugitive after all. Yes, sir. Carry on, then. I might pop in a little later. Yes, sir. Looking forward to seeing you, sir. Lion should be heading for the chicken kitchen now. The call from the police headquarters intrigues me too. It's looking pretty obvious right now that the white suited inspector suspects Lion. And she's being considered a fugitive. This is not good. I wonder if I should go check in on the chief. And the inspector in white too. Wait. Uh... Inspector Cabanella seems to be looking for her too. Your line, line I mean. Inspector Cabanella? What would the special investigation unit want with line? I don't know. I guess something happened that we don't know about. The night of all nights. Inspector Cabanella must be upset tonight too. Weren't we in prisoner night uh weren't he and prisoner D99 Detective Jowd good friends? You sure about that? They were such good friends. How come Inspector Cabanella never came to visit him? He's the head of the special division. The special investigation. He's a very busy man. What's wrong? Jad was my hero, you know? I wanted to be a detective because of him. Look at me. Running away in a place like this. I can't even do anything to help Line. What am I doing with my life? This new side of you is kind of endearing. Anyway, the thing to do is work at fixing what you can what is work at fixing what you can little by little. Like for example, your house of cards, it collapsed, you know? Uh Internal exercise. No. External line. Here. Preparations seem to be going smoothly over at the prison, eh, Inspector Cabanella? We're just a little too late. So close, eh, Inspector? We still have a little time left, Chief. 
Not much, but some. We've had Poinax around it all night. If he shows up, we nab him, and we can still make it. By the way, what's going on with the other case, the junkyard murder? She did it, eh? No question about it? She's a bad little baby. Disappearing from the scene like that. Wonder where she ran off to play. What did he just say? She did it? Did I hear that right? I think they were talking about the culprit who killed me. No way. I just don't believe it. Why would she do a thing like that? I'm afraid I don't have the answers for you, Chief. I don't want to believe it any more than you do. And yet... After seeing this, maybe we don't have any other choice but to believe, baby. Is that a security camera tape the investigation unit just delivered? I can't deny. It's some pretty solid evidence against her. Evidence? Nothing like it, baby. Why was a murder case? Why a murder case now on such an important night? Tisk tisk. I think you have that wrong, Chief. A murder case now for the very reason that it is such an important night. Before I go and find line at the chicken kitchen. Sounds like there's an important piece of info here I shouldn't miss. Pretty solid evidence, he says. This I have to see. But it's funny. Why do I have this bad feeling about what's on this tape? How did they not notice? The junkyard where I died had a security camera. And it captured the moment of my de death perfectly. Damn it, Mim. And what that tape showed me was the cruelest truth imaginable. So he just stood there like a dumbass and then she just left her gun there I saw myself shot right before my own my own eyes by line there goes my only lead I feel like I've died all over again one thing sticks with me though line looks so surprised on that tape what in the world did I tell her The truth is the truth, no matter how many times you watch it, Inspector Cab Cabanella. It wasn't me who played the tape just now, baby. Oh, by the way, Inspector Cabanella. There's something on that tape that troubles me. And what's that, Chief? I'm all ears. I had a look at all the photos of the crime scene as well, but... The place where the victim was shot... And where the body was found is clearly different. 
Hey, he's right. That is strange. No, he's not. You saw it happen. The hitman in black is the one who kicked me downstairs, but I changed his fate, so he... So I... He should have been out of the picture. Oh, you're right, actually. But there I am, down the lower level. I have the answer to your mystery right here, a few minutes after the murder took place. Oh. Is that a black cat? You got it, baby. A furry feline messed up our crime scene. And then the little cat culprit vanished into the night. Hmm. Looks like my destiny of being knocked downstairs is very hard to alter. This is point X. Come in, chief. The chief here. Did you show up? Uh, no sir, not yet, but... Idiot! I told you to stay off the radio unless it was important. But this is important, sir. Somebody else showed up. A rookie detective line. What? You see my baby over there, do you? I heard she was on the lamb. What do you want me to do, Chief? What do you say, Inspector? Detective. Get my baby away from Point X. Do it now, man, and then hold on to her. Yes, sir. I'll go get her now, sir. What's the meaning of this? Why would Lion show up at Point X? It took the Special Investigation Unit six months to pinpoint that location. Don't know, Chief, but I'd say it wasn't a coincidence. Perhaps. What happened? Detective, come in! Now what? What happened this time? Damn it. This calls for a telephone call to Point X. Allow me. Check time. So line has shown up at some point X, but I thought she was on her way to chicken kitchen. What's going on? But one thing is clear, something big just happened. What are you doing? Get your buns over here. What did you say? Now I finally understand. I finally know what it's like. For poor hungry customers to have their food delivered, the deliveries delayed. Excuse me? But this is the ki chicken kitchen, is it not? What? Aren't I talking to the police? The police? Did something happen? Uh, that you need assistance with? Something happened here, you ask? More like, there's nothing left here. I gotta go. Wait, what? Who is that? There's a roller skater. What's going on? Something... Something, that's what. Something is definitely going on. And that something is far from nothing. That's for certain. Thanks for the tea, Chief. I'll be on my way. You going to Point X? Point X, hey? I'll leave that to the boys. There's someplace else I gotta be. Inspector! Your being there isn't going to change anything. Why put yourself through it? I have a responsibility and I'm gonna see it through the end. Besides, it's not quite over yet. Right, that's true. Do what you must then. Prisoner D99's schedule for tomorrow was blank. 
it seems like forever ago that I found that out. And now my mind is even blanker than that blackboard was. Line, my only lead, and my partner shot me. What did it all mean? I knew where I had to go to get my answers. The chicken kitchen, the point X the police have surrounded, and the place where something big just happened. What will Line be involved in this time when I find her there? Yes, okay. Alright, I'll be right back in a second. I just gotta... I'm just gonna... I'll be right back.
I tripped. I really need to put my suitcase away. I don't know why I still have that just lying around. Ugh. Okay. Oh my god, it's hard to stand. Uh. Oh, my back. It hurts. Hold on. What's that? Wait, hold on. Actually, while I'm at it, I might as well. I'm muting again. I'll be right back again. I'm back again. Guess who's back? Back again. My back hurts. Tell a friend that way I get more subs and I can finally end this fucking stream. I just can't get the images I saw at police headquarters out of my head. The person who shot me tonight is the last person in the world I would I want to believe did it. Now I'm here at the place she and I agreed to meet. The restaurant the police were uh, staking out. The restaurant the police were staking out as Point X. But when I got here, I found the place in ruins. Whoa, what in the world happened here? Oh, the heavens. What do I do? 
If I had known something like this would happen, I would have paid the poor child more. I would have cooked more chicken for her. I would have sung to her as much as she liked until she had her fill. Actually, about the singing. She did tell me she'd had her fill a time or two. The chef seems to be in quite a panic. Wait. Anyway. At least it doesn't look like the waitress is dead. But he is. And I can't... And get to him. Now I'm curious because what happens if I go here in chap at the end of chapter six instead of going uh, to the special investigation room? Which actually speaking of, let's just go here and see. Looking troubled. The chief is wiggling his itchy toes. Chief here. Looks like I won't be able to get home tonight. You go ahead and get some sleep about me. Yeah, I love you too, honey. He said that on his microphone? Hmm, I guess he was radioing his wife. He had called her on the phone. I could have gone and seen what she looked like. Her parents life? I saw, but I can't. <laughs> I can't go watch her, unfortunately. I wish I can. I want to. Uh... Oh, okay, I guess I can't really do anything here. My room. Ah! What do you think of my quirky behavior? Surprised? I seemed bored, so I thought I'd wake you up. You can call that my gotcha move. What do you think? Hey, wait a minute. Are you dead? Dead? Of course not. Oh, thank goodness. I thought I surprised you, but you surprised me. You're good. Oh, you're good. I can go to an external one. An uh, uh, internal one. Upper row of cells. Let's see what's what's over there. Even time is like a caged animal here. Nothing appears changed since the last time I visited. Wait, did I unmute? Yes, I did. Okay. God, I always have that. That just. Oh, that paranoia. Spikey is still making that horrible noise. Bearded painter is still attacking his meal with gusto. But he's he's almost done with chick with his chicken. <laughs> the curry lover is still dream is still dreaming dreams of curry. My time will soon be locked away from me as well. I can't waste what I have left. I better get going. that old pigeon guy again. He's looking at the stuff he has on the wall. 
All this, all this equipment I've never seen before. Who is this guy anyway, and what's he up to? Doesn't look like he's gonna budge from that spot. I'll go somewhere else. But the park. It's in the park. Entrance to the nearly dress uh, to the nearly deserted park. The detective who was ordered by Cavanella to perform a stakeout is nowhere to be seen. His van is gone too. Uh, yeah, he's the guy who died. He's the dead guy in the in the place. And that van just happens to be the one inside the uh, chicken kitchen. I better find out what ha uh, how that happened. Is this actually what I'm... No. Troubled man's office. No, Lady Red's apartment. It doesn't look like the novelist intends to sleep tonight. She'll complete her tale of love even if she has to type her fingers to the bone. Something seems to be missing from this bed. I don't see the bag of ice on the little girl's head and the feverish forehead. Mm -hmm. She's not here. Did she go to the power room? Is she having a good time in the town? I better be going myself. Old oh, man's office. Which car will wait? Uh, I I can't right now, but I I will. If she's still alive by the end of this chapter, I will. Hmm. If only I could catch a breeze and fly away, or maybe even just catch a cold. If I caught a cold, would Emma take pity on me? Would Amelia cry for me? Or would Emma Lee cry for me? No, I don't think she would. Why should- why would she? Oh, if only I could blow up and fly into a million pieces. I don't think I need to come back here again for a while. The sign doesn't seem to be working, because I can't go there right now. And junkyard. Ah, oh, there you are. It's getting late. How are thing prog things progressing? I saw the person who, who shot me. I saw the whole thing with my own eyes. Well, well. That is a big step forward by the sound of it. Forward, huh? Doesn't feel like it. Here, let me share something with you. What's that? The truth is sometimes hidden in the shadow of what's being looked at. And can't be seen properly. Don't forget that. The shadow of what's being looked at, huh? I remember that. It means it wasn't her. Chicken kitchen. Oh, I can roll the tire. Wait. Um, fine. According to that police radio conversation I heard, Line should be here. But I don't see her anywhere. Seems like bad luck has uh, has in it for that redhead. So I was has it, half expecting her, half expecting to see her in trouble again. I spotted the corpse of the van driver. He's right there, but I can't reach her. What? Oh, there she is. That's her, isn't it? Look at me, I'm dead. What took you so long? Well, that's one way to greet a guy. What happened here? 
Hey, how should I know? I'm the victim. Is it just my imagination or is she getting more and more brazen every time she dies? Oh, and that's because I'm a detective. I have to be tough, you know? Well, and? How did it go? Did you check out tomorrow's work schedule for Prisoner D99? Yeah, just like I promised. Actually, I have a few things I want to ask you about, too. Sure. We agreed to use each other, after all. Right? Okay, let's swap info, then. D99 work schedule. Just like you said, each prisoner had a little blackboard in his cell. The thing is... There wasn't anything written on Prisoner D99's blackboard. It was blank. What? I guess maybe it means his schedule for tomorrow hasn't been decided yet? Blank? Blank? No! Huh? I didn't think she'd lose it over a blank blackboard. How come you're so upset about an undecided work schedule? I get the feeling that Back when I was alive, I never had much more of a I never had much of a schedule to worry about myself. Do you know what it means when a prisoner doesn't have a schedule for the next day? Uh, it means something? It means he doesn't have work to do. No, wait, it doesn't mean he doesn't have work to do. It's more like he can't work. And that's because he's going to be executed. Executed? Execution. Do you know what Prisoner D99's crime was? I think so. They said something about him murdering his wife right in front of a family member. That's what they say, but it's not true. He would never. Detective Jowd would never do anything like that. And the death penalty hasn't been enforced in this country for a very long time. Not for decades. Even if the prisoner wants it. Like in this case. The prisoner wants it? There's definitely something else going on with this case, I just know it. And I have to find out what. And if his work schedule is blank for tomorrow, I have to do it right now. So this prisoner D99, Detective Jowd, he must be connected to me in some way too. After all, he obviously knows me. My murderer. On my way, on my way, on my way here, I stopped by the chief of police's office. Of police's office. Oh, it was just on your way, wasn't it? And while I was there, I saw who did it. I saw my murderer. You saw him? Where? How? Not him. Her. There was a security camera set up at the junkyard where I got shot. The security tape showed the person who shot me. It was you. No way. You're kidding, right? What do you have to say for yourself, detective? It wasn't me. I didn't shoot you. If I recall, this is what you said about who shot me. My memory just isn't clear on that part. So how can you say for sure it wasn't you? Because I told you before. You were supposed to give me some information. Information, huh? Maybe that information that information was the reason you shot me. What? What do you mean? That she shot me. You said you had information on the case I'm looking into. So I would hardly shoot you before I even heard that information, right? I agree. That wouldn't make sense if it was before. Huh? But... What if it was AFTER you'd already gotten the information from me? I definitely told you something then. And whatever it was, it really shocked you. What did I tell you? I don't remember. I don't know, you've got to believe me. After you saved me, I thought I got all my memories back. But maybe I really didn't. 
You told me something? I can't remember that part at all. You got the information you wanted from me, and then you shot me. Isn't that what happened? No. No, I didn't shoot you. Please tell me, what did you tell me that time? What did I learn from you? The police are staking this restaurant out tonight. They called it Point X. Point X, huh? That's a good name for this place. That white-suited inspector was surprised to find, but to find out you just casually waltzed in here. Inspector Cabanella? What in the world made you pick this place anyway? I guess I'd have to say because of you. Me? Huh? Do you remember that note I found? Yeah, I remember. That note I didn't get a chance to read. It had a place and a time written on it. The chicken kitchen. Uh, 10 a.m. I think. Or no, p.m. because it's night time. In other words, I was supposed to meet somebody here tonight. Yep, apparently so. I just had to get that information you were going to give me. That's why I came here. It was the only lead I had left. And this here is point X. So that must mean... The mark the police were waiting for... The mark the police were waiting for was me. So... What are you going to do now? I mean, you fulfilled your goal, right? Found out who shot you. Are you going to get revenge? That would be easy enough to do. What you have to do is not save me. Is this the ending I was hoping for? Had I unraveled the mysteries of me? No. No, you didn't. What am I going to do now? I'm going to save you, that's what. You are? I want to know everything. Who I was, why I was killed. I'd like to know who those guys are too. I want answers, and I'm gonna find them. But to do that, I'm gonna need your help. Okay. I won't say thank you, not yet. And I won't say I'm sorry either. But I'll help to see... But I'll help to see to it that you get your answers. Good. Now, I think it's time to go back to the past. I can't leave you lying flattened under a huge chunk of chicken forever, after all. Uh, Rewind time. The note said, the chicken kitchen, 10pm. I wonder who that pointy-haired man was going to meet here. What's this? Wait, she... Huh? Here you go. Oh, it was them. I'm pretty sure I'm- I- I am a villain. <laughs> I think that's what this is leading to. Where's my chicken? There it is. Can I eat that thing? Um...
I mean, if you want to eat it, now's your chance. You're just going bigger and better with each new death, aren't you? Leave me alone. I, can I help it? If I got tired of dying the usual... Can I help if I got tired of dying the usual ways? But I'll say this. It was a death any detective could be proud of. Huh? What makes you say that? The way you saved somebody else before dying yourself. Oh, that waitress? The one with the chicken on her head? Next time you put a chicken on your head, you should try one about the size of the waitresses. I'll make a note of that for next time. But anyway. If you hadn't tried to save that waitress, you'd still be alive. I couldn't help it. You know, a detective, the detective thing and all. I wasn't able to save that poor van driver though. At that speed, he must have died instantly. You saw that he was dead, yeah. Well... We can't let a heroic detective like you stay dead. The root of the soul disaster is clear. The only question is, how do I stop it? Okay, let's get started. Trick time. The note says, the chicken kitchen, 10pm. I wonder who that pointy haired man was going to meet here. If you're going to call me anything, please try to make it make it my name, Sissel. Sorry about that, I'm really bad with names. The future of this lady's career as a detective looks pretty bleak. Oh. It's no use. I can't read what it says. Let's see. Oh, hey. Now I remember what that sign says. If you would like some water, please ring the bell three times. Three times? Yeah, the waitress doesn't bring any water. You only ring the bell once. She said, those are the rules apparently. I said, apparently? What do you mean apparently? Don't you work here? Quite a stickler for the details of this detective. You want more water? Huh? Oh, sorry, I didn't ring the bell. What's with the more water bit? Oh well, come on. This is your third glass. Oh, okay, I get it. This was a little dig, wasn't it? Kind of like, hey, where's my food, right? No, not at all. Besides, I didn't ring it. But I would like to see you bring me, bringing me my chicken soon. Jolie noted. In the meantime, enjoy your nice, nice glass of water. Odd girl. I agree. Me too. <laughs> you wrote this note, right? I, I think so, but I don't remember. Ten o'clock. That means it's already time for... For your meeting with whoever it is. Now that I think about it, whoever you were supposed to meet might already be here. You're the detective. Shouldn't you have checked that when you got here? Oh yeah, sorry. The chicken at this restaurant is really good, so you know. <laughs> um, no, I don't know. Maybe you should take a look around the rest of the restaurant. I mean, if I just keep her there- oh, wait. Can't do anything. There you go. 
This is one pretty... This is one big trunk. It seems pretty heavy too. Very suspicious. And red. Hey, let's see what's in it. Sorry, but that's not possible. It's locked. Damn. I wanted to see what's inside. Here you go. Uh oh. Are you thinking what I'm thinking? Looks like we might be stuck here. There's still one possibility. You're counting on past on the past me, you better not. Huh? I didn't ask for any more water after this. In other words, it didn't do us any good to wait for the waitress to come back, hey? Maybe we'd better rethink things here. He should be here by now. Doesn't he know the first rule of making a deal? Never keep the customer waiting? Be quiet for a minute. There's a bug in this restaurant somewhere. A bug? I don't see any bug. Right there, a ladybug. I just hate little bugs. I guess I really am stuck here, huh? Can I move this? No. Um, well. I'm fucked. Hmm. <laughs> we didn't manage to find too many leads. I say we should check out those two upstairs more. Call it a detective's hunch. Or maybe we can call it just plain... nosiness. Anyway, I guess we should, we should try casting a wider net and see what other info we can haul in. Alright, alright, alright. So, what do you think, my dear beauty? Do you really think we can trust this deal? Who knows? It's not our job to think about that. But those incidents did happen in this country, just as he predicted. Yes, and they were pretty amusing too, weren't they? That fellow who sang out national secrets during a live TV broadcast. And the man who laid siege to the Metro Police Department, taking the top dog hostage. But what if he double crosses us? It wouldn't be pretty. No, no. He needs this deal too. And we've accepted all his conditions as well. 
Yes, and thanks to that, we have to be here on this extra little assignment. But as long as I'm paired up with you, Beauty, I don't mind. How do these two... How do they know about the cases at the special prison? Special prison? The guy who sang National Secrets, the man who held siege to Metropolis. Those cases are classified information. Hmm. I've heard about both of those cases, and recently too. The perpetrators in those cases are being held at a special facility. That's what the special prison is, but I don't know about the gen- uh, but it's not known about by the general public. The prisoner of D-99, Detective Jowd, is one of these special cases too, huh? You start talking about the very same cases I heard about just tonight. That couldn't be just coincidence, could it? What is the beauty? Why don't we move to a different spot? That's a, that table in the back looks good. Now you're talking beauty, my dear. Just what I've been waiting for. A quiet, secluded spot, just the two of us. I wouldn't object to that. All of a sudden, I get this feeling somebody is eavesdropping. My sixth sense is very strong, you know. That's alright, my dear. You don't have to make excuses. Off we go across the bridge of poultry to the land of love. What? What just happened? Did she sense we were here? With her sixth sense? <coughs> but you know, I have some pretty amazing powers myself. Yeah, like what? Um, let me... Let me open this. Like what? Like? Like if there's a chicken nearby, I can tell right away. That's called the sense of smell. But anyway, at least the situation has changed a little bit now. I don't believe in the sixth sense. It's not scientific. Says the ghost. But come to think of it, we've been left behind, haven't we? Looks that way. Not having legs is even more inconvenient than I thought it would be. What are we going to do now? They're all the way over there. I'm telling you, we better shake a leg or we're going to miss what they're saying. It'd be pretty hard to shake a leg. Not having legs and all. They're still talking about something. I want to hear! Me too. So I think you rang. Oh, I get it. You saw that couple over there, and you started to get lonely, right? And so you decided to call me. Ah, that's so sweet. Forgive me, but I didn't ring for anybody. What? No, could you not stand in my light, please? I can't see my glass properly. 
I've been working here for two days and I've been waiting this whole time for you to notice me. Now would you stop trying to shake me up and just stick and just stick to shaking cocktails? Aww. This is a surprisingly short career with this place. So I was wondering, we're not stuck over here by any chance, are we? Uh, we just might be. Okay, well, I have two thoughts. Number one, if we want to get over to where those two are, we have to use this, this red trunk they forgot somehow. Sounds about right. What's your other thought? It doesn't look like this uh, blue-haired bartender is going to be much help so i guess we have to find somebody who can help then trunk and the, the glass I mean technically if she's up here no you I mean, technically... It's not time yet. Huh? The waitress isn't coming. Of course not. Pushed her down and knocked her out. But you know, I've heard about some professional boxers. Even if they're unconscious, they still get to their feet when they hear the bell. Now that's professionalism. Sorry, but I have no idea what you're talking about. Anyway, we're almost out of time. Is there anything we can do from here? Uh, not really. Quick, do something. A big bird is just about to fall on my head. Do something, you say, but we're stuck here. Is there anything I can do from here? Wait, what's that? This is one big chunk seems to be out too. It's very sweet and red. Hey, that's what's in it. That's what it's like. But it's it it, it has, it's so it's broken. It it has like look it there's a part missing. That's not helpful. Isn't helpful. You know what? 
if I just have her Wait, 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 I know, I know, I know, I know, I know, she's here, and now she sees this falling, there you go, oh, you just broke that glass, just like you did my heart, broken glass can never be put back the way it was, just leave it there, you can't just leave it, somebody might get hurt, doesn't this trunk belong to that couple over there? The only things we allowed customers to lose here are their are their cares. Miss, please go and let them know about the trunk so about the trunk if you would be so kind. How gallant of you. I just might fall for you, you know. Updated the phone. Wait. Wait, put the odd girl. Yep. I agree. Me too. Put the put the glass back. Put the fucking glass back right now. Put the fucking glass back right now. I need to. There we go. Cool. Well, goodbye. I've been working here for two days and I've had my eye on you the whole time. I think this might be my last night working here though. It's been fun. I guess she's leaving this place with her surprisingly short career intact. Wait, wait, wait. But now I'm curious, right? If I actually, like... Of all things to forget, it wouldn't have... If, it wouldn't have been pretty if I forgot this. Here we are, finally. We're kind of bad about eavesdropping now. Not me. I mean, we just delivered the lost trunk to them after all. They owe us at least that much. Kind yeah, of detective says something like that. They changed. Nothing really works. One big trunk. Oh. Larvae's light. There's no way they didn't notice that. Is everybody in this fucking game just demented? I can't believe I forgot the chug of all things. With such a small body, you probably only have a small brain to match. Ouch, that hurts, beauty. But that's okay. That's what I love about you. That's what you love about her? I don't get it either. Now, where were we? Alright, who to invite to the wedding? If we got married, of If we got married, that is, of course. We can talk about that when we're alone. Hmm? Where aren't we alone now, babe? Beauty? Huh? Do you think she senses our presence again? I spy a ladybug. A ladybug? I just hate little bugs. What? After all that trouble, it, it happened anyway? Looks that way, yes. It's not over yet, though. It's not? What are you talking about? You're not dead yet. N no, but I'm going to be in just a few seconds. Well, before that, that happens, maybe there's something we can do from here. Oh. Come on! Yes! Chicken bone.
Hello? Looks like he's unconscious. Excuse me, could you wake up for a second, please? Was she as ever, this detective? One thing I've learned... ...is that the newly dead stay unconscious for a little while at first. Huh? I was like that, and you were like that too. Oh yeah, I guess you're right. Anyway, if we restart the flow of time now, you'll die. Yeah, I know. Why don't we try going back even further in time? What? Even further? But how? Simple. We go four minutes before the death of this poor driver here. You can do that? I never tried it before, so I don't know how it will go. But if we can erase this, the driver's death, I should erase your death too. Oh wow. Can't think of any other way. Let's try it. Let's do it. What the? That's Line, a rookie detective. What's she doing at point X? Could it be just a coincidence? And we just got an APB on her a little while ago. Something, something about an extremely important case's extremely important witness currently extremely on the run. Now what? Should I report this to Inspector Cabanella? They told us to stay off the radio unless it was an emergency, but I think I'd better call this in. Poor line. I wonder what she did this time. Inspector Cabanella is pretty protective when it comes to line. He'd want to know. What's the matter? Alright, fine. Don't tell me this guy's working with the villains. This is point X. Idiot! Yes sir, I'll go get her. What did that say? One. Uh, the static is awful, is what he said. I can't believe I forgot the chunk of all things. Such a small body, probably only have a small brain to match. Ouch, that hurts, beauty. That's okay. That's what I love about you. What the heck is this? I spy a ladybug. A ladybug? I just hate little bugs. I can't hear very well. Oh. Well, oh, okay, there you go. Wow. The van driver was a detective. Looks like it. I noticed something, though. That conversation he was listening to just before the crash. I remember hearing it before. You're right, we just heard it a few minutes ago, didn't we? Just after that conversation, the detective suddenly passed out. What happened, I wonder? We already know the answer. We saw what happened at the restaurant. She burnt up the ladybug. Sometimes when a high-tech bug like that is destroyed, it emits a loud signal. Loud enough to knock a person out if they were listening to it through headphones. So that's why the detective passed out, huh? Bingo. Now let's stop it from happening. Wait. Shouldn't it be in the place of 
Wait, uh, what the? Uh, wait, I wanted to... Hold on. Flashing lights. Doesn't look like that is going to come. Might as well turn it off, it's pretty loud. That was the South Korean, unless it was an emergency, but I better call this in. Poor I wonder what she did this time. Uh, what does he mean, this time? Mind your own business, like... I like to do things my way, okay? Brother Cabanella is pretty protective when it comes to lying. You'd want to know. Ah, fuck. There you go. I don't know. Wait. I thought it was going to be a little bit more, um... How do you say it? Um... Is this supposed to look like that? Doesn't look like the tech is going to come. Might as well turn off, it's pretty loud. Wait. Who is the detective talking to? Don't keep yelling at me about these things. They might be talking about something ridiculously important. That's true, but still. It might be the person who really shot you. Now you're just throwing things out there. But in any case, it looks like it's too late to get to the phone now. Damn. I think we missed our chance. I don't think we had a chance. I'm worried about that detective memory. After all, they call her the line of the special investigation unit. Well, well, did you hear that, detective? At least it's better than being called the memory of the detective division. At any rate, I'd better report to, ins to Inspector Cabanella before I worry about that listening device. This point next. Come in, Chief. Chief here. Did you show up? No, sir. Uh, no, sir. Not yet, but... Idiot. I told you to stay off the radio unless it was important. But this is important, sir. Somebody else showed up. A rookie detective lied. What? You see my baby over there, do you? I heard she was on the lam. What do you want me to do, Chief? Detective, get my baby away from point X. Do it now, man. And hold on to her. Yes, sir. I'll go get her now, sir. He's on the move. There isn't much time left. We have to stop him fast. Otherwise, he's going to crash into the uh, chicken kitchen. Hmm. This is like that game, isn't it? A game of chicken. Sorry, but what's a game of chicken? Sorry. I better choose my audience more carefully the next time I tell a joke. Never mind that, we have to do something. Ah, we can't get it. Wait, if we turn off the light... Yeah. I mean... Ah! What do you think you're doing? Uh-oh. 
I just thought it'd be better to do something. Well, hurry up and put the seat back up. I can't, it's too heavy. All I could do now is hope this guy has strong ab, ab muscles. I don't think he does. <laughs> um. Oops. I don't think that is up. I think I made it right now. Oops. That was my bad. <laughs> I get that you felt like you had to do something, but that? Well, there isn't much I can do once the van is moving. Should we think this? Was there any other path before that? I guess I'd better rewind the clock again to see if I can pick up any other clues. I have an idea. Uh, turn off the lights, because then it will... Hey, this place. This is the police... Uh, the white suited inspector phone tonight. This isn't the parking lot of the park on the east side this is the parking lot of the park on the east side of town it's been years you know this park yeah i used to play here a lot when i was little but then one day i swore i'd never set foot in this park ever again whoa those are some really deep dark feelings there i wonder what happened Hold it! Don't give me that a ghost doesn't have a foot to set bit. It's a figure of speech. What kind of a nit- What kind of nitpicker do you think I am? Anyway, whatever, let's get started. Okay, let's do that. I won't press her about the other thing right now. What the? That sign, a rookie detective. What is she doing at Point X? Could it be just a coincidence? We just got an APB on her a little while ago. Something about an extremely important case. An extremely important case is extremely important witness currently extremely on the run. Now what? Should I report this to Inspector Cavanella? Wow. They put out an APB on me? Apparently, they're calling you a fugitive. Uh. You naughty girl, you. Sniffle. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to make you upset. A girl's heart is, very, is a very delicate thing, you know? It's from the girl a giant chicken couldn't even kill. <laughs> it did kill me. The detective is going to come. As I'll turn off, it's really loud. Shit. Um. Whoops. Well, that was my bad. Well. Okay, 
Um, turn this off. Almost time for that deal to go, to go down tonight. I don't know what's uh, what it's all about, but I hear it's a pretty important case. Just hope line doesn't get caught in the crossfire. Oh, that's right. I forgot about the listening device. Static is awful. I hope detective detective memory planted it somewhere where it won't be spotted. Shit, how do I I can't believe I forgot the trunk of all things. Such a small body, you probably have a small brain to match. Oh, that hurts beauty, but that's okay. That's what I love about you. What the heck is this? I spy a ladybug. A ladybug? I just hate little bugs. Can't hear very well. No, stop. Uh oh. Remember what that woman did right after this? She took out her lighter. And she burned up the ladybug. And that's what caused the accident. We're out of time. We have to do something. Can I do this now? What do you think you're doing? Uh oh. Oops. Again. <laughs> So, hold on, do I do this? And then I go here. And then when he opens the door to turn it off. No, because it doesn't let it doesn't let me control it. No, wait. Let me try something else. Turn on the alarm. And then... Oh, yes! What are these doing here? Cool. So that's how you do it. What's the matter? Detective Wrench, it's uh, this is memory. Oh my God, it's her. What's the matter? 
It's not time for your regular report. Listen to this, there's a suspicious couple in the bar upstairs. I'm going to put a ladybug on them. A ladybug? You mean a listening device? Don't do anything to blow our cover and Inspector Ca uh, Cabanella will be furious. But they're doing all kinds of suspicious whispering. We have to find out what they're saying. You can pick up uh, the signal from your van. Check out their conversation for me, would you? Alright, fine. Once you get going on something, I know there's no stopping you. Thanks. Later then. Hold on. Did you see a customer come in just now? A young woman with red hair and red boots? Oh, yeah. That rests a suspicious chick. Sure. Suspicious? I mean, come on. As soon as she sat down, she ordered three glasses of water in a row. And she spilled the second glass on the table. Okay, fine. Keep your eye on her too, if you, if you would. You got it. Oh, wow. That waitress was an undercover agent. And she apparently thought you were pretty suspicious too. Oh yeah, sorry. I was really thirsty, so, you know. <laughs> um, no, I don't know. Anyway, did you hear what I heard about the listening device? You have to do something about that bug. So should we stay here or follow up on the waitress? Looks like it's uh, time to make a decision. Go there. Because there, there's nothing else we can do here. I pretty much tried everything. Hey, look where we are. The heart of the kitchen, eh? Yep. Or as most people say, the kitchen. I hope the key to preventing that accident is here somewhere. Oh, I bet it will be. You know what they say. Where there's smoke and chicken, there's fire. Hmm. Now that you mention it, it is pretty smoky in here. Big change. Switch. What's wrong? Can't seem to raise this switch. It won't budge. Yeah, well, it's not surprising considering this whole place is sticky with grease. Bet it must be stuck. Yeah, it does feel pretty sticky. But if the switch were already raised, I bet I could manage to lower it. Hey, look what she's doing. Do you think that could be... Yeah, she's probably planting the ladybug. Now that I think about it, it's the waitress's meddling that starts the whole chain of events. The detective wouldn't have gotten his ears blown out and wouldn't have crashed. In other words, we're witnessing it with our own... with our own eyes. The cause of a huge disaster slowly being planted in the chicken. Yeah, I just had a good idea. About what to... About what to do about the ladybug? No, I was thinking you could we could let her get crushed under the chicken instead of me. I can't tell if you're kidding. At any rate, now we've seen the root cause of the accident. And all we have to do is think of a way to take care of it. Why is there a rolling pin in his hat? It's smoky in here. Can't seem to raise the switch, it won't budge. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wait, 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 she's about to. There we go. She's also struggling. Oh wait, that wasn't a rolling pin, that was a wine bottle. 
It's smoky in here. Yes, it is. Time is passing. That's fine. As long as, uh... It's smoky in here, it sure is. There, all set. Fuck. Um... No, you bitch! There she goes. Yep, there she went. Now what? That ladybug is going to get burnt up. I wonder if there's any way to stop it now. If I knew this was going to happen, I would have let her get crushed under the chicken instead of me. I thought if you're kidding. Oh boy. Uh... Ah! What can the pot do? They're the jumping poltergeist. 444 tricks? Okay, should I... La la chicken, thou art so beautiful, chicken. I took a bite, my heart swelled with bread, and I got goosebumps. I'm consumed with the love of consuming you, la la la. He has a good voice. If you like that kind of thing. Ugh, I'm fucked. Alright, well... Well... If the waitress carries out that lady... Uh, carries out the ladybug, it's all over. Can we do something about that girl? Or maybe about the chef? Or better yet... How about doing something about the chicken? After fate change. I don't know how I'm... Ah. That's how... Hey, what's up with this lazy Susan? It's acting up today. Maybe it's out of sorts because I was spinning it around, uh, spinning around on it yesterday. Interesting thing to do for a lady her age. 
maybe it's out of sorts how about thinking maybe it might be broken <sighs> But it really isn't broken, it's just us ghosts. But I don't I don't care. Put your hat down. Hat down. There you go. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. It's smoky in here. It sure is. They're all set. No, no, it isn't all set. No, you fucking bitch. in here? No, it isn't. No. Tastes so goddamn good. Let me. There, all set. Yes, yes, you're all set. You are indeed all set. There, how about that? The ladybug is still sitting on the table. We did it. Oh, for fuck's sake. La la la, chicken. That was so beautiful, chicken. I took a bite. My heart swelled with pride. And I got goosebumps. What the heck is this? I'm consumed with the love of consuming you, la la la. Fate averted. Oh, it looks like you've ex you've escaped the fate of being hammered by your horrible hen. Yes, but I still haven't escaped the worst darkness of this terrible night. 
I I shot you, didn't I? There must have been some sort of complicated set of circumstances that made you do it. It's never okay to shoot a person, no matter what the circumstances. Hey, didn't that be my line? But anyway. You were investigating a case and I was supposed to give you information on that case. Maybe it's time you told me about it. Tell me about the case you're looking into. I guess I... Yes, I guess I should. But let's go to the new present first. Okay, sure. Back in the new present, the delicious aroma of chicken fills the air. But I'm still thinking about line. I wonder if she's still waiting for, the ch for her chicken to be served. I decided to go see her. See her and ask her the questions that were still consuming me. Um, can you uh, lower your hat? Uh, cool. Thank you. Appreciate it. Chicken kitchen. The disastrous accident has been completely erased. Once again, I saved the redhead detective from death. Saved the line, the criminal who stole my life. One question in particular hangs heavy on my head. Why did she shoot me? Until I know the answer, I'll never be satisfied. I I think I'm the I'm the final villain. I'm pretty sure I'm the villain. I end up being the villain. That's that's what it is. Meanwhile, Lion's appetite is apparently foremost in her mind. A golden brown chicken sits on the table in front of her. Until she eats the whole thing, she'll probably never be satisfied. Quick time. Is Lion having a serious talk with that detective? Nah, she's just gobbling down chicken. How did the detectives know to stay out this restaurant tonight? To stake out this restaurant tonight? I'd better see if I can get some information. But more importantly, I have lots of questions for that lady detective. Oh, I didn't know you were here, Detective Ringe. Come to see me, did you? Aw, oh, that's so sweet. Oh, hi, Memory. Don't mind us. Just pretend we're not here. Why don't you try some chicken while you're here? No thanks. Just watching Lion eat is quite enough for me. So, how did it turn out with my ladybug? Oh, that listening device? Well, let's see. I thought the gentleman had a very nice singing voice. Sorry, but we're uh, in the middle of an important talk. Could you leave us to it? No, stay right there. Huh? I'm at the crucial moment with this chicken here. I'll need you to pour me some water if it, if it starts going down wrong. Lion, you don't have to risk your life over chicken, you know? He's right, sheesh. Anyway, I better move now while I have the chance. Hmm, that's funny. Even though I just saved that detect- Even though I just saved that detective, he doesn't have a core. Not like the one, not like the one Line has, or that valiant little doggy missy, missile. I thought the ones I saved are supposed to develop a core when they're alive again. I guess I still have things to learn about these powers of the dead. Well, I'm heading back. Lots of things uh, to do now. Lots of things to do, you know? Yeah, like washing dishes and planting bugs. Someday I'll plant a big one on you, detective. Odd girl. I agree. Me too. Listen, line. You have explained your side and I understand. 
But there's an APB out on you. Can't you at least hurry up and get out of here? You know, slip away quietly. No. No can do. I'm meeting I'm meeting somebody here. Meeting somebody? Oh yeah, that's right. The little lady Camilla. But why do you have to meet somebody here? The special investigation unit unit is watching this restaurant now. How can you how can that be a coincidence? I don't know, but it is a coincidence. Hey, is it true what they say? That you're still looking into Detective Jowd's case on your own? Inspector Cabanella is worried about you, you know? I understand how you feel, but just don't do anything crazy, okay? Check time. I guess I better not bother the waitress anymore. I'll give Detective Memory a break. Although she doesn't really seem like she needs a break. What did the sign say again? Oh yeah, something about if you want water, ring the bell three times. I don't think I'll need to ring it anymore though. So, how's that chicken you've been wanting for so long? It's great, but you know, when Detective Range, that's his name by the way, Sitting right, sitting right across from me. I mean, he was just dead a few moments ago, right? That's kind of taking the edge of my appetite. Oh, brother. But he's a great guy. He understands my situation. He's going to give me a pass just for tonight. Speaking of Detective Ringe, I noticed something strange. He doesn't have a core now. He doesn't? I thought a core was supposed to show up once I saved somebody. Hmm, I wonder if... When you possessed his corpse, he was unconscious, right? Unconscious? Yeah, he was, wasn't he? Just like you, you were unconscious the first time I saved you, too. And after I saved you, you didn't have a core either. So for people who are unconscious when you save them, no core shows up. I think that's probably what it is. You might be right. Okay. I'll leave Rinch to you then. But I've still got lots of questions to ask you. Yeah, I thought you would. Let's get started then. What's your connection to Prisoner D99, Detective Jowd? He seems like more than just a co-worker. Yes, I suppose you have the r right to know. Detective Jowd is my hero. Hero, huh? You don't hear that word much anymore. Well, it's an old-fashioned heroic kind of story. It happened 10 years ago. Now just calm down and drop that weapon. S stay back. If you come any closer, I'll shoot her. On that day 10 years ago, I was playing in my favorite park. And then suddenly, somebody grabbed my arm from behind. I was so scared, I thought I was gonna die. And then... He appeared. Detective Jowd. And then, that really loud sound... That really loud sound? I think it was the sound of a gun. I passed out. When I came to... You're right now. Are you hurt? Y you saved me, mister. I was just doing my job. The gods, they're the ones who saved you. What's your job, mister? Me? I'm a police detective. So that's why you became a detective, huh? That's right. It was my idea of what a detective was all about. But an ideal detective doesn't shoot and kill his own wife. Exactly. And that's why I want to prove that he didn't. Detective Range works for the Special Investigation Unit. He said an important deal is set to go down, uh, set to go down here tonight at this restaurant. A deal that could affect the future of our nation. A nation isn't something that's easily influenced, though. That's what he said. Anyway, 
It's that couple at the table upstairs. I hear they're foreigners. They're waiting for the other party in this deal to show up. Those two, huh? They certainly are an odd pair. Is this other party they're waiting for me? It's kind of hard to imagine, isn't it? No, it actually, I, I literally called it. <laughs> Nobody really knows any of the details of this deal, except for one person. The best boy. Mr. Breezy Dancer in a white suit. They say he's been watching the movements of those two for a long time. I've never seen him work so frantically on an investigation before. Inspector Cavanella, hey? Apparently you're a real favorite of his. A favorite? Yes, well, there's a reason for that. And what's that? Inspector Cabanella and Detective Jod were, were good friends. Yeah, I think I remember the prison guard saying something about that. They joined the detective division the very same day. They're two very different types, but they were always in friendly competition to be the best. Detective Jod was always very particular about thorough investigation of a crime scene. And Inspector Cavanella, well, I guess he just had a natural genius for investigating. Anyway, those two lead the detective division in those days. But Inspector Cavanella is different now. He changed a little. He changed? Ever since the Detective Jad incident, he now distances himself from field work. And he's starting to focus on nothing but moving up the ladder. Hmm. And so that's how he became head of the special investigation unit, I take it. Anyway, Inspector Cabanello took me under his wing. Because you were the little girl his good friend had saved, huh? You really looked out for me, helping me study for my, ex for my detective's exam. Pledging my exam scores for me. Huh. That goes a little beyond the scope of looking out for you. Inspector Cavanella, eh? Hey? I wonder what role he plays in everything that's happening tonight. It sure is taking Camilla long enough. She should have been here by now. I'm getting really worried. You two are like sisters, aren't you? That's what Camilla said. Yep. That just about sums it up. Doesn't look like uh, being worried affected your appetite much, though. Hey, the bigger the crisis, the more girls gotta eat. I have to make sure Camilla stays safe no matter what. Camilla, and that music box, too. Music box? Oh yeah, that wooden box. That box was a present from Detective Jowd. From Detective Jowd? Yes, it was five years ago. That box arrived three days after that murder incident. He must have sent it just before he was arrested. Someday, when the case is over and everything is settled, I want you to give this to a certain person, he said. So what's inside? I don't know. I can't open it. Hmm, that's a shame. Cecil, I... Did I really shoot you? Where did that come out from? Out of the blue. I really don't remember. I've tried and tried, but I just can't. Now I finally understand how you must feel. And how hard it is to have your memory gone, your story erased. But who knows? Knowing the truth might be even harder. I'd rather believe there's hope myself. That was great. Do I have chicken on my face? You're staring. I bet you're thinking about how impressed you are with the way I took care of that chicken. Just tell me one thing. 
this case you say you're looking into. Is it Detective Jouts? But if it was, I I can't keep it. I can't keep it from you. It's too cruel. Huh? What are you talking about? I'm sorry, Line. It's it's tonight. Detective Jouts, you know, it's tonight. His execution. But there's still time. I looked into it, and I found out all the execution in this country are carried out at dawn. That may be the norm, but not this time, I'm afraid. What? The execution is set for 11 p.m. What did you say? It's going to happen pretty soon. Isn't there anything we can, we can do to stop it? Of course not, it's too late now. No, we've had a state of execution from the justice minister. I'm going to see him then. What? See who? Who else? The justice minister. Don't be ridiculous, there's not enough time. I'm going. Cecil. Me? Get to the prison, stop that execution. Easy enough for you to say. Detective Range, I'll be going now. Okay, I'll let you go this time. I'll tell him I was distracted because I was eating chicken. Is there anything else I can do? Did you find Camilla? She's supposed to be on her way here. Oh, you're little Camilla. Okay, you got it. I'll look for her. Okay, you know what to do, Cecil. You have to save Detective Jowd. The life of yet another person I'm connected to somehow is about to end tonight. Could it be a coincidence? Or is there something more behind it all? Detective Jad is destined to be executed tonight. I don't know if that fate is the wrong one for him or the right one, but I've decided to go to the prison anyway. Nice. Oh. A new song. Okay, uh, she's still alive. Hold on. Let me go watch. Let me go see. Um, she is. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go watch someone real quick. Wait, no. Wait, wait, wait. No, 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 no. I don't want to. Uh, I'll put the BRB up. Uh, let me. Found it. Alright. Um go. On. Now. Move on. I want to try and rescue prisoner D99. Even under ordinary circumstances, that prison has a strange atmosphere. But this time there's something even stranger about it. An execution with my memory gone. Wait, an execution. My memory gone. I don't have a clear image of what that is in my head. But even I can sense the strong feeling of uh, foreboding that hangs in the air. Maybe I'm too late? So, how's it going with the generator in the basement? They're trying to fix it now. It's gonna take a while, they said. They haven't even gotten the in internal phone. Wait, they haven't even gotten the internal phone there back up yet. I just hope the rowdies don't rush the guard don't rush the guard room. Uh, we don't have any rowdies here. And what's more, the one who committed the most atrocity. The most atrocious crime isn't even here anymore at all. You promised not to talk about that. Look, did you knock it off with that weird flipping and flopping around? I can't stand looking at it. If you don't stop, I just might have to pound you. 
this. This is the glorious dance that's been passed on in my family for generations. When you don't know what else to do, dance, dance, dance. We call it the panic dance. Oh. This is a special detention calling from the death chamber. The internal phone is finally back up. I don't think it is. I think that's... The fact that it's blacked out probably means that that's a trap. It's pitch black down here though. Until they get that generator going again. How's it going up there? The phone's been ringing off the hook from headquarters. Oh boy. Can't let the existence of this person become known to the outside world. We'll have to round up the prisoners somehow. Is Bailey dancing? Yep, you should see him. Take a video of it. We can all watch it together when we're done. Once the generator is back up, I'll record it with the security camera. Generator still not up. Can't keep this up much longer. Believe me, nobody is asking you to. Why don't you? Why don't you just stop? Will you dance instead then? Me? You kidding me? Somebody has to do it. That somebody is me. I'll keep dancing until I drop. I'm so glad I'm streaming this. <laughs> Despite how it looks, the situation seems pretty serious. Billy's dance is, uh... Certainly intriguing. But that telephone call that came in... Is even more interesting. The man said he was calling from the death chamber, hey? Now that I have the extension number, I should go check it out. Let me see this real quick. I lost my life at only spot in the outskirts of town. My name is Cecil. In order to find out the truth of my death, I agreed to cooperate with Line. I was apparently trying to make a deal with some people from overseas tonight. Redheaded target. A detective who has this who was at the scene of my death. Her name is Line. She's trying to stop the execution of a prisoner who got a death sentence for murder five years ago. She's also suspect uh, she's also suspected of my shooting. Oh. Her name is Camilla. Line asked her to find the music box hidden in the apartment and to bring it to the restaurant, but she hasn't arrived yet. Line can loose lawmen. The head of the special investigation unit. His name is Cabanella. He's looking after Lion in Jad's stead. He's investigating a deal that could affect the future of the nation. Detective of a cap. He works under Inspector Cabanella. Apparently, his name is Detective Ringe. After hearing Lion's story at the restaurant, he takes on the task of looking for the little lady. The chef of the chicken kitchen. He cooks uh, the chicken that the waitress brings to the customers. He sings in his rich tenor voice whenever he gets a chance. A guard at a prison. A guard at a prison. He's no longer sitting at his desk working in grave situations. He, preserves, he performs the panic dance. A dance that's been passed down in his family for generations. Peter Gilbert. A prisoner who is scheduled to be executed tonight for the crime of murdering his wife. He's the detective who sailed Line's life 10 years ago. His name is Jowd. He was apparently good friends with Cabanella. Itchy man. The chief who's of the police's special investigation unit. His job is to sit at his desk in the situation. In the situation. Give the detectives the orders and wiggle his itchy toes chicken carrier a police investigator who is working undercover as a chick as the chicken kitchen at the chicken kitchen as a waitress her name is memory she planted a bug in the suspicious couple suspicious couple's chicken she is a co-worker of the detective doing the stakeout from the park and is also the reason why he died 
black-hearted blue man. One half of the couple that showed up to make a to make a deal that could affect the future of the nation. Apparently, the other party in that deal was me. Black-hearted blue woman. One half of the couple that showed up to make a deal that could affect the future of the nation. Her tiny accomplice calls her beauty. Fastidious glass polisher. A composed bartender at the restaurant, the chicken kitchen, who continuously polishes glass. It seems he doesn't notice anything besides the glass in his hand. Or does he? Okay, just wanted to check that. Um, and I can't go anywhere, but I do have internal extension, special detention. Oh, let's go there. Uh, oh, so this is the death chamber. Hey, what's going on? I can't see anything. Is this what they call darkness? I better do something about the situation. I guess darkness doesn't really exist in the ghost world. Even without lights, I can still see what's going on. I can use the ghost world to help me find that generator. This is not good. Not good at all. Yeah. I feel like a ghost is gonna show up at any minute now. Hey, come on. Show some respect. There's a dead man here. That's right, me. But phew. I never saw that one coming, did you? Who could've? Anyway, the generator is gonna be fixed soon, so I guess we hang in tight. Generator, hey? Once that's restored, this darkness will be gone. Seems that the first thing that has to be done... But it seems that that's the first thing that has to be done. Lever. Okay... That's not gonna... Oh, wait, actually... Who's that? Oh jeez. Where did that wrench go? Without it, I can't tighten the last bolt on the generator. I sure wish I could see in the dark like a cat. Or like a ghost. This appears to be... Some kind of control panel. Might be able to, I might be able to operate, operate it, mm, but it doesn't seem to be responding. It's too dark to really tell though. I guess the first thing I need to do is restore that generator. I've seen those things before. Some kind of tool for turning things. It's leaning up against the wall. If I knock it over, I wonder if you'll notice. Damn, it's too heavy, it won't budge. How is a wrench heavy? see what's uh what's happening in the in the uh, in this in the prison oh you can't actually see it I mean, there's no cutscene i wonder how wow i wonder what in the world happened here i have to look for detective jowd i should try to do something about the situation first oh wait everyone is gone Oh, not him. He's still there. Yeah, just gone. Uh, this guy's still here. He could have escaped by now. All right, special detention. 
trip time. Okay. I can't get to that. Oh! Water drop. Why is that? Power distributor. And I can... Spoon. Is there a reason to go up here? Doesn't seem like there is. The big guy seems to be taking a nap here. I doubt my paltry powers are enough to wake him. Rest in peace, curry lover. Hmm. It's kind of spooky when a ghost says it. I can't get it. I can't get to that. Oh, that's what it is. There you go. That wasn't so hard, was it? Oh, hey, there it is. There, done. Trick time. Now the lights are back on. But what happened here? The answer is still shattered in darkness. I'd better see if I can uh, pick up some more information. Can't seem to shake this bad feeling I've got. Why is the drop that not? Oh, it is. This. Right. Wait. Oh, nothing. Hey, do you think this execution was really the right thing to do? What the heck are you saying? I mean, I know this country has the death penalty, but how many years has it been since we used this chair? I don't know. It had quite a bit of dust and dirt on it. But that's what happened. All that debris damaged the wiring. Well, I think it was divine retribution. Don't be stupid. The prisoner wanted to be executed, you know? Inspector Jad. I guess I was too late. So, when are you gonna pick up his body? They'll be sending over a car from the public cemetery soon. After we hand over the body and clean up the mortuary, we're done. Yeah, okay. So Detective Jout has already been executed. Looks like there was a reason for that bad feeling I was getting. But that's okay. This isn't a big problem for me. But if the body is taken from the mortuary, that'll be bad. I have to use my ghost tricks to save him before that happens. This chair scares me. I don't want to repair it or get anywhere near it. Who knows when it's gonna blow up again. Or let loose of the juice. Yikes, shut up, man. Accidents can happen with anything after all. But let's just get this fixed. Let's just get this thing fixed, come on. If I'm executed by an accident, I'm gonna come back and haunt you. Haunt me? Why me? Sounds like a pretty dangerous chair. Hmm, a chair that gives shocks. Can I use that somehow? <laughs> get there. 
get there, damn it. Nope. Get over there. Come on, you're so close. not Maybe I need to go to a different level of the of the prison. I'm here still appears to be I'm here still appears to be like a caged animal. The only difference is I don't see any of the inmates. And of course, our death row inmate isn't here either. Did the curry lover ever find his curry? My time will soon be locked away from, from me as well. Can't waste what I have left. I better get going. I better not set off the emergency alarm right now. The inside of my head is already in a state of emergency as it is. Actually, what about the guard room? I'm curious. Go here. Guard room. This panic dance that has been passed down in our family for generations. There's just one problem with it. Hey, quit acting so bored and ask me. Ask me, what's the problem, Bailey? Yeah, yeah. What's the problem, Bailey? Problem is... It's hard to know when to stop. Hey, quick act quit acting so bored and pay attention. Guess it's hard for you to know when to stop at- when to stop talking, too. So what do I do here? I guess I need to find... Wait a minute. Yeah, I see. I see what it is. And it sucks. Lower of the cells. Where is it? I know it's here somewhere. I know there's a leak somewhere. Ah! 
I don't know. This guy's still here. No, I don't think there's anything I can do. No, it's too far. Too far. <laughs> it's too far. Um. again close it again I don't know There's also, uh... A place where the uniform man worked. It's called a prison. A strange tension fills the air. The phone line apparently connects to a place called the Death Chamber. A restaurant that specializes in chicken. Tonight, it's also Point X, a place the police are, are staking out. A suspicious couple is waiting for the uh, other party in the in their deal to show up kitchen of the chicken kitchen the kitchen of the restaurant the chicken kitchen the air is rather thick with smoke there's an investigator here working undercover as a waitress the uh, special investigation unit the headquarters of the police and special investigation unit the chief is wiggling his toes as usual the security tape i saw here showed the person who killed me What am I going to do here? There... There's got to be a way to get there. I gotta get to those water droplets. I don't know how. Sounds like a pretty dangerous chair. No, you can't use that. You literally like can't reach. Wait, this appears because uh, I might be able to operate it. I'll give it a try, motherfucker. That's where it was. I forgot because I. I forgot that was there because I tried at it like when the power was out and it failed and Some lamps came on, not sure what that means. Maybe that changed the situation though. Try it again. Uh, my view will operate. Nope, it's already on and, and the buttons are, buttons are locked. I guess I can't operate this right now. I 
Maybe here, I don't know why I even thought that would work. Wait, here. There we go. Again. Again. Ah! I just got a shock. There we go. Oh my god, finally. Cool box. What's in here? Nothing. Fantastic. That was so perfectly timed. Son of a... Okay. Same thing here. It looks like... This is just an internal phone too. It doesn't call outside. So the only places I can go with this telephone are other phones within the building that I've already possessed. Alright, let's go. Hey, can you hear me? Unconscious? Yep. Oh, no, no he isn't. Where am I? This is the ghost world. The land of the dead, Detective Jowd. Detective... Jowd? Who is that? Is that me? Where's my coke? Uh... Where? Where? Huh? huh? Wait, where's my coke? Do I have a ghost in my house? Is that what happened? Um... Let me... Let's put it somewhere else, hold on. Found it. Just on a shelf over there. I don't know why. I don't know when I moved it. Um, I don't know. Maybe there is a poltergeist in the house. Oh boy, not you too. This is getting old. Guess I'll have to give the usual explanation. The dead lose their memories. Oh, so I'm dead, am I? I didn't realize that. That's why you can't remember anything right now. That's fine with me. Huh? I don't like a messy room. But I hate cleaning up even more. Not having my memories is a welcome thing. Now I don't have as much trash to take out. Memories are like trash. Now that I am dead, what do I need with memories? And things I don't need are just trash. Not to me, I need your memories. Besides, I promised Lion I'd try to stop your execution. Lion? Hmm. It looks like... I still have a few bits and pieces of garbage left lying around. I remember now. About Lion, Jowd, and the execution. What about you? Who are you? I'm Sissel. I'm looking for my memory, or trash as you call it. Sissel? Does my name ring a bell? I think you know me. Sorry. I must not have been... Sorry. It must not have been a very big piece of trash to me. That's alright. I guess you'll find out when you get your memory back. For now, I'd like you to come back with me. Back to four minutes before your execution.
Four minutes before death. Is this the past? Four minutes before my death? That's right. You'll get to see your own execution. And then we're gonna change your fate. But first, can I ask a, can I ask you a question? Line told you, didn't she, about what I did? Yeah, she did. Then, is it really the right thing to do to save a guy like me? I don't know. But Line believes it is. Okay, let's get started. Again, like, I want to go to this prison. Like, they're, they're, they basically treat you like it's a house. House. It clogged! I'm in position. Also, I think if a toilet is clogged, you want to kick the under part of it, not the top part of it, but okay. So the time's finally here, huh? Yeah, wonder how many years it's been. The last time, you weren't even here yet. I never thought I'd have to attend an execution, but you know, I wonder why the ju uh, I wonder why the justice minister suddenly signed the order. There's definitely something up with that. Hey, come on, let's just focus on our work. Yeah, alright. Prisoner D99, it's time. L let's go. Alright men, I'm ready. Sorry you have to go through this unpleasant experience. W what? No, we, uh... Oh well. I guess it's all about collecting experiences for you and me. For you and for me. Prepare to test. Throw the switch. Uh, so, this is an execution, huh? It seems to me there's gotta be a safer way to do it. <laughs> it must, It must be nice to have no memory like that. It makes things more interesting. I envy you, I really do. It's no laughing matter to me. That was an example of a failed execution, although the outcome was the same. Failed? They haven't carried out an execution in a long time. They dragged that old chair out from under some uh, mothballs, and I guess they had a short. So I guess that means that if I can stop the explosion... Mm, I don't know about that. Then I'd just be executed as planned, and it just, and I'd still wind up just as dead. So what should I do? It's me. You're the one who came out to save me. You figure it out. He's not making this easy. All right, man. Wait, alright then. Four minutes from now. This chair will, sh will short out and explode and you'll die. Very well, very sad. If I stop the explosion, you'll be executed and you'll still die. Sorry I was ever born. I have to protect you from the explosion and stop the execution. The key to the whole thing must be this chair. I apologize for all your trouble. 
Uh, could you sub with the insincere comments? <laughs> Flower base. How's it going down there? We just finished setting up the chair. We're all prepared. I see. It's time. Please bring in the prisoner. But the chair. It hasn't been used in a long time. What if... Bailey... There's nothing we can do now. It's time. Alright. I'll send the guards to his cell. I'll have them call when they get into position. Go there. I have this strange feeling of unease and of uneasiness. How about you? How do you feel? I feel jumpy and jittery. I can't sit still. I feel like I might start dancing at any minute. If you're gonna dance, let me know. And get the video camera ready. Nobody will listen to my concerns. Concerns, huh? So he's worried. That man is always worried about something. And whatever he's worried about, it always comes true without fail. Wait, there's nothing I can do. Wait, hold on. Maybe I just have to wait for him to make a call. Listen to me, that chair is dangerous. I know, Bailey. That's why I don't advise you to sit on it. No, no, no. That's not what I mean. Machines like that are very sensitive to dust. If the guys throw the switch and the chair shorts out, there might be a huge explosion down there in that death chamber. Oh, come on. Nothing's gonna happen. Besides, even on the off chance it does blow up, we're way up here. We'll be fine. I know. Why don't we go and test it out first? No way. I don't want to get blown up. You go by yourself. So this boat would be safe if it does blow up, eh? What is it? You have a new look in your eye. If the switch is in the death chamber is thrown, the chair will blow up. That's right. And if the chair blows up, the execution can be carried out. It only stands to reason. And if there's nobody in the death chamber when the chair explodes, nobody will die. Precisely. Very nice, Sissel. You've hit some excellent points there. Okay, I'm starting to see a plan now. I, I don't see it. no use I can't use the phone lines right now right now I can only move over phone lines in the past when it's in use sadly that applies to internal extensions as well I see looks like life is tough for everyone even you you too getting the chip to short out when nobody when nobody's around it, it sounds like it could be a plan but in the past world I can't just use the phone lines whenever I want. And these guards seem to be in a fog. But they'll be using the phone much. Hmm. Maybe I need to start over. Do I? Um. Yeah, I guess. Well. That was a good try. Hmm, now I'm stuck here. I'm just sorry I didn't get to see Bailey's famous dancing. Getting the chair to short out when nobody's around it. The plan is starting to solidify in my mind. But I better find... But I better find a different path next time. Guess I better rewind the clock again and see if I can pick up any other clues. I'll stay here.
Hmm. Um. So, how exactly are we going to? I guess you have to. I'm in position. The other two are coming to bring the prisoners uh, to you now. Got it. Um, go there. Let's see. Check time. There, we escaped from the death chamber. Good for you. It was stuffy in there, wasn't it? That's not exactly what I was worried about. Alright, what now? Mm, stop the execution and save your life. I think I'm getting an idea. You are, are you? I'd be very interested to hear it. Let's just get down there, fast. Um. Mm, it's not working right now. Maybe they... Like... Uh, maybe they like things quiet during an execution. This guy is a bit too detached. While I was alive, people thought I was a bit too passionate about things. Wait, I can go down here. Note. Alright, my gem grooved out the clog. Now get down there to Sausage Head. Go, go, go! <laughs> how has not... How has none of the police actually noticed that he was missing? Like, do they just know about the tunnel? If so, why the fuck aren't they doing anything about it? <laughs> I'm telling you, this is not a prison. This is just an apartment. In the present world, four minutes into the future, Sausage Head was lying past... Uh, was lying past that in the tunnel. Not knowing about the execution, he must have kept digging and digging. And the guards didn't notice he was gone? <laughs> I'm glad I'm not the only one asking that. So I guess Curryman's future has now changed a bit. Sissel, I'm sure you know this, but time is ticking. Almost time for the execution. If you don't execute a plan pretty soon, it's going to get tough. I think I do have a plan. You do? I'm looking forward to seeing it. Only problem is, I don't see a path to get there yet. I'm really sorry about all the all this trouble you're going for me, you're going to for me. Funny, you don't look the least bit sorry. I know. Come on, grab your spoon. I. Don't want to know what has what that spoon has been digging out. Ah, shit. Got it. Oh, wait, napkin. Um. I'm close. You. You sure can pack it away. A detective should eat until he reaches that critical moment. That's what I always say. And you have a young pupil that follows that advice to the letter. What are you going to do now, Sissel? As long as these iron bars are here, escape is impossible. Is it possible to stop the execution from here? Probably not. I'm looking for a path now. Maybe something here will give me an idea.
Oh wait, what's this? Huh? Did you see that? That huge can just went flying up into the air. Yeah, that was my ketchup can. Ketchup? I just love ketchup. Can't get enough of the stuff. I probably have ketchup running through my veins. Hmm. Just can't seem to muster a laugh of that one. But it did make some kind of red O mark. Oh, I thought it would... There's nothing written on your blackboard. Your schedule for tomorrow is blank. That's because I don't need a schedule. Or a tomorrow. Or memories. This man. I can never tell what he's thinking. Is this newspaper article about your case? My back. Yeah, I typed it up there as a memento. I can't read, but it probably says something like... And murder's wife. Oh, wait. Um, this thing is as full as I am. Oh, wait, that's good actually. Because now. Uh, that is not good. Or is it? the timing didn't I here comes my escorts uh oh I haven't found my path yet I see mine quite clearly the path to the chair that is what do I do ring the fucking bell oh my god that's a fate change Alright, I see what I need to do. things as full as I am. Okay. Cool. Time is passing. I know, I know.
and fly me to the glass. There we go. So. So that's um I don't huh? But um there isn't anything I can really Prison D99, it's time to go, let's go. Alright man, I'm ready. Sorry you have to go through this unpleasant experience. What? No, we uh... Oh well. I guess it's all about collecting experiences for you and me. Heard a test. Good switch. Once that switch is thrown, the chair will short out and explode. So if I can short it out when nobody is in the death chamber, it should be fine. Good thinking. If the chair is destroyed, it can't carry out the execution. For now. Now all I need is a path to that switch. Guess I better rewind the clock, yes. Ah. Uh, um... Oh wait, I know. napkin and I think we have to go down mm. cool it's a red though mark like um in, I no wait oh hold on the napkin. I don't think that mattered all that much. Um. Okay, trick. Uh. Wait, no. Wait, I can't do anything. Might not be a good thing. Um, that might just be really bad. Um, I don't know what's on this blackboard. It's no use. No matter how many times I try, I still can't read what it says. This blackboard is different from the one in prison with D99 cell. I can tell something is written on this one. I'm glad my task wasn't to find out what this particular board says. Wait, hold on. So... Spoon?
and then what? I guess I have to go down there. can't get anywhere. Hmm. I don't know, hold on. How long have we been shooting for? Six hours? Okay. To the music. Anything I can do with any of this? I guess it has to be something else entirely. There isn't anything I can really do with any of this. Um, I don't think I can do this one. Especially because I'm basically stuck. Um, but how would I be able to go... Must be the napkin. Like I can imagine it. It just has to be the. Oh. Oh. I know. I know. I think I know. I think I know. Hold on.
No. Oh my god. Okay, well. Or not. Okay. Um. I tried. So let's try something else instead. Oh, I'm getting hungry. <laughs> Seeing all that chicken is making me so hungry. <laughs> oh. I wanna eat. I haven't eaten all day. Now. No, not the bottle. All right. So now he's going to think that it's um that it's like a sign to like dig cool M move you mean your dirty ass spoon i can imagine just how dirty that thing is Sausage head sure looks happy. But now that he's seen the O paper, he'll go down to the tunnel to dig. Maybe this is the chance I've been waiting for. Yes. That is the chance you've been waiting for. And I am stupid for only just now figuring it out. Oh damn, there's <laughs> dude worming. There we go. There we fucking go. Oh my god. Oh my god. That took way too long. What just happened? The power is down. Throughout the whole facility. N no way. If the power is down, that means... All the cell bars open automatically. Damn it, the internal phones aren't working either. State of emergency. Now the execution can be carried out, and your life is saved. You're a pretty daring guy. I already enjoyed myself, and I think I learned a thing or two as well. About what? By the way, is it true that- is it true what the guard said? The cell bar is open automatically? Yep, it's true. It's a little drawback to the system. If the entire facility blacks out, the locks are released for the prisoner's safety. But nobody thought it would actually ever happen. So in other words, now's the time to escape, if you're gonna. Anyway, we managed to stop the execution. Let's get back to the present. You're still not out of the woods yet. Oh, let me give you one piece of advice. What's that? When we get back to the present, head for the spoon. Spoon, huh? You'll see when you get back, Cecil. How would you know? Now the execution can be carried out, and Detective Jowd is safe for the moment. A new present has been born, however. Jad still isn't safe from execution, of course. I guess I still have a job to do. Help a death row inmate escape from prison.
Nice. Okay. And before I continue, right? And change the display just because. Let's do Camilla Missile. Because Missile's a good boy. Now I'm back in the present, and it's completely shrouded in darkness. I can't see, but I can feel the tension in the air. It's a state of emergency. And it's only natural. With the power failure, all of the cell bars open automatically. Plus, now a death row inmate is loose in the dark in the darkness. I did what I promised line. I stopped the execution. But that condemned criminal is now in just as much danger as before. Trick time. I can't see shit. Oh, and we're back here again. And oh, head to the spoon. Right. Detective told me to head for the spoon when I go back to the present. So here I am. The bell. Better go back. Ew, I'm back. Thank goodness someone flushed his toilet. That was a good timing. Now, to use the cover of darkness to help the detective escape. First, I have to find him. Oh, shit. It's, pri it's prisoner C-74. Secure the prisoner. Hmm, looks like there are hunters in this darkness. I hope they haven't found Detective Jad. Trick time. Ah. Um, it's kind of where- oh wait, never mind. Um, huh? Huh? What's that red light? Hmm. It looks like the hunter's eyes glow red. Oh! Uh, that... That looks really funny. Doesn't look like escape is going to be easy. Ah, there you are. I was wondering what I was going to do. Are you the one who made that toilet bell ring? That's right. I still had another napkin rat lying around. Thanks to that, I managed to make it here. But how did you know to do that? I learned a few things about your ghost trick during our time together. These certainly can be very useful powers, but at times not so much. I knew that if the internal phones weren't working, You'd be trapped in the death chamber area. So I quickly came up with the alternative with the alternative route. A route that made use of sausage heads, spoon, and nap and my napkin. Wow, this detective is good. Next time you praise me, go ahead and say it out loud. Anyway, it looks like it's time for in for a strategy meeting. An escape strategy, huh? This could be interesting, let's do it. Escape strategy. So, let's make sure we're both clear. The key to my escape is this darkness. Once the basement power supply is restored, escape will be impossible. So, we move under the cover of darkness, huh? I know I won't have much trouble with that. But I'm afraid I won't be able to see, so you'll have to lead the way. Lead the way? Once you find a safe spot for me to move to, I want to give- I want you to give me a signal. 
Okay, fine, but how? The dead won't, even, won't have voices. Even if they did, we have to be quiet. Don't worry about that, I have an idea. Let's just try it and you'll see how it works. This detective likes to just dive right into things, even more than mine does. If they find me, I imagine they'll shoot first and ask questions later. But if I die again, we can just carry up. We can just start over, right? He says cheerfully. I don't know if you know it or not, but this is a special prison. There aren't any dangerous criminals here, except for me, that is. Well, yes, I did hear something about it being a special place. Yes, and because of the special status, they're not prepared at all for emergencies. They have four timid security guards at most. I think I saw some hunters lurking in the darkness though. Those are the guards. They're wearing night vision goggles. Night vision goggles? They're special glasses that let you see in the dark. Very handy things. If I enter their field of vision, it's all over. So it's all about staying out of the guard's line of sight, eh? I'll make sure you guide me to the safe spots. Now about that signal I want you to give me. Oh yeah, how am I supposed to do it? I've already been dead once. I don't know if it was because of that or what, but... I can sense your powers now. You what? For example... You're in the bunk right now, aren't you? Wow, I'm impressed. I guess you have a sixth sense. I think it's more like a detective sense. Huh? That doesn't sound right somehow. Anyway, more details... Wait, anyway, the details don't matter. Do you see this RB here? Mm-hmm. I see it. Yeah, where did that come from? Let's use that as our signal. How would that work? Press RB, I'll sense it. Then I'll move to where you are. So for example... You move to that, that spoon and press RB. I'll run to the spoon. Simple, right? Alright, fine. Let's start our escape, our escape plan. Just make sure you guide me to safe spots, Sizzle. And the, <laughs> the eyes are still there. So that red light... That's the light of those night vision goggles on, the, uh, on one of the guards. I can use the light to let me know where the guard is. And if you watch the light closely, you can tell how the guard is moving too. Very informative in, uh, in this darkness. Keep a sharp eye out. For it. Wait. What if I talk to him again? This guard certainly isn't a pro, but he will shoot if he sees me. So, I have to time it so you don't enter his field of vision, huh? Exactly. I'm kind of gonna use Sissel. Press RB. The detective will come to wherever I am at that time. I don't have to lead him to. S I have to lead him to safe spot so he can escape without being discovered. I don't need that. Ah, there he is. enters a guard's field of vision, it's over. I have to watch the movement of the red lights. The first thing to do is take a good look around and check out what the enemy is doing. For now, it's about just aiming for the neighboring cell. Can't hurry too much in this darkness. Let's take it slow.
Wait for him to turn. Now go. What? I didn't know there was a guard there. I didn't know there was a fucking guard there. All right, sure. Um, yeah, okay, there it is. Still pointing here. Does this one not... I don't think this one turns. Okay. Go here. Oh, wait. I didn't realize that it was turned. All right. Guards are now on the move. Now what? We can get a sense of how the guards are moving by watching the red lights. And I think you already know this, but just in case, want to take a look around, you can move the screen with. Yeah. Bulletproof vest. Oh, wait, I can attach to this? this hole what if I do this wait a minute are you inviting me to come get shot not that crazy. I no, my plan was like you sneak behind him and knock him out, but you know, I guess you know we, we can find an alternative. Um Oh wait, it did work. Which I'm not exactly sure if that was intentional or not. Um That's a little far. I can't really tell where you are. How about somewhere a little closer? Um, that means I just, uh... That's a little- yeah, no, I didn't mean to... Oh, wait, 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 hold on. Wait. for this guy what you want me to climb up into the ceiling i think i can manage that but as things stand i don't have access right now could you open that hatch and create an entry point for me 
Oh, I thought... I thought... No, I didn't mean to... Oh, oh, that's good, that's good. They're both, uh... Wait, did I...? Oh my god, I'm stupid. Wait. Ah! Fuck. There he is. I just can't seem... I can... I just can't seem to find the break I need. Then I just have to make one. Try and find a way. Maybe you can try calling me to all kinds of different places. I'm agreeable. I can go pretty much anywhere. That's not the problem here, my guy. Okay. Um. Oh my god, we're back here. Um. Okay, sure. Um... Is this a bad cycle? I can't see. What the fuck? What happened here? Wait, actually, that might be... Ah! Wait, no. I want to go up. Go up. Fuck, I wanna go up. No! No! Do I seriously have to wait for it? Okay, he fell down. And now he's going back up. I think I can call him now. Wait, don't. Uh... Oh, yes, 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 yes. My God. Yes. I bet you didn't think I'd get up here, did you? I have to admit, I'm a little surprised. Anyway, it's not safe. It's not a safe spot. It's not much further. Uh, it's not much further. Oh wait. Anyway, this is a safe spot. It's not much further now. <sighs> Come on now, don't worry. We're almost there. Now we have the choice of either trying to sneak out or making a dash for it. I'll leave the rat up to you. Okay, um, let's see, so, uh, here doesn't seem like there is much, no, no, I don't,
Um. Oh, you can. Yo. This dude. Oh. Wait, hold on. Oh. Wait, he has the valve. Wait, wait, wait. If he... No, I don't want to talk. There we go. And now, call him. Can you not? Can you not make it here? Why can't you? There's something blocking you. Alright, go over here then. Maybe I just need to use the guard and... I would have uh, appreciated it if he didn't do that. Oh, wait, actually, no, that's, that's good. You're telling me you couldn't make it like a like an inch before. Um Play the drum. Yes. Ow. What to do, what to do. Or, wait, 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 wait. Actually, yes, I get it. I, get, I see, I see, I see, I see. There we go. Um, or, actually, no. Damn, this dude's strong. If I move now, I'm going to fall. Could you close the floor hatch for me? Wait, so you're telling me that you're athletic as fuck, but you can't jump down a couple of 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 inches? Okay, sure. Go. Uh, I feel a little uncomfortable out in the open like this. I bet you do, you're wide open. Well, uh, could you lead me to somewhere safe then? The guards can't help but notice where I am now. Um... Just hide here for now. So, what do you think? I'd say if we... Uh, I'd say if we come this far, we did it. Great job, Sissel. The basement, uh, wait, the basement generator has been repaired, restoring power to all areas. Ah. Well, just, just run, just run. Phew, we just made it. The question is now, uh, what now? I don't have anywhere to go, do I? Maybe I'll go back to my cell. You better be kidding. But I'm still a condemned criminal, you know? I doubt anybody uh, would welcome me with open arms. Why don't you try contacting mine? She went to see some justice minister guy. So an escape death through a convict is supposed to just report in to the justice minister, is that it? 
Mm, I kind of like that. Anyway, after all the trouble you went through, I guess I'd better run. That would be nice, yes. Alright, Sissel. Until we meet again. So now I saved the condemned criminal's life and helped him escape. Was that really the right thing to do? I guess all I can do is believe in line at this point. Detective Jowd was painting my picture in his cell. He knows me. I'm sure he, he, I'm sure I'll be talking to him again. Nothing left but an empty cell. No sense in staying here. I might as well go back. Back upstairs using the inter the internal phone. Right. Uh, guard room? Let's check the guard room, actually. Oh, wait, no. Guard room is the... Yeah, mortuary. Did you hear? He escaped. Yeah. We're supposed to repair this thing by the time they catch him again. <sighs> but I wonder why he escaped. I heard Detective Child went to wanted the death penalty. Right. And it's not like him to change his mind. Maybe on his final night, maybe on this final night of his, just got a voice in his head or something. Maybe it told him to run. Are they talking about me? What kind of voice do you think it was? You know, something evil. Like a demon or like a devil or a demon or something. I picture something with a pointy head wearing sunglasses, something like that. They are talking about me. Can they see me? <laughs> That's funny. I love that. Eh. Can't go anywhere. Alright. Guard room. The detective child's until we meet again came around quicker than I expected. When I got back to the guard room, the next faithful call came in. Hello, this is... Sissel, are you there? Hello? Who's this? Oh, I'm not talking to you, officer. Anyway, if you come... Anyway, if you're there, Cecil, come here quick. Come here immediately. I'll be waiting for you. You make it on time, that is. Hey, wait a minute. This fucking guy. <laughs> That call, who is it from? I don't know, some weird call. Ah, but who? We'll call an end to my dancing. Yeah, well, when once you get going like that, I'm not gonna stop you. It's a contest then. <laughs> Which will stop first, my dancing or the turning of the planet? Yeah, good luck with that. Right now. External line. This. On the other end of the telephone line, the scene that greets me tells me one simple fact. That our great escape plan has ended in failure. Never expect to see you here, Inspector Cabanella. I believe that's my line, my old friend. What were you doing here? I believe that's my line too, clearly. Uh, wait, did the, <laughs> did the spots on this shirt just change? Hold on, let me look at the... Yeah, they did. They just turned around. <laughs> they flipped. I came to attend your execution. They told me what time it was. 
I didn't get into the chamber, so I was ob observing a moment of silence here. And when I looked up, my eyes full of tears. And when I looked up, my eyes full of tears. There you were, baby. It's just the way things turned out. I took part in what seemed like a fun game, and here I am. Here's what I wish, my old friend. Wish it was anybody but me who found you here. Because now... Because now that I found you... Man, I have to turn you in. You have to stay spotlessly clean, after all. The only thing I can do. Thanks for coming. I wanted to say goodbye to you. As you can see, I guess I'm not going to be much help to you. What's going to happen to you? Being executed tonight is just about the only time, uh, about the only thing on my schedule, it seems. Executed, huh? Death is pretty much meaningless to me. Anyway, I guess we'll be seeing each other again. By the way, there's something I'm looking for. Oh, that's right, you lost your memory. You know things I'd like to know. Would you mind if I asked you a few questions? In return for tonight's fun? Uh, for tonight's fun little game? Is that it? Well, Sissel. I saw it, you know. That picture you were painting in your cell tonight. That was me. Which means you must know me. I'm very sorry, but... I can't talk to you about that now. What? Why not? Because I... I don't know your true face. My true face? I'm a detective. I can only talk about what I'm sure of. However, I can give you one lead at least. A lead? What is it? A long time ago, I gave Lion something to hold on for me. It was a music box. If you ever come across it, I advise you to open it. It might jog your memory. That wooden box. I found it in Lion's apartment. And that's the only help I can get I can give you right now. Oh Cabanella. That man pointing the gun at you right now. They say he's your good friend. We were when we when we were in the detective division together. That was a long time ago. Now he's the head of the special investigation unit. The top of the elite. Getting ahead is the only thing he thinks about now. And that white coat of his is the symbol of his determination. His white coat? For somebody looking to get promoted to the top, that's the one thing they're afraid of most. A blot on their record, of course. Like a stain in a pure white coat. Who would promote a man with a coat covered in stains? If it was me, I'd go with a black coat that didn't show, that didn't show the stains. The world is full of excellent candidates. Even one mistake could be the end of a career. But everybody ma makes mistakes, right? Nevertheless, Cabanella has chosen the path of the white coat. And he'd do anything, anything at all, to hide his coat's shadows. Like, send his good friend to the gallows. Because that's the right thing to do. I'm a condemned criminal, after all. That's why he has that gun pointed at me right now. Execution. Is your, <laughs> is your execution really the right thing to do? Had a fair trial. And, that and that's what was decided. No problem there. But still. This is the punishment that I should receive. In order to bring a final close to that case and put it to rest forever. Lion believes you're innocent. She's running around right now trying to prove it. Is that all you have to leave her with? No problem here? I... I was sentenced to death. Or to the death penalty for killing my wife, Alma. But to me, that's not it. That's not all it was for. What do you mean, that's not all it was for? I'm talking about something that happened even before this case. I stole somebody else's life. What? 
the other murder. It was 10 years ago, I'll never forget it. That day I saved the life of a little girl and stole away the life of a man. 10 years ago, the life of a little girl. Did that little girl be lying? She told you about that? Yeah, she said you were her hero. Now just come down and drop that weapon. S stay back. If you come any closer, I'll shoot her. That was a good thing to do, right? Ten years ago, in a certain park, a little girl was taken hostage. I was so young then, I didn't have any self-control. I remember asking myself at the time, Jad, are you going to shoot this guy? And this is what I answered. Yeah, I'm going to shoot. My hand was shaking a little. If my hand slipped, the man might die. Even the little hostage girl was in danger. Nevertheless, that was my answer. Yeah, I'm going to shoot. And the man died. I took his life. It's a life for a life. But one person would have died. Anyway. Lion never told you the outcome. She was so young at the time. I don't deserve to be called a hero. What I deserve is... Execution. Ready to go? My arms are getting tired. You got it, baby. Time for the big show of Holland. You in? Oh, that's right. Just let me make one last phone call. That's a big favor to ask so casually, my old friend. Tell you... Tell you what I'll do. I'll pretend I'm not watching. I'll be listening, though. On that, you can rely. <laughs> His stains. Flip. Sissel, you've got your own path to follow. You better hurry. My own path. Line is at the Justice Minister's office right now, right? Might not be a bad idea to say my final farewell to him, too. Hello? Everything's fine here. Is this the chicken kitchen? I'd like to request a delivery. Um, the chicken kitchen is next door. Goodbye. <laughs> hmm. It sounds like she's in some kind of trouble. It does, doesn't it? Go help her, would you, Cecil? Sorry to keep you waiting, Inspector. Ready to go? Oh, before I forget... I have a little something for you. A pocket watch? That's a massive ass thing. A present, if you will. There's nothing else like it, baby. There's nothing else like it. Don't throw it. What's this? A pocket watch? And a fucking huge one, too. Considering my situation, it's the last thing in the world I need right now. Forgive me, man. Let's just say I'm no good at choosing presents. This is it, Sissel. Let me just leave you with one thing. Don't trust other people's memories. Look for what you seek with your own eyes. I'll remember that. Okay. They're gone. There's nothing left here. No hope, and no cores either. Without any cores, I can't follow after them. This is the end of my adventure. I feel pretty dejected, but I guess I'd better go find Line. I'll follow the path Detective Jao pointed out to me. The path to the Justice Minister's office, where Line went 
uh, where Lion went to try and stop the execution. God damn. All right. All right, let me... Might as well at this point. Um... Okay, hold on. Oh, my back. All right, I'll BRB real quick. Uh... I will be gone for like a few minutes.